All right. Okay. 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 Yeah, man. Big up, big up, big up um, to each and everyone that is here. 3.06 p.m. Yeah, man. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> yeah, man. Everything kind of synchronized, so to speak. Yeah. Big up to each and everyone that is here. You know how the thing go. Big up on yourself every time. Yeah, man. Let me just start out by, um, you know, the formalities. You know, big up to my at root. Yeah, greatly appreciate the support. Um, Richard Patriots, big up yourself, my general. You know the thing, you know. Um, Island Spice, yeah, man, big up yourself. Respect for the check in. TG Media, yeah, man, big up my general. Um, Richard Patriots, yeah, big up yourself in you know, a family. You know the thing, you know. Enough respect every time. Rayan Williams. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, my general. Respect every time, family. Godfrey Goldburn. Godfrey Goldburn gone anonymous. Yeah, Godfrey. Um, let me know if you're compatible with, with, with the M, you know. <laughs> yeah. Me good with that. So big up yourself, Godfrey Goldburn, for the check-in. Um, big up to me back, you know. Me back have a lot to say. So, um, yeah, man, me back. The link is pinned at the top, you know, so you can definitely um, check in and give us your perspectives because I realize you have a lot to send me back. You know the thing, big up yourself. Arlene Rabley, yeah, man, big up yourself, you know. Canon God, yeah, big up Canon. You know, say, you know, esoteric Sundays is more like a, um, you know, esoteric, quote unquote, um, you know, really just kind of reasoning more time where we break things down and share perspectives and them thing there you get what me i say yeah man so you know it's so not really dance our reasoning still but you know the thing go big up my general um father who up yeah man big up all the way from hold on I'm always mixing it up i think it's indonesia right father up you're in jakarta in indonesia big up um father up where they're in a um you know southeast asia side there eh? yeah man big up all the ones and ones them um, anywhere on the day you know Big up the English massive, big up the European massive, you know, in the matter we spend in Europe. Yeah, big up on yourself. Um, Night Nurse Berlin, yeah, man, big up D Danger with over Japan. Yeah, man, big up. Um, big up the ones them from Africa, big up the ones them from um, you know, Gambia, check in more time, you know the thing go. Um, Ghana, check in more time. So you know the thing of people, the platform might be small, but it does go places. You know the thing of so respect for that. Um, big up to the people in North, South, and Central America. Big up the Caribbean massive, Trinidad, Guyana, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Eastern Caribbean. Big up Jamaica, you know. Yeah, man, big up on yourself. Um, so, we know the thing of people. It's a quote unquote Easter Sunday, so you know the reason I go, you know. Janima music, yeah, big up my general, respect. Sonic Frequency Sound, yeah, respect me general, you know the code. Merkaba, yeah, big up family, peace, love, and light. And we say reciprocity, big up, big up, respect for the check-in. Lynette Thompson, yeah, man, big up and thank you for the confirmation, Lynette. That is code. You get what I say? Um, Godfrey Goldburn, we have to do us hit your YouTube. Um, just go on YouTube, right? Touch by your name. And you can actually be able to edit your name and change it back. So we know the thing going on, Godfrey. Remember, so we're not no Gen Z like that and Gen X. But at the same time, don't worry yourself, man. You can just um as a matter of fact, you can actually go on YouTube and 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 do a search as the how to get it done. Um, if you're not understand what me I say still, you get what me I say. Um, you can actually go on your page and you can do the editing. You have to see like a pen or a pencil, um, pen or a pencil icon. Yeah, man, and you can edit so you can, you know, change your name and them something there. So I saw that go. Um, dance all war, big up yourself, you know, you know it go, man. Yeah, man, my art you know the thing go. Anne Marie, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, big up, big up, big up, um, Anne Marie, safe travel and the gravel. I stand firm in what I believe in on this earth, aka the realest man, big up, my general Mandela strength. Yeah, man, big up, big up, big up. Yeah, man, canon, man. You don't know it going on. The day I have to learn to, you know, because every day me I learn to, you know. So, you know the thing go. Nikki Willie, yeah, big up my sister. You don't know. Respect every time. All uh, right. So, 
people we have some topics up for discussion yeah man we have um 30 people here bright and early remember it's a sunday reasoning so you know how that goes you know so just drop a like on the stream as you enter i just want to say i greatly appreciate the fact that people have been liking the stream even prior to me going live you know so i think i saw like about 13 or 14 likes so that's a good look people thank you for that support um big up to all of the channel members you know canon god michelle clark big up bi strong yeah big up sweet p big up yourself text 876 big up yourself global life records tv big up respect for the support rick Stam, yeah man respect for the support the free thinker yeah man respect for the support nikki willie you know the thing got respect for the support dj congo yeah man big up and um, respect for the support not your child carp aka miss julia thank you and appreciate the support mood man yeah man respect for um being a member rayan williams you know it go respect for being a member only good karma baby you know thank you for being a member um private figure you know gratitude as well for, for being a member so you know the thing go. um king pa yeah man big up big up welcome welcome bakari 56 tv yeah man big up and respect uptown tv yeah man big up in general you know the thing go um i actually saw you did a video on mr vegas i found that very interesting big up in general you know the thing go yeah man respect so people we have some topics up for discussion on this easter sunday you understand me i say lent yeah because them say we are in lent and you know them call lent 40 days and them things there so you know how that go rastas are rastas hebrews we want to talk about that because we have rastas who are 12 tribe and once you deal with the 12 tribe thing yeah you deal with the hebrew israelite thing so we definitely want to hear some perspective i think last week sunday was a great build as well yeah man a couple of rasta they check in and there was a bubble priest where they check in too so you know time and space permit um hopefully the general might can check in and you know and clarify certain things as it relates to that um we also have the G jesus die on the cross you know we have to question that and hear some perspectives on that because you know we are celebrate easter <laughs> You get what I say? So the Easter is all about um the death and resurrection and things like that. So we definitely want to ask the question. So Christians um can check in like upright on them ones and give us the details. You know the thing go. Um Satan, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, we we'll have to know if um Satan really you know because people are quick to call each other satanic. You know, or somebody like all me, them call satanic, you know, and Sometimes people speak out of ignorance and people love to apply connotative linguistics to, to things they don't really understand. So we definitely want to speak on that and give some clarity a little bit. Um, Exodus and Moses, you know, yeah, man, is that um, a, a real historical account? And um, last but not least, time and space permit, we can speak about Ishtar. Or, I, I, and I mean, we're speaking about Easter anyway, so that is where um, the conversation is. So you know how the thing go. Um, all right, what's this now? So uh, I think Bro God and uh, Mark Golin, you know how the thing go, people, right? So th this is um this is Bro God, you know. Yeah, man, you know the thing go. Yeah, man, big up to Andrew Unless, yeah, and Andrew Unless I show him Good Friday thing and the tree cross them and them things. Eh? You get what I say, so you know so that um, I'm wishing you a blessed and peaceful Good Friday and Easter season. As you reflect on the life and sacrifice of um, Jesus Christ. So you know how that go. The politicians, you know the thing go. Them always recognize, you know, the significance of days and, you know, times. Whether it might be religious or social or whatever, political. You know, you know the thing goes. So, bro, God, you know, I think he's an Adventist as well. So, him do that. And this is Mark Golden. Yeah, Mark Golden show with some bush with some maca. I guess um, it's quote unquote the crown of thorns, so to speak. So, yeah, that Mark Golden I show with. So, Mark Golden, I say, yo, people, yeah, man, on this sacred Good Friday, yeah, man, very sacred Good Friday. Um, I think the Rasta them still, the Rasta them not too, too happy with evil. Um, that term, they were on a Good Friday. Because I remember, quote unquote, Good Friday was um, when the Coral Gardens incident occurred. 
you know, ones and ones who know the history, yeah, man, they will be familiar with that. And they can tell you that in the Rastafarian community, yeah, man, um, Good Friday, yeah, is considered to be, quote-unquote, Bad Friday, you know? So, yeah, man, serious um, atrocities, so to speak, were committed against the Rasta man them in a real life. So, you know how that go. Um, people... Yeah, man, just drop a like on the stream, you know, 45 people there, 21 likes. Let us see if we can get the likes them to at least 30, 35. And we just go and keep it moving as you as you forward in. So that is that as it relates to Easter. So now this is President Joe Biden. <laughs> you get what I say? Yeah, man, you know, Joe Biden thing the normal when he's ready, you know. So, yeah, I, I this Joe Biden I go out with the Easter, yeah. Um, Joe Biden, yeah, man, declares Easter Sunday, you know, yeah, them, them, they have, you know, the ABC, they have visibility, and, um, you know, hey, very interesting because this is gonna escalate. We're watching this one, right? We're definitely observing this one. I saw it, um, yesterday, and we're definitely, um, observing this one because I'm sure it's going to get politicized because a lot of religious people. And you know, when it comes down to the conservative, they are very religious. You know, say, yeah, man, them are going to definitely step to um, Joe Biden, Berlin. You get what I say? Yeah, man, straight up. I think, um, you know, I think um, as it relates to, as it relates to Easter Sunday, Joe, Joe Biden, you, you can't do the people them that, man. If you do that, um, Joe, man, you know, the wrong move that Joe, man, that, that can't be a good look, in general. Can't be a good look. You get what I say, people? Yeah, man. Can't be a good look, man. That can't be a good look at all, at all, at all. So, um, he's definitely going to be facing some backlash. Definitely going to be, be facing some backlash. Um, definitely. No doubt about that. He's going to be facing some backlash. So, you know, him have to just know, so him deal with it when it comes. You get what I say? Yeah, man. So, this is um, Eva Tyrese. Yeah, man, Tyree, step up, brawling. And I met the general know, so here we go on. Um, you really need to deal with some apology, I say, you know, because we know you don't understand what's going on, you know. Yeah, we know understand where you're going with you, so. Um, because, you know, people are very religious, and you know the thing going, you know. Um, them definitely like to have these days as being sacred. So, me don't know who getting at the general head and go tell himself, hey, Make this a day, yeah, right? Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday, right? Remember, you know, two holiest days in Christianity. As a matter of fact, Easter Sunday is is um considered um say let's say the holiest day because yeah, December twenty fifth, quote unquote, is the birth and whatever. But at the end of the day, it's not the birth that um saved the people. It's the quote unquote sacrifice. On the cross and Easter, you know, Sunday is, uh, I think, the most um, holy time, you know, in um, the Judeo Christian mindset or the religion. So, Joe Biden in an election year, my general, yeah, man, I don't think that's a good look, you know, yeah, man, me see all Trump, Trump has sell some Bible, you know, you know, Trump, um, Trump drop us some, some Bible, you know, I think about $59 for your Bible, something like that. So, Everybody got to play politics. That's normal more time. But at the end of the day, um, Joe, big blunder in an election year, man. You get what I say? Yeah, man. Election is all about trying to garner the everybody. And you can't run away the Christian conservatives. You get what I say? And don't make them, them use your Joe and, 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 and push where they want to push. And then now throw you under the bus and them sitting there. Because Trump, Trump is going to what? Trump is going to appeal to emotions with this, and I agree. And Trump are going to burn him out. And Trump are going to definitely get some new supporters. So I don't know who tell Joe if he pull off the stunt ya or the craft ya at this time. But yeah, a wrong move, wrong, wrong move. You know what the thing go? Um, let me see who they are. Carla. Yeah, man, big up yourself, you know, Carla. Respect my sister. You know what the thing go, you know. Um, King Pa. Yeah, man. Um, you see. You know, I'm not going to say it's a fairy tale book because there's a lot to learn from it. You get what I mean? I say, I think sometimes we dismiss things we don't understand and we don't know, right? Yeah, I, I, I would suggest, 
you do some serious research on, on that Bible, you know, get a metaphysical Bible dictionary as well. Um, get a Bible dictionary, um, get a GA Gaskills um, dictionary and etymology and things like that. And you will see that all the names in the Bible, all the places in the Bible have meanings. They have metaphysical meanings. They do have allegorical meanings. They have esoteric meanings. So that is that. You get what I say? Um, Carla, you know a thing. Go respect my sister. Big up for the check-in. DJ Rain Movement. Yeah, man. Big up and respect for the check-in, you know. Island Spice. Yeah, big up my sister. You know the thing. Go. Enough respect every time for the continued support. All right. Let, let me see who else there. I know. Um... I don't agree with what he said, but there is nothing holy about. Yeah, yeah, um, Nikki really. But yeah, you know how politics go, and we're in the real world. You know, see, Andrew, unless I'm Mark Golden, Mark Golden, make sure to out for him, um, crown of thorns as being symbolic of, you know, quote unquote Jesus. So politicians know that, you know, their, their, their supporters is very diverse, and one set of people. Especially in America, you don't want to mess with is the religious fundamentalists, you know, the Christian fundamentalists. They, they um, Pat Roberts to them and them people. Eh. You get what I say? Where well, the next one with that blue, child blue with the big C there, Kenneth Copeland, all them craftsmen there. So at the end of the day, yeah, man, the religious right it, it's a very huge base. So you don't really want to antagonize them. Jay, Ma, big up yourself, my general boy. I tell you, Chelsea versus Burnley yesterday, horrible. Burnley the what? Oh, wait, Burnley the 19th in high table. And you tell me, say, 2-2 two, two draw at Stamford Bridge with Burnley. Very disappointing, man. You get what I said? The, the team just, they, them, they, them need a, a better striker. They need a better striker in a real life. Um, Yeah, man. I think some of the wingers, them too, just not consistent. You know, the midfield are right. I mean, injuries are disrupting the, the structure of the team. You know, Ben Chilwell and Reese James. You know, yeah, key components to the team that Reese James at right back, Trillwell at left back, you know, it's a problem that. So, you know, it's that year is a transition phase too as well. But, you know, they definitely expected them to at least a push because everybody has struggled. Five, six, seven, everybody has struggled. You know, Man U, I think Man U, they about six, right? Something like that. Yeah, Man U, they about six and them, has, them, them not going too good. Newcastle, Brighton, West Ham, all them teams that are there. So, Chelsea should and they're really above them teams right now, but you get what I mean? I saw it go still, man. Is it? Um, self-made. Yeah, big up in general. Respect for the check-in, you know. Yeah, man, greatly appreciate it. Wayne Huggins. Yeah, man, big up my general. You're a self-made. Chelsea all the way. Yeah, man, I'm from 2002. Yeah, me as a Chelsea. 22 years now. <laughs> you get what I mean? say from the days of Marcel Desai and Jean-Franco Zola. Ma, um Roberto Di Matteo, you get what I say? Yeah, man, Emmanuel Petit and all them ones and ones. So you know the thing. We are follow Chelsea a good look while now. Um Sky Boss game. Um people them research but don't overstand the thing. I, I, I say you go more time, you know. That's why more time we just there for just um highlight certain things and just you know, reason and share perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um J Mac, you know it go, man. It's a bit appeal to swallow more time. But I just saw it go, you know. Everybody got through that. We saw Liverpool went to a 20 years. Yeah, man. Man U, they what? From 2012, Man U win the league. So at 12 years now, them actually are going out to Man City had their drought before the money came from Qatar. You know how the thing go. Um, you know, even Tottenham, well, you know, I've, I've never even won it in about 50 years or so. They came close in 20... Um, which year was it that they came close? 2014? 24, that was when Leicester. Leicester was 2016, right? 2015, 2016, I think that was Leicester. And you know, that famous game at Stamford Bridge with Eden Hazard scored the equaliser for, for actually deny Tottenham and make Leicester win the title. So, yeah, man, you know a thing of more time. Teams got two transitions and it's the same as life as well. We got two phases and stages. That's why humility in life is always key. You know, you know, we don't have to exalt yourself because even the scriptures say, um, for what? For, for those that exalt themselves, yeah, man, shall be, um, what? Humbled and to them that humble themselves shall be exalted. You know, and as it say, 
um, you know, the greatest among you shall be your servant. I just this or that day. You understand me? I say, yeah, man. So big up skeptic, you know the thing going on. Uh, in time, y'all will understand how the world is staged and is mostly crafted the way it is. Um, the central casting have y'all fooled. No skeptic. None of us are fooled. I think um, what we don't do, like you, is to really, you know, chew everything in a one pot and mix it up. The facts and the fiction and the conspiracy and, and the he say, she say, couple YouTube video as the sources and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can bungle up everything. We, we have to approach it from a scientific methodology when we're dealing with information. You know, it's not just me saying it and it's gospel. There has to be some validation to it by primary sources and things like that. So nothing wrong with your approach, skeptic, but me not really chew all that in a, in a one pot and mix it up. And then we say, yeah, you know, yeah, man, everyone else is fooled and we are the smartest and the wisest. No skeptic, you know the thing go. So I guess so that go. You get what me I say? Yeah, man, it's a speed. Big up, you know the thing going up. And Marie, it's a manual the way. Well, I just saw that go. Um, all right. Reinvent. Yeah, I think it was 2015, 2016 season. Yeah, there and about when Leicester won it, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that was there and about. Yeah, 2015, there and about. Yeah, memory serves me right. Um, yeah, that was Leicester. 15, 16, there and about. You know, that time... They had, the, you know, Danny drink water. Chelsea sign him. Big mistake. Um, Kante was at Leicester too. You know the whole history. Jamie Vardy, them and all them. You get what I say? Yeah, man. Yeah, so, so big up to all the ones and ones who follow up little sports more time. Little sports is good more time, people. You know, watch some sports or when you go watch some man hunt in a bush or a fish or, you know, yeah, man. Watch some things were soothing to your body, mind and soul. You know the thing go. Success over hype. Yeah, man. Big up, you know. Respect for the check-in. Um, big up to Leslie. Where you say? Liverpool all the way. You know the thing, go, man. Um, I feed them. I, well, Man City and Arsenal draw today. So, I Liverpool, I lead, you know. If them win all MSA games, or nine more games, they are champions. But, you know the thing, go. <laughs> you know, we see enough teams throwing the towel, you know, on, on the business end. You know, we see Arsenal do it. Um, That was when? Arsenal did that was like what that was that was 08. No, that was 08. I think that was like 09, 10. Yeah, them that shit where man. Man, them ball pan the pitch. So you know, football is a game where you can't be complacent when, when you are lead. You have to just know say you have to stay focused. Um, Jamaica without border. Yeah, man, big up yourself. Respect for the check-in. You know the thing go. Have a tune in a while, but still give a listening ears. Yeah, man. Respect Jamaica without border. Greatly appreciate the support. And big up to the ones and ones them who might not catch the stream and, you know, them listen and the play forward and leave a like as well. And big up to the silent listeners. Some people choose to remain incognito and we respect that same way. Uh, you know it go. That or that. Um, let me see who else there so I can big enough. All right. So that is that, people. So, all right. So, yeah, man, we're, we're going to start off with um, the whole Lent thing and the whole Easter thing. You get what I said, people, because... I think it's 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 very interesting that um all right so I, I just I just want to show this people just um just beard me for a minute right I just want to show this and when it comes on to Lent yeah man you know how the Lent thing go and the Easter thing go you understand me so therefore um when it comes on to those things it is a very you know yeah man very serious matter as it relates to um, the, the Lent and the Easter time and things like that. So people are going to subscribe to where them subscribe from a religious perspective. You get what I say? And, you know, um, from a biblical narrative, people are very religious. So hence we have Easter time. Fire Grill Online. The Bible is an Ethiopian book. All right. Um, Fire Grill Online. Yeah. There's a link at the top of the chat. You can hit that link and check in and tell us how the Bible is an Ethiopian book. Because the last time I checked, there is no Ethiopian book called the Bible. You get what I say? So, yeah, man, I'm happy to hear um, your perspective and things as it relates to that. So you can definitely enlighten us. You get what I say? Yeah, man. So you know how that going to general. You can check in and give us an update with that. 
but the Bible being um, Ethiopian, um, well, hey, I'm not aware of that, sir. So, I mean, I am happy for you to um, just make us know what really are going right there. So, you understand what I say? Yeah, man, just let us know about the Bible being, quote-unquote, Ethiopian in, in, in nature. Yeah, definitely want to hear about that. So when, when it comes down to that, you can check in. For those who are um for, for for those who are new to the platform, remember you can hit that link and join the panel, share your perspective. You know, we're talking about um, you know, Easter Sunday, we're talking about Lent. First thing first, Lent has nothing to do with Christianity. You know, Lent is more like um a Babylonian Mesopotamian thing. Um, it was centered around the Babylonian deity or the Mesopotamian deity called Tammuz. You know, and Tammuz, as you'll all know, immaculately conceived and born of a virgin and all those good things like Jesus. You get what I say? Yeah, man. Um, and his consort was Ishtar. So that's where we get the term Easter from. So um, that is just where that is. You know the thing of people. Um, when it comes on to when it comes on to Ishtar and Tammuz, right? When it comes on to Ishtar and Tammuz, all right. When it comes on to Ishtar and Tammuz, yeah, that's pretty much Babylonian, Mesopotamian. That's pretty much how that is structured. Um, for for, for those who are seeing this the screen, right? For for those who are seeing the screen. Yeah, man, just take a look at the screen and um, the, the reason why, right, the reason why I'm bringing this up is to just to show you, um, you know, the whole thing about religion and them something there, right? So if you look at, if you look at these dates, you know, right, the last, this are the last 15 years, well, from 2015, yeah, we're looking at the dates for Easter Sunday from 2015. Because if Easter Sunday is the quote-unquote day that Jesus was resurrected and ascended and things like that, then why is the day always a change? We don't know what going on. Somebody will pull off craft and we with this Easter Sunday. So watch this, people. In 2015, Easter Sunday was April the 5th. In 2016, Easter Sunday was March 27th. In 2017, Easter Sunday was April 16. In 2018, Easter Sunday was April the 1st. That's a damn fool day. Yeah, man, that ties in. In 2019, March 24th. <laughs> you get what I mean, I say, people? Well, um, on the Gregorian calendar, it's pretty much like April 21st and 2019. 2020, April 12. 2021, April 4. 2022, April 17th. 2023, April 9. Here we are in 2024, highlighted in green, March 31st. Right? And, and next year, 2025th, it's going to be April 20th. 2026, April 5th. 2027, March 28th. 2028, April 16th. 2029 april 1st and in 2030 it's gonna be april 21 so me not really understand what really are going on in terms of the dates but um it is very um questionable that you know a holy day like this and at the end of the day it keeps on changing you know like if it's one day for the resurrection then the resurrection go on one day and it's a set day you get what i say but every time the quote-unquote Sunday is supposed to represent, you know, the resurrection. But at the same time, every, for the last for the 15 years, yeah, man, the dates are different. So that is just the reality. And this is not um to bash anyone. We just, um, you know, assure certain things so ones and ones can have food for thought. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these things were superimposed upon us. You know, we didn't have to go basics. We didn't have to go at Sunday school. You get what I'm saying? From the age of all three and two, with parents all beat to figure school, uh, Sunday school and them things there. 
No, for we never really like no Sunday school. But on Sundays, we had to. All right, we start go to school. Every morning, we have to have devotion and all those things. So at the end of the day, the culture, culturally, from a Jamaican perspective, it was a very conservative society that was very religious. So a lot of these things, man, um, you know, we, we never really took it by choice. It was more of, you know, you know, we, we, mother and father make certain so we go to school and, you know, Sunday school and we read with little Bible and them something there. And we go to church. So I just decided that day. But um, the reality is that a lot of things, we just accept it because our parents told us that it was so. But now that we are grown people, and we have a mind of our own where we can make our own independent decisions and be our own free thinkers and critical thinkers. I think it's important for us to ask these questions. So when it comes on to Lent, them say it's 40 days, right? Um, yeah, that has to do with Tammuz. That has to do with Tammuz. So therefore, um, that has to do with Tammuz. And um, Tammuz, according to the story, was quote-unquote gourd by a, a wild boar <laughs> you get what i'm saying yeah so therefore um the easter time yeah man them used to them do them eat ham and celebrate tammuz but where we jamaicans would do in a christmas our way we normally deal with the ham but traditionally even in europe right and even in that culture at the time as a celebration of lent they will eat ham in um recognition of what happened to Tammuz by the wild boar. So this Lent, this 40 day Lent, you know, for ones and ones who are believers and who go to church, ask the pastor if you explain to you this 40 day um, Lent thing because it not really um, make much sense at all, at all, at all. But at the end of the day, it's about to each his own. You get what I'm saying, people? That is just the reality. Um, the truth is, when it comes on to Easter, yeah, man, everybody is very religious and this and that. Yeah, man, I, 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 I understand that. You know, that's just the way it is. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Yeah, man, nobody wants to go to hell. And at the same time, the same Bible say these are states of mind, are states of consciousness. Um, cash morning star, big up yourself, my general. Respect for the check-in. Um, so you know the thing go. Remember, people, 97 people there here, you know, drop a like on the stream. Yeah, man, we have 66 likes so far. Yeah, man, just drop a like on the stream. Thank you very much. Um, when, when you say self-made, when you say you used to cry when you actually had to go to school, um, Sunday school. Yeah, man, you know what I think, man? That was the worst day. You know, we we all hated Sunday school. And what is funny is that, um, you know, my mom was a Jehovah witness, so you know how that go. But um, at the end of the day, people... The reality is that it's part of our culture and it's 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 a religious thing that is um embedded in our culture so we just go with the flow um all right i, I just want to show you guys this this um these are this is some bible verse right this is some bible verse and this is actually revelations 11 verse 8 right because remember you know we are dealing with the crucifixion and all these things, right? And Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And that's why I love the King James Version. And let me tell you why the King James Version is a very important version to use. Don't watch the noise about King James and this and that. King James never write no Bible. He, he, he actually authorized a version. And you don't know it got John D and... Sir Francis Bacon, them and Tyndale, them and all those quote unquote um, occultists, they actually wrote that book, you know, code it up and things like that. Long story short, you know, people are saying, all right, um, as it relates to the crucifixion of quote unquote Jesus, I just want to read Revelations chapter 11, verse 8. And it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, right? And ones and ones can go and check out Revelations chapter 11, verse 8. So these are things the pastors, them now, really um, tell you. And if you look at all the other versions, you see um, 
this version, right? Um, it says that what? And their dead bodies will lie exposed in the open street of the great city. And they say it's Jerusalem, which in a spiritual sense is called, and then bracket, by the symbolic and allegorical names of Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. So it shows, again, the various different translations and how them kind of change it from our Lord in the original version to say their Lord. Because when you look at pastor with this now, um, Revelations 11 verse 8, you know, he might go say, oh, um, I'm using this new international translation. And it is saying, their Lord. Oh, I'm sorry, Pastor, but um, in the original one, it says what? Our Lord. So that is just where that is at the end of the day. So um, as it says, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom and Egypt. So at the end of the day, this is where it is saying that um, the crucifixion took place um, from a quote-unquote what? Allegorical perspective or symbolic. And this is what the various Bibles are saying. You get what I'm saying, people? Allegorical. So um, our Lord was crucified in allegorical Sodom and Egypt. We have 111, people. Right, that's a good sealer. That's a nice trifecta. So, yeah, man, seal it up there. So, so the reality is that, people, the crucifixion was, in essence, not a literal event, not an historical event. You know, nothing like that occurred. You know, yeah, that never did really go on like that. But, you know, people just kind of use it to their advantage. Um, roll this boss. Big up yourself, you know, my general. Respect for the check-in, you know. Yeah, man, every time. Greatly appreciate it. Um, let me see who else they are there. Yeah, yeah, man, big up your boss. You know the thing, I'm a general. Mr. Fabulous. Yeah, man, respect. Respect, Mr. Fabulous. Um, greatly appreciate the check-in and the support. I remember, you know, people. Yeah, man, they can just hit the link and check in. Black Light. Yeah, man, Black Light is a Christian, you know, a hide, you know. He's a hide in the Christian cloak, you know. So, he walk around with him. Um, moral compass. So, Black Light. Yeah, man, big up. Um, so Cash said, Christ is king. And it's funny how Cash actually said that because that's a part of the issue with, with, with Eve. Um, Candy, is not you, Cash? R right, Cash? No, 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 so that, but Cash? Cash said, Christ is king. So, um, so people, yeah, man. Um, uh, Candy's Owens. It's funny how Cash said that still. So, <laughs> big up yourself, Cash, man. Candy's Owens. Yeah, man, Candice Owens violate the thing because once she starts a crisis king, that is going to be very problematic at the end of the day because um, you know how it go. There were some people who never recognize, um, you know, quote-unquote Jesus. And we're talking about um, people who practice Judaism. Yeah, they don't recognize Jesus as no savior. Uh, you, you get what I say? Or as no king. So her saying Christ is king um, is considered to be offensive to you know yeah the special people them are the chosen people so uh, that is where she's also getting some serious backlash so them definitely want to fight and cancel her just for her expressing her conservative christian values you get what me i said people so at the end of the day voltaire did say if you want to know who of the power just notice the people them you cannot criticize you know you can't critique so <laughs> Yeah, man, that is just where it's at. So we're watching this one with Candice, you know, because trust me, they are after her. Same way they did Kyrie and Kanye and do all them. Yeah, man, um, them half of her, you know, definitely going at her hard. You get what me I say? Yeah, yeah man, she, she took her position at the time. You know the thing, especially during the quote-unquote Black Lives Matter movement and one bag of sitting. She had her own position. She was hated. Me understand why too, because sometimes we're very passionate. And, and anyone who not fall in line, you know, enough things can be said as well when I not agree with. And for a long time, you know, yeah, me and Subi a follower up to, you know, from them time there. So, you know, yeah, we might not agree with everything, but at the same time, when it makes sense, it makes sense. So, yeah, man, with um, Candice there, you know how that go. You know, yeah, so pretty much them definitely want to deal with our away. 
just for her to tweet Christ is king. So she can't even express her religious beliefs from that angle. You know, yeah, man, she is being, you know, dragged for expressing what? Freedom, right? Freedom of religion, freedom of expression, all them something there. She free if, if she believe if she have conservative Christian values, then she is free to what? She is free to express herself. That's just the way it is. You get what I mean? I said, yeah, man. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, self-made. You know a thing, man. You know, we, we, we know say um that thing was Sanskrit, you know, that come out of Hinduism. Um H.P. Blavatsky, Helena Petrona Blavatsky, um, you know, yeah, she created the Theosophical Society, you know, them go over to the quote-unquote Near East and India and Egypt, yeah, man, and them get initiated and study certain things, went back to Germany, started the Fuel Society, and then them take the symbol there, and you know how that go. The rest is history. And that the symbol that we can't even post that up on our page. We can't even mention the word like that neither because you know it go. YouTube cannot demonetize me and say it goes against the community guidelines. That's the reason why whenever I engage in these con conversations, I do implore ones and ones to be tactical in their choice of words, you know, because we are using an algorithm thing. So certain words will trigger the algorithm. I just I just saw that go more time and then you, you know yeah man then them can take down the channel demonetize and them something there but the reality is that yeah certain things we can't even say certain symbols we can't even show and it was not um evil I just man corrupt the thing you get what I mean I say um Candice Owens is a black liberal no Rex Jones Candice Owens is a black um neoconservative or yes let's say neoconservative yeah. She's not a black liberal. Black liberals are more Democrat leaning. Um, black conservatives are more like Republicans. So remember, say the political spectrum or the political ideologies, the Democratic Party is more like liberal. The, the Republicans are more conservative. So you have neoliberals and you have neocons or neoconservatives. So just, just a clarification, Candice Owens is not. Um, let me see. All right. So Jatori Music, big up in general, respect for the check-in. Yeah, man, respect every time. Um, all right, so, all right, since one's and one's 99 people there, all right, nobody not ready for check in yet still. Nothing wrong with that. You know, how we do it more time, you know, we can just want a little reason in the same way. And we, we can reason for you around four, five, six hours, you know, people. Trust me. I just saw we do it more time too, you know. Um, we just more time reason. A long time we are kind of just do them little reason and more time. You know. The ones and ones, them who are familiar. You know, you have some people who are familiar with um, even me on the Facebook, you know, back in the days and them things. You understand I me? Mean, I said people. So, you know how that, that go. Um, people, uh, when it comes on to evil, when it even comes on to, say, me talking about like these conversations. Yeah, me used to do it on a Sunday. Yeah, even on Facebook, man. From, from Facebook days, we actually I do them things there. You know. Trust me, people. Good look a while. We actually are dealing with them because things are more time still. So I just saw that go. So more time, we just read about these things and, you know, share some perspectives on the ones and ones. They must say, yo, Imhotep, Jano you know youth. You know, yeah, man. All right, them reasoning there. We well, actually are Jack me general, you know. As a matter of fact, this was me on Unstoppable TV. And this was almost three years ago. Three years ago. And ones and ones them who know, you have ones and ones who they are so, yeah, man, I years, years them know about Imhotep. So we're not really new to the thing. It's just that more time, you know, we just, they are same way and things. So at the end of the day, this was Unstoppable TV. Big up Unstoppable. I did couple um debates on Unstoppable. And trust me, the pastor, the pastor, um, the brother, yeah, trust me. Anybody listen that knows so him get school, get school big time, big time. And you know, I did um another debate on there as well. You know, one general I debate me, right? My camera on, film camera off, and him have Bible and everything and a question and this and that. And a school him get school too because when it comes on to the Bible thing, yeah, man, 
my head no normal people. You get what I say? We put in the work. A whole heap of little things we study. And we can elaborate upon them. You get what I say? So, yeah, man. Pastor gets school. Pastor get all personal. <laughs> you know the thing go? Yeah, man. Chang. Yeah, big up my general. Respect for the check-in. You know the thing go, you know? When you say Island Spice. <laughs> all right. So, Island Spice. Then you say Island Spice. Then member him. You get what I say? Yeah, man. Island Spice. Member him. And Maat Root too. Maat Root member him. Right? Um, Sweet P. Me know say I'll call her. Call her them member him. Nikki Willie them. You get what I say? Uh, let me see. Probably Lali Bella too and them ones and ones there. Me sure say Hannibal them. You know the thing. So, yeah, man. A good look a while. We kind of deb out the place and I go on. Reason upon these things, people. When it come on to biblical reasoning, to be honest with you, yeah, man. Um, I'm going to really take a challenge from my pastor. Um, you know, um, Major Sean Campbell. Major Sean Campbell is a brilliant mind. Yeah, I think he is someone that I would challenge um, in a debate. Yeah, I think that would be a good debate because Major Sean Campbell is very educated and um, he approaches the information um, from a different angle. I think a lot of pastors who are not that educated, it's all about doctrines and dogma and the kind of, you know, stuck this up. So once them arguments start get torn up, you know, them will get defensive. So I saw the thing go. Um, yeah, man, my attitude. You say you remember very well. So, people, yeah, man, we're not just a little fly by night. We come on the internet, people. A long time, um, we debout and we are easy upon them things. A mood, man. Yeah, man, big up yourself, my general. You know the thing, go. Um, Aston Smith. Yeah, man. What is the meaning of Easter? Yeah, that is what we are here to find out. You get what I say? If you look in the thumbnail, you will see Ishtar. Um, Ishtar, yeah, that is where they got the term Easter from. I remember, say, the Passover is also, um, you know, yeah, man, it start off in the Judeo, the Judaism Passover, and then Rome, Rome never really accept the Passover, so them just throw in the Easter and the mix and them something there. You get what I say? Yeah, man. Um, let me see now. Oh, um, it's a speed. It's a speed. You see, in a real life, in a real life, we live and we learn to. When Mr. Vegas went there, Mr. Vegas did nothing wrong. And that's a case study as well. Gina Jennings called the woman them who wear makeup and lipstick, whores and prostitute. And Mr. Vegas have the zeal and said, no man, I'm going to defend the woman them, man. This man is bright. So the arrangement was for them to have a discussion about that. What you think, Juan? Them ambush Mr. Vegas in there and, you know, them say, oh, shine out and everybody ridicule and laugh. But that's just the nature of people at the end of the day. You know, Gina Jennings cannot debate me on the Bible. Cannot. Gina Jennings cannot debate me on the Bible. No time, no day. You get what I say? Me no say, Gina, no. Gina can't debate me on the Bible. Cannot. Cannot debate me on the Bible. As me say, um, Sean Major Campbell is a general where I have respect for. You know, yeah, him drop all articles now. The glean, I think, more time to. You know, um, Mr. Mr. Vegas and him have spoken before. I think I've been on um reasoning with Mr. Vegas and him before. You get what I say? Or I think it was on my bridging when him Andrew Val. You know, ones and ones and Nikki Willie them will probably all remember Val views live, call them too. So we used to do all over them place them more time a reason. About um things, you know. So a long time with about more time people. So we just deal with humility the same way because that's so it there. Um, yeah, man. But Gino, no, it's a speed, man. Gino cannot, can can debate me. Cannot. You get what I say? Um, Pastor Blair, them, Al Miller, them. No, them can't come near me, my general. In a real life, them can't come near me. They're not ready for that conversation there yet. You get what I say? Um, gain from pain music. Yeah, man. Big up Reverend Ike. Not say the only two pastors still, but what Reverend Ike focus on is metaphysics. You get what I say? And that's another aspect of Christianity that is not widely spoken of or widely understood. And he look at the story of Jesus. And that's why I'm going to always say that the story of Jesus was not a historical one or a literal one, but an allegorical one. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, there were many things that were spoken. And remember, even the scriptures say everything that Jesus spoke was in parables. You get what I say? And there were a lot of deep metaphysical meanings and things that he spoke about, you know? 
Luke 17, verse 21, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Pastor, I tell you, say, yeah, man, um, heaven is in the sky and all that nonsense. You know, we see people paint all heaven and all that nonsense when, you know, quote unquote, Jesus don't tell us, say, yo, the kingdom cometh not with observation, for the kingdom is not here nor there, it's within you. And we still have the church, I tell we said us, um, some sweet day I'm going away, and you know, the rapture and all that things. So at the end of the day, you know, people have to overstand the various aspects of the thing. You know, yeah, man. Um, Bridget, yeah, man, big up in a Bridget, big up my sister, respect for the check-in. Um, Cash say what? You can't want to run in a man house to challenge him. You have to buck him on a level. But what happened with Cash? No, Cash, you know, say, there was an arrangement for them to speak on it. And nothing wrong with that, you know. Is when a man used craft and ambush up and say, take his mic, take his mic. Because when Mr. Vega said, play the tape, that was when he realized he didn't get catch. If you go back and watch it, when Mr. Vega said, play the tape, play the tape. And he aimed, take his mic, usher him out, take his mic, usher him out. Because what? If him play the tape, that is the same tape um, showing him a call the woman them where we wear lipstick and makeup, prostitutes and whores. So um, Gina knows that Mr. Vegas caught him there. So, but again, now a craftsman. So him does use craft and does uh, make a big issue out of the thing. So I just saw it come on. You see? Jatory music. Yeah, man. Um, big up, big up, big up. Gina. Yeah, man, I, I, I would I would debate Gino Jennings, of course. Me not going to in church, though. No, me are debating on a neutral platform. Yeah, him can't debate me. Gino Jennings cannot, cannot um challenge me. You get what I say? Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> what do you say, Anne-Marie? I'm, I'm getting some chump and whatever, something. Um, At the end of the day, I saw the algorithm working at Anne-Marie, so... We just go with the flow more time. Lady Anne, big up yourself, you know. Yeah, man, big up my sister. You know what the thing go. Yeah, man, so as me I say, man, um, you know, when it comes on to Gino, yeah, man, can Gino have the strength in a theme place still? But let's get back to the reasoning, people, as it relates to even the whole Easter thing there, right? When it comes on to the whole Easter thing, you get what me I say? Yeah, the reality is that it, it comes from Ishtar. You know, and Ishtar was a quote-unquote, Babylonian fertility deity. You know, yeah, man, um, she represents spring. Yeah, that's why now it's what? It's called the vernal equinox. One, one, one people there. Sila. So when it comes on to this time, it is called the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. And that's the reason why you see the bunny rabbit and the egg. Because the egg was what? It represents fertility. New life. You get what I'm saying? The rabbit represents quote-unquote springtime and whatever. But also, it was also a time where them go on with a whole heap of quote-unquote sex ritual, so to speak. And it was bacchanalia. Yeah, that's why whole heap of Jamaicans now, what you see them are going to do? Them are going to go bacchanal. Because there was the deity when they were Bacchus as well. So, in a Jamaica now, people are lining up for bacchanalia or Bacchanal. So yeah, that is like a um that was like a, 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 a that was more like a sex a sex cult where them did all the RG and things like that. And we take it on now and call it Bacchanal and everybody half naked are gyrate up on the street. Politicians, you know, celebrities, everybody, right? We're holier than thou in a normal times, but when a road march, everybody are bacchanal. So at the end of the day, we're talking about also. As it relates to um, the celestials and nature, um, the vernal equinox or spring equinox. So now, now the sun is going to the constellation of Aries. And you know, Aries is the ram. Talking about that, big up to Rick Storm. Um, today, I'm earth strong people. So just drop a, a little happy earth strong to Rick Storm in our chat. Yeah, man, greatly appreciate that. Big up Rick Storm and Rick Storm. Militant youth, man. You know the thing, go, man. You know, real Aries. And big up Miss Julia as well. You know, Miss Julia, Earth Strong, a forward soon too. Miss Julia is a. Oh, no, no. Sorry, man. Miss Julia, Earth Strong was um, last week. You get what I say? Was it last week? Monday or something like that? Whichever one. But, you know, Miss Julia, yeah, Miss Julia, Aries too. Yeah, man. Big up Rick Storm. Real militant general. You know it, go. You know, YouTube streets kind of funny, you know. So, 
whole heap of little fight and tear down them youth they got you and him still stand up and overcome. You get what me I say? So big up um Rick Storm every time. Real Aries, you know? Yeah, man. So you know how that goes. So now the sun is in the constellation of um Aries, so to speak. So it is called the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. And spring of the with new life and rebirth and you know things like that. The people that wrote this, they wrote it in codified languages. That's why it's good to study the Codex in Scriptus, which is the code in the scriptures. Because at the end of the day, our problem is we take things very literally and as such, we confuse ourselves. So when it comes on to Easter, it, it, it comes from Ishtar, but um, that's in Christianity. Originally, it was the Passover in Judaism. So even right now, you know, Passover in Judaism, Christianity never adapt that to them say Easter. Just like in a December, when them say Christmas in Judaism, them say Anuka. So one, one, one again, the sila. Yeah, man. So you know, you know the thing, God. That is that. When it comes down to Easter, and we talk about the Easter bun in Jamaica, the bun and cheese and something there. It has to do with the bunny rabbit. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But you know, we Jamaicans, we are very creative. So we just turn the rabbit in an Easter bun and we put on the cheese pan it and the rest is history. That becomes a part of our culture. But when it comes on to the Easter egg now, you know, as them say, on, on Easter, and Good Friday, yeah, you see people say them a crack egg and pour it in a glass of water and whatever it farm out to. It means them future and all that nonsense. But it's a belief system. When it comes down to the egg, um, even in Western cultures, them paint the egg. You understand me? I say, and I love to paint the egg red. Because I remember again, you know, the, the 40 days of mourning for Tammuz. You know, there was the 40 days of mourning for Tammuz. So that is where um, the Lent came from. You understand me? I say, people. Yeah, man. So therefore, that is just where that came from. Um... At the end of the day, right? At the, end, at, at the end of the day, people, you see, when it comes down to Lent, again, as I said before, it is pretty much synonymous with the with the Passover. You know, it, it's not like they are diametrically opposed. They are very similar in nature. So when you look at that, right, when you look at it, this Bible verse, 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7, right? And this is the King James Version. Let me see if I can just make it. All right. This is the King James Version, right? Now, look what it says, you know. 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7. And these are things where you will never hear the pastors them even talk about and preach about. It says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. We hear the last part. For even Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. So at the end of the day, you know, yeah, man, this whole Easter thing is where them just take the, the Babylonian one because them the one deal with the, the one where the Judaism people them are deal with. So Christ, yeah, man, is our Passover is sacrificed for us. So I just this or that the people. So the reality is when it comes on to Easter, you know, it has nothing to do with um Western, it has nothing to do with Africa as well. You know, it's more like a Babylonian um, you know, festival. But in certain cultures, it also represents um the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. You get what I mean? I say springtime, fertility, new life, yeah, especially in the Western world, winter time, cool, you know, yeah, man. And stuff like that. So they actually codified that to say the Lamb of God, which take it away the sins of the world. So the Lamb of God are the Ram of God because it started off with a Ram. If you look at any ancient photos of quote unquote Jesus or even Bacchus, if you look at Bacchus, right? Bacchus did have one Ram over his shoulder. You see Jesus with one what? One Ram over his shoulder until them paint it back to a Lamb. And the shoulder are him holding a lamb. Now it is the ram or the lamb of God which take it away the sins of the world. What is the sins of the world from our Western mindset? The sins of the world is the cold winter time. 
The leaf them done drop off from fall already, right? So you know, so the place quote unquote kind of barren. It cool, so you know how that go. But once it comes down to Aries now, you know, say so it's springtime, it's new life, it's rebirth. So at the end of the day, they say it's the ram of God or the lamb of God which take it away the sins of the world. So the sins of the world is really the, the, the icy cold winter time, springtime now, you know it go. You know, everything starts spring up back. You know it go, new life, rebirth and things like that. So Easter was more about like new life and rebirth and things like that. And that's the reason why them throw in the quote-unquote resurrection. But at the end of the day, as I showed you guys, I really tone craft um, these people pull off on us because at the end of the day, right, if, if we are celebrating this day, right, if we are celebrating this day as quote-unquote um, the day that Jesus rose from the quote-unquote dead, then we have to get, we have to fix this. We have to fix this problem. This is very problematic. 15 years, every day is a different Easter Sunday, so to speak. Different Easter Sunday, right? Peer confusion. One Sunday are the 5th, one Sunday March. You have one next one in April. Then you have in a March. All 2027 is going to be March 28. You understand me? I say, people, 2019, it was in March. Today is March 31st. So you get what I'm saying, people? So if you are going to celebrate that day and say, oh, um, Jesus was resurrected on this day, then you really have to make up on the mind and say, here we go on. Make with us say, uh, it's April 1st, and no matter which day it fall upon, that is the day. But if every time you know, I use craft and say, oh, Easter Sunday, and you know, yeah, man, our Lord resurrected on this day, I think that is where it becomes problematic. So if, if you look at it um, based on the Gregorian calendar, yeah, you know, it's all different, different dates. So, you know, I don't saw the confusion go more time still, but that's just how them do it when it comes on to them things that you can't too, too, take it too literal nor to be too emotionally invested in these things. God, they said that go. Um, private figure. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, my general. Yeah, yeah, man. Greatly appreciate um, you checking in. Um, Rush so unique. So, Rush so unique. Yes, Imhotep, Easter and Christmas linking pagan worshipping. Yeah, man, and I just want to say pagan. When it comes on to the word pagan, you know, in connotative linguistics, it might carry a negative connotation, but in actuality, it doesn't mean that it's evil. The, the thing about pagan, pagan simply means one who does not subscribe to organized religion. So in, in, in other words, um, when the Christians... We're going into Africa. They call us what? Pagans and savages to justify their inhumane treatment. You get what I say? But pagan did simply mean that they were not Christians. So if you weren't a Christian, you were considered a pagan and a heathen and a savage. So pagan simply don't mean say you're evil or nothing like that. You're really a rasta man will say pagan and people put in a music and it carry a negative connotation. But in reality... Yeah, man, me is a pagan. Very proud one because I do not subscribe to organized religion. I've studied enough to know and understand what it entails and to know what is coded, what is allegorical, you know, what is parable, you know, what is metaphysical, what is masonic, all those things in that, that same book. So at the end of the day, even the pastors, them who you see at church on Sundays, they don't even understand that book at all. They went to theological seminaries and they were taught a certain methodology for them to impart to the masses and them know certain tactics and them use mind control tactics. Make you feel like say you're a sinner and you're wicked and you're evil and this and that and you have to come make them save you. So that's a way. Them put up on a guilt trip, make you feel guilty and then them just bring you in. So... I just stonecraft them use more time still. But at the end of the day, they learned that um, in their theological seminaries. You get what I say, people? I just this or that there. If anybody wants to join the panel, you know, they can remember, they can check in, when they can ask, when they questions. Yeah, man, any questions you don't want to ask, when they can feel free to check in and ask the questions or when they can engage, um, you know, 
yeah man and give your perspective so you know the thing go for those who are new to the channel the link is pinned at the top but me actually just drop it again um in a the the um chat as well yeah man Anne marie i think it's when that solar eclipse thing there that's on april the 8th if memory serves me right so we would we, we definitely keep an eye on that um you know the thing go yeah so when yeah yeah man s has paid um when, yeah when it comes on to you know organized religion it's doctrines and dogma in general that's all it is you get what i say yeah um wait wait what you mean hardball by religious beliefs yeah religious is based on a belief system it's a system of accepting things to be so you know without any empirical evidence it's a it's you having a religious persuasion is you saying you accept it today jesus rose from the dead and things like that you get what i'm saying me general so yeah it is based on a religious system so that's that's just the reality of things um so so when it comes on to organized religion whether it might be judaism christianity islam you know the thing go people follow and we, sometimes we all blindly follow some of us will follow until we start to do our own research and th that are that Mr. Media, you know the thing, go big up me general. Um, when you say cash, Easter Sunday is a day, not really a date. So that's why it can't be on a set date. But that's the problem, though, cash. That is problematic because it is a date and not a day. You get what I say, me general. Because according to the, 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 the religious persuasion, right? It was a day that, quote-unquote, Jesus rose from the dead. So if the day keeps changing, Cash, that means, say what, you have moved the goalpost. You get what I'm saying? So you are saying that every Sunday, in no matter which month, if it's in a March or April, that's the day, quote-unquote, Jesus rose from the dead. That's just um, the, the nonsense that is out there, and we kind of hold on to it. You, you get what I'm saying? And we kind of regurgitate things, so... That's just the nature of things still. You get what I mean? I say, oh, you mean, what's my religious beliefs? No, man, I'm a pagan um, hardball. I'm a proud pagan, man. Yeah, man, fully pagan mode. Um, and as I say again, pagan simply means, you know, subscribe to them organized religion things. There. You know, really deal with doctrines and dogma. That is what a, a pagan is. So even though, you know, it might carry a negative connotation in the minds of some people, it is due to their ignorance of the meaning and its etymology. That's why a man will say, yo, you're a pagan, this and that. You get what I say? Yeah, man, respect, you know, Soji. Respect um, for the super um, sticker. Yeah, man, greatly appreciate the support, my general. Greatly appreciate it. Um, real, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, big up yourself, man. I'm happy Easter. Yeah, yo, you know what I say? You know what I say? Normally, when them are days when they are dry, right? I normally listen, me listen. Oh. I know I have to check in for the simple fact that the, 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 the pre-ments. Yeah, I'm real, man. I'm, I'm losing you. Probably because you're kind of mobile. Yeah, I'm not hearing you right now, my general. So as soon as you know, you check back in, let me know. Cause we know yeah, all yeah. the mobile. Yeah, yeah, I lasted for about 30 seconds. So go to Okay, you. okay. So what may I say still from me a youth ago? Remember me, me show you all the while. So I kinda grew up on a Rastafarian um ideology. You know, not a religion but a way of life. So it's like for me, it taught me so much, you know, from my old man to my uncle and my born come see a Rasta. And then we tap into other elder Rasta man and we get it. And basically, the same teachings where you are getting right here, so, and the same, I uh, talk about just no regular dreaded man, you know. I talk right. about people who really go through the, 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 the premiums and study certain things. And then now, what, what put the ice name on the cake for me now, when I we we live in England, because I live in England for quite, I live in England for years too. But me are learning in England, say one time, uh, you cannot learn African way of life without religion, without um, without European way of life. You have to learn Europe to learn Africa, cause most things was taken away from Africa to Europe. 
You know right. what I mean? I mean, not just saying no one specific country in a Europe, but most of Europe uh, are stole something from Africa from them times until now. No, I say that for say this same Bible situation, my, my mother, my auntie, me and them a reason for a lot of things, even when you are saying a while ago. Now you open my eyes for a thing where you just say a while ago with the pagan way of life. Because, like me say, uh, pagan always I get a lick in a sense. No, right. it's like how you just break down that the, the paganism situation. They know that means right. a murder call myself a pagan same way because I'm right. not subscribe. I'm not me not subscribe to no religion, none at right, all. Right, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. But me respect everyone um um situation and how them deal with for them thing. You know what I mean? Me respect that to the fullest. So, you know, me, 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 because how me look on life, you know. You, I'm gonna write a book, right? I say you're 50 years old and you write a book, right? By yourself, right? Half are gonna be reality, half are gonna be fiction because it kind of impossible for you to remember everything from the day you're born until now. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. right. So, so some, some are gonna get construed in there, some are gonna put in the way where, where, where I'm not really psycho, but you're gonna say it and you're gonna put it to the best of your ability. So with you as a man now we go as far as do the study there and more, have a more in depth um 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 look a uh, outlook in the Bible, then we can say yes. We can listen to what where 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 you might say and, and put one and one together and, and see what makes sense from what make the sense car right. means I don't really, really listen. Me will listen to you, you know, but me still have to get my own overstanding upon that in order before me can be, you know, fully. So me, 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 me listen to you know you tell me I tell you say you know, some are some serious ones are one who tap in not just to only a book you know but tap into yourself right. as a human yo it, it's a different vibe it's a whole different world when you really tapped into yourself tapped into your um your psyche you know and 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 and, and know how to put things together and know what makes sense and what the make sense because to me personally. When me look upon I'm I'm I mean said to myself, say, yo, what we have all different kind of book. The last time I checked in America, about four thousand different version of the Bible you have, right? Right. Uh, at some point in time, something go on there. When of it go on, seeing but me realize say people are gonna write things, especially nowadays, people are gonna write things into a group where I represent or to a, a tradition when people are dealing from a, a, a hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So they might do that in order to control the mask in a freedom way because it's all about ruling and power. You know what I mean? Right. But that's why I say if you're not tapping to your, your own self more time when you hear some things, then you're not going to learn. That make sense? Yeah, man, definitely, man. One second there. Um, mm. and, and I mean, definitely, watch this now. Even when, when you look at the Bible, it, and that's why, as I said, I will never bash the Bible because Bible simply means book. That's all it means. The word Bible, if you look at the etymology, it comes from uh -huh. the word Biblos, which means book. Book, yeah. Now, the thing is that they actually say holy. They apply holy to it for a reason. Because holy comes from the Greek word helios. And okay. helios means sun. So, our light. So, yeah. holy Bible means sun book. Our book okay. of the sun, our book of light. You get yeah. what I'm saying, my general? At, yeah, the man, yeah, day, man. at the end of the day, we do understand how it was used on us to enslave us and the whole history. But the problem mm -hmm. was that they superimposed on us mentally to control us. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. at the end of the day, I just saw that stay. Big up to Kenny Marshall, you know. Yeah, man, Joe Grind. Joe Grind same have a history with Rasta. So Joe Grind. You can hit the link in and check in. Don't wait until when 10 people there. You're in a chat about say so you can't get in a space in you know, a general. You can check in and let us know what issue you have with Rasta. Um, I think me say me, me, me back. You get what me I say? Yeah, um, me, me back did I say that's the, the Hebrew now the Hebrews or Rasta for the Hebrews. Well, you have Rasta was a 12 tribe settings, me back. So you can also check in, you know, ones and ones and you can check in Kenny. Big up in a militant bro. Yeah, man. Big up and respect militant bro. So I hope the ones and ones them I share the teachings and reasoning to them friends and families and things like that. Yeah, man. You know the thing, go. When you can share it. So 
you know, ones and ones can check in and give us a little perspective. Big up to indigenous movement. You know the thing, respect me, general, every time. Greatly appreciate the support. So, um, yeah, so, so real man, as I said, there is so much things, you know, for us to think about and do our own research and, and not just allow people to spoon feed us certain things and we accept it as gospel without any, you know, em empirical evidence. Just like how oh, me up on the screen there, real man, I know you might not be seeing it. Every day, every different Sunday, I Easter Sunday. So at the end of the day, how oh, oh, does I move the thing so it can't move so, you know? It's supposed to be one day. Just like how oh, the 25th um, real man, right? The 25th of December real man, no matter which day, is what? Them say quote unquote, a Jesus birthday, right? Oh, I think real man uh, might be out. So my point is, if the 25th of December, it, it irrespective of which day it falls on, is considered Christmas Day, then the same thing must be applied to quote unquote resurrection day too. Because the 25th is quote unquote Christmas Day, the birth of the sun. We understand in various cultures and mythology that it not have nothing to do with Jesus per se. We understand that. Because you know it got the sun was quote unquote went into the bowels of the earth on the what on the winter solstice December 21st for three days and is born again on the 25th the same thing now where them are celebrating now are the same thing them doing at Easter in a in a Christmas it says well um the sun is in the bowel of the earth for three days and is born again on the 25th so it, it is called um the winter solstice you get what I'm saying so various cultures always saw the significance of december 25th christianity adapted it from these various quote-unquote pagan culture whether it might be zoroastrianism whether it might be mithraism whether it, it might be even hinduism and you can go over to egypt when them talk about eru and asar and december 25th you can go over babylon over tammuz you go a greek mythology with zeus them December the 25th was significant for all of them. Christianity just realized the year ago, and Rome at the time realized that we are controlling these people. These people are pagans, so to speak. Um, them now accept our things. So look how we have a craft them now. We are going to incorporate their pagan practices into our religion, and it's going to be more palatable for them to accept. So that is what Christianity did with either Christmas and Easter. And, and things like that. Um, real man. Yeah. Oh, I look like real man still up on the road. So I'm just saying, people. No, that, me there, man. Me there, me there. Right. So I, I was just asking you about the, the Easter yeah. Sunday thing. You notice how December 25th they actually have a second yes. answer here go on. A Jesus day. This are it's the birth of the sun, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So, so irrespective of which day that is. It is accepted as Jesus born that day. However, yes. when them are talk about the death now, is every other different Sunday, every other year, and them something there. So, me not really overstand the confusion. I try to show you, man. All right. One time, remember, you know, years ago, uh, I, I, I couldn't remember. I think it was the day that Mr. Here is just the same, you know, here is 15, my born, I hear the same way. So, it's like, me, me always, I say, one time I remember, I think, year, me, Easter fall, either the day before my birthday, I me no remember, but it was a years and years ago, so, and then me see Easter start shift up in a March now, so me I say, but wait, so me write, so that now I start questioning it, and me I say, you know, Easter, because for me, you know myself, Easter always uh, like April time, but you now me realize it uh, coming in uh, March now, so me I say, so me write, I say, you know, so one day now, I said to me, one of my auntie, you know, big Chris come more time in there, they run more, they're not too like me when they're in the or my mother, the whole of them, I the same thing. So I said, then why? Chris, why um Easter coming in March? No. What we can't question God work. I said, no, I say, me say, on the last, you know, what kind of God work? God no, oh, oh God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but, but, but you see, but you see, real man. Remember, you know, our four parents yeah. and 
Yeah. That's why we kind of sympathize with them because they were not. Yeah, they were I not know. privy to the amount of information that we are privy to now. Remember, yeah, yeah, them yeah. growing up, the only book they got to read was a Bible. You get what me I say? So the problem yeah. is now that whenever them can't explain something logically mm -hmm. to you, them are gonna say what don't question God and just dismiss you like that. You get what me I say? Big up to yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, one second there, real man, then they can't finish up there. Um yeah. rush so um unique. So Imotep, why is it that if you explain to your girlfriend that you don't celebrate Easter? Valentine's Day or Christmas, it becomes a problem because the woman them want them gift. Um, Russo unique, so that's just the culture in general. The woman them love them days, there, them birthday, yeah, man, Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas, yeah, man. I mean, women, um, love it because of the gifts and the perks that comes with it. You get what I say? I just that's so that them in general. Um, big up to let me big up some other people quicker and faster, you know, yeah. big up to Hardball TV, you know, the thing go. Um, let me see who else me see. Me see some people here, so you know, sweet pea, big up yourself in there. You know, I think go. Um, Ricky Tan, yeah, man, big up for the check in. Um, Juna Black's music, yeah, man, big up yourself in general. You know, how the thing go. Prince Reed, yeah, big up, big up for the check in, yeah, man. So, as me, I say, in a real man, you know, when them can't explain theologically, them say, don't question, um, God, I just saw that there. You get me, yeah, no, we have a the, the pagan, see a pagan there, and man, I'm a brother. Yeah, man, we have to crack the pagan. What well, well, on? I'm talking about pagan, sir. Since my name is Pagan 180, they check into. Yeah, real pagan, that. So, big up yourself, my general. Um, got you real, man, and then we can get cash. So, 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 so now, now that me, me come around, and, and, and I'm in our life still um, getting more educated, um, give myself more work to look into. Now that me, me, me come around and I see and look forward to every Sunday for hear certain reasons, but. Me give, I would say at least seventy percent, uh, 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 seventy, and that's a whole lot. Would I give it to Baruka for kind of guide me along the line for about twenty five years now, or maybe more. Guide me along the line when I listen to some things when I play some tape. I listen to some words when I say, I'm mean, gonna just take it. Then I take that and I expunge on it. I go go look up some things and really I see them for myself and I come back on here yeah, yeah, reason for the same thing and obviously the same thing you know what I mean so it's a great vibe I'm just know some of the on the right track mentally I mean, I'm gonna come off of this song so I got that right right yeah man they don't make go man um cash big up yourself you know yeah, man, big, up, them man. big big pagan a big up Poseidon yeah, I said pagan I'm proud Poseidon <laughs> pagan I'm proud probably if must have that them all treated to the name in you know, a Poseidon 3p you don't know a thing. Go. Cash, big up yourself in general. Go Come on, you. bless up, you know. Big yeah, up man, respect. It's live and it shot everything, you know. So, yeah, 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 listen, yeah, 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 you find the, the, the Easter Sunday thing prob problematic. I mean, I say, why, why you find it problematic? Because me don't find it problematic. I'm not tell you why me don't find it problematic. But why you, you find it problematic? Though? All right. So, um, you see, just like, oh, the 25th, yeah. Is, is is a set date set, yes because it represents the birth mm. the death and resurrection must yeah. i mean the resurrection must all also be a set day it, it can't be like them are juggle the days them all about the place and okay. that's the reason why it uh, goes to show that it has nothing to do with christianity it is based on what the spring equinox you get what me i said general yeah so so, so that's my point my, my point is just like oh, the birthday is a set day, the day of resurrection cannot be today, March thirty first, and then next year it are gonna be April twenty. Last year it was April nine. The year before April seventeen, and all them things that the yeah, resurrection so, day must be a set day too. So got you. Let me hear your perspective. Yeah. So, what I want to ask you, Lord, did 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 it? Um, was it mentioned in the Bible that the the birth of Jesus happened on the 25th of December. No, 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 not at all. Okay, good. So that now in the Bible. So how me, how me preach if me, if me, if me, if me I was a Christian, how me that preach? We don't know. Me, can, me, me wouldn't know the set date when him born. So, so the 25th wouldn't even matter to me. But would I celebrate him birth at that time? However, now me I celebrate him him death. In a, in a Easter and the Easter Sunday, now you have an Easter Sunday. We understand, say you don't have a set date, but it has to be a Sunday every time. At that time, them celebrate it, they mark it and say Easter Sunday. 
instead of putting a specific um quote unquote number upon the date, them not do that, like a 25th or, or whatever. They not do that. But them them still have a specific day where them where them do that. And it would have be the Easter Sunday and them have a way how you determine how you come by that Sunday. How you decide which Sunday that's gonna be. I know that's where the, the equinox, the vernal equinox would have come in. That would have right. decided tell you how you come to choose this specific Sunday. So to, to me, it's still a specific day. Even yeah, though, but at this, yeah, at the, yeah. the thing is this, you know, and the reality is, you know, Cash, the reality is that um, none of this now have nothing to do with no Jesus. Yeah, that, is, that is true. Right? That is true. Cool, cool. So at the, at, at the end of the day, this 40 day Lent, now have nothing to do with Jesus or Christianity. You get what I'm saying? Um, if you go back to Babylonian mythology, yeah, you have Ishtar and Tammuz. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, um, you actually had um 40 days. I, 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 hold on. As a matter of fact, when Tammuz was 40, that was when he was gored by the wild boar. So the 40 days were 40 days of mourning for Tammuz. So at the end of the day, them having this 40 days of Lent, it has nothing to do with no Christianity. It now have nothing to do with no Jesus. So my point is this. The birth and, and resurrection has to be what? On set dates. If we don't want to do it so, we don't want to join Jesus in other pagan um, time, so to speak. It has to be a set date. We can't achieve um, the, the resurrection all over the place. It can't make no sense for general. It just can't make no sense. So you tell me, say, no, it in a march. Oh, Jesus. They really believe that today was the day that Jesus rose. No, it wouldn't would be as, well, well, we don't know who you're talking about, but how many look funny, it wouldn't be a situation where you have beliefs say, today. We just say, all right, we are celebrate, and we recognize his death on this day, this Sunday. Forget what I say. Right. Because, because as I say, you know, if you are going to follow the Bible, you know, the 25th, now you know the Bible, you know, so me, me cut that out completely, you know, me, that, you know, that wouldn't be not my thing, you know, the 25th. Right. You know. So me don't need to give a, a specific date for the Easter either, because that's not in the Bible either. But I tell you how I derive by this Sunday, I mean, it would have been the, the, the first Sunday after the, the first full moon, um, with the, the vernal equinox, all of that. All right. So, so, so me, me love when you say that, because guess what? Easter is always the first Sunday after the, you know, during the, 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 the vernal equinox. So, again, no, the reality is that it not have nothing to do with Easter Sunday, right? It not have nothing to do with, um, quote, unquote, you, you get what I say? No Christianity. Nothing at all. <laughs> you know nothing to do with it. That's the reality. But what I'm saying, if you're going to deal with the resurrection, mm. if you're going to deal with the resurrection, you know, you know, you know, you know me general, then in, in reality, you understand what I say? In reality, yeah, man, you definitely um need to have a set date. Mm. But about them only expose themselves, said so that's the inner you know, nothing to do with no Jesus. That's just the real issue. Yeah, but you know what? Christianity will not exist without Jesus. So you know, I say, yeah, religion and them things that evolve. Yeah, but, and, but yeah, um, the, Christianity the was before Jesus, though. Christianity yeah, but, uh, was but, uh, before uh, the time uh, of Jesus. Christianity uh, wasn't 2000. It's not 2000 years old. It goes that's, that's that. But that's where, that's where I'm going with it, you know. Right. In the initial stage, you can, you, you, you're right about how it started. It, it's not a part of Jesus' thing. It has nothing to do with Jesus. However, it evolved over the year where them, 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 them put it in at the Christianity, so you can't really take it out of Christianity for what it is today. I forget what I said. Today, today Christianity, it is a part of it right now. So, as I look funny, you know, and it in, and it has been a part of it for a long while now. It's been accepted. The Christians them accept it, so. Yeah, you can't really right, but but the thing is that you know, right? Where, where we are trying to establish and show says that you know, even though they have accepted it, remember you know, when it comes down to religion, it's based on doctrines and dogma, nobody questions anything, it's it's just blind allegiance. You get what I say? 
Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, that's just it. So at the end of the day, them accepting it doesn't make it um a factual thing. You get what I say? Yeah, well, that's true. But the whole remember, you know, we are we are how we how we are look on it, you know. The whole thing no 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 the whole thing is 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 um fiction. It's not real. The entire thing. <laughs> so yeah, we we don't put that out there already. But according to the story then. As how it is, how we, are, we are analyze it, how it is. We know I say not real or whatever, but we analyze how it is. We just say we don't really have to put no set date to anything. We just pick a period of time we want to celebrate whatever, and get it done. And uh, that's that's how it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't disagree with that. You know, cash. You get what I say. But the thing is this now, first thing first, again, mm. you know, we, we're just showing the mythology because that's all it is. It's mythology, you know, that, that has been around for a very long time. Um, Christianity, you know, was mm. around before even uh, Jesus. There was no historical character name. So um, the Syriac Aramaic church was way before Roman Catholic Christianity. Um, the worshippers of Serapis in Egypt were called Christians. Th those were the first Christians. And that's why mm. Coptic Christianity, you know, is actually considered the oldest form of Christianity in Alexandria, um, Egypt. You get what but, I said? But, what, so what that's just the reality of Christianity mean, in itself. So Jesus yeah. never started Christianity. The biggest yeah. misconception is that they to think that, um, you know, Christianity started during the birth of Jesus and whatever, whatever. You get what no, I said? No, Our no, no, is no, dead. No, the no, disciples no. went out and started. You know, the instructions go ye therefore, yeah. teach to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Ghost, and yeah. all that things. You get what I said? People really believe that that was the advent of Christianity. But those um, evil Zoroastrianism, a lot of the, the, the teachings in Christianity are actually um, about Zoroastrianism. You get what I said? Mithraism. Um, you know, when you look at even the Assyrian religions, a lot of Babylonian, um, you know, religious teachings are incorporated as well. So it's not organic. You know, they have nothing organic about Christianity. Nothing. The whole creation story is not organic to Christianity. It's 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 pretty much borrowed. You get what mm -hmm. I say? Whether I want to say borrowed transmission, whether I want to say um them copy it, whether I want to say them them plagiarize it, whichever way we want to say it, it, it yeah. was not their their original. Um, texts are original narratives. You get what I say? So it's nothing new to them when it comes down to Christianity as it relates to Jesus. The son, um, throughout all the mythologies, was always born on the 25th. And we are talking about the SUN. And then turn it into a mythological story now and, and, and say that person named Jesus was born on the 25th. Now the son is going to um, Aries. It's the vernal equinox, springtime, new life, new work, new birth. What them say? Jesus died now and rose to, from the dead to give us life. So at the end of the day, it's just the same concepts. You understand me, I say? But it is pretty much in allegorical. It's in mythology. And as such, we should not take it literal. What say you, Kash? Yeah, I'm, I agree. I agree a hundred percent, say, in the original. Yeah, this, this is just, uh, but even with the 40, the 40, um, 40 uh, 40 days even that it's like it might take away from the, the 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 moses story it's like a reflection like moses is going through the same thing like for 40 40 years in the wilderness the the the, uh, the number 40 was always significant yeah. moses at at 40 that that's when he started to rebel you right right you understand me i said that when him quote unquote kill the egyptian and he ran away the, the quote-unquote children of Israel, and we, we're going to get there because I have Moses and the Exodus in the in the thumbnail as well. But when, when, it, when it comes down to that, Moses at 40, and 40 is very significant because 40 represents our fourfold nature, you know, our physical, spiritual, intellectual, and emotional nature. That's why mm -hmm. the number four was always significant. The story of Jesus, he spent what? 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness, and that was like his rites of passage, not true, passage. Yeah, right? Man. So, so his, his physical, spiritual, emotional, and intellectual sides went through a trial phase as a rite of passage, 
and he was quote unquote tempted by the devil, aka the ego or the lower self, right? To say what? I will give to you all the material things or the material thoughts of the mind. And, and he said what? Get thee behind me. So at the end of the day, the number 40 was very significant. You look at the Babylonian story as we're talking about Ishtar and Tammuz. Tammuz at 40 was when, when he died at 40, according mm. to their, their mythology. And what, 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 what they did, they actually mourn for 40 days. What, what do we have now? 40 days of Lent. Well, and no pastor Lent. can never explain what 40 days of Lent mean. Because it, it not going to make no sense to nobody. So the number 40 was always very significant. You get what I say? Always yeah. significant. And it's a reason why them actually put 40 there. The, yeah, the Israel, the children of Israel, right, were in the desert for how long? 40 years. 40 years. You, you get what I'm saying? Right. Quote unquote wandering. So all of these things are um, deliberately coded, codified. Um, Colin Burton, yeah, man, big up my general respect for the check in, you know. All of these things were pretty much codified. Lynette Thompson, yeah, man, big up, big up, big up. Um, to be told, Lynette Thompson, um, pretty much, you know, in Judaism, yeah, no, in, 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 in Judaism, um, yeah, they're still waiting, but in Judaism, Jesus is not considered their Messiah, in the description at all, at all, at all. So that's why mm -hmm. even Jesus Owen saying Christ is king is problematic. You yeah, get what I'm saying? The Jews. Yeah, yeah, so, so, um, yeah, man, as I said, the number 40 was always significant when it comes down to the number, just like number seven, number 12. The whole book of Revelations are predominant, was all about what number seven, not number nine. You get mm -hmm. me? I said, 144. You get what I'm saying, my general? Yeah, them 144,000 is still, it's still 144, it's still nine. Yeah, it's still add up to nine. You get what I said, nine, it represents what consciousness. And it's no yeah, coincidence that, number, that I, the letter, nine, I, the nine letter. That was all very interesting, you know, like one of my favorite numbers, ten, number nine. But th that, that is my number, my general, and I realize yeah. that's why everything, you know, so everything I've heard, deal with the nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, say, yeah, man, because yeah, I'm very nine, six, that number. Man, like, I, People can try it off free, like, if you don't know, you can, like, go look it up, and, like, with the vertex and them things, you know, nine, nine, it's a powerful number, I like it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, because um, as I said, I'm a general, it's part Nine, of three, quote, and quote, sacred geometry. I'm a general, you know the thing, go, yeah, yeah, no, that... yeah man. Nine, remember, you know, nine is quote unquote beginning and ending, you know, nine is alpha and omega, you know. So, even when Rastas will say, um, Ailey Silas is the alpha and you know, Empress Menin is the omega, they actually got that concept from the holy PB, mm. um, that you know, Fitz Valentine did you get what I say? Those two books, you know, the Royal Parchment Scrolls of Black Supremacy and the Holy PB by Fitz Valentine. Um, Robert Rogers wrote the other one, or vice versa. The Royal Parchment Scrolls of Black Supremacy that is Fitz Valentine and Robert Rogers wrote the Holy PB. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And in, in those books in the 1917 18, it was referring to um, the Alpha and the Omega. And, 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 and Alpha and Omega is Greek. You get what I'm saying? Which means, quote, unquote, like, you know, yeah, beginning end. or, you know, or it, it was actually without beginning and ending, you know. Mm. You get what I mean, Cash? I just yeah, misconstrue yeah. them, misconstrue it. And the reason why the Alpha and Omega, it was always zero and nine. And if you look at numerology, it starts at zero. And it ends at what? Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Once you go behind nine, you're still starting all over again. If you got ten, a one and zero. Yeah, man, and one what and is zero. also funny now, Cash, right? Um, if you go to one to nine, right? Yeah. Everything that's a nine, you know, because watch this now. One plus eight, nine. Nine. Two plus seven, nine. nine. Three plus six, nine. Five plus four, nine. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, these things were codified. We, we just not really overstand it like that still. You get what I say? Um, big up to, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Big up to Hardball, man. You know, yeah, man. 2,000 years pass and um, nothing not go on here. Nothing not go on, man. You get what I say? Big up to Condom Spice <laughs> and the UK Massive. Big up on yourself. Yeah, man. And Mary, number still. 13. I'm, I'm going to do a serious breakdown on number 13. Probably next Sunday, I'm going to do number 13. 
Yeah, man, and deal with the buffer meta as well and break it so, down. Uh, even yeah. number 13, number 13, there, you might tell. Huh? You want, you want, you, number 13, you want three. I want to come back to four. Yes, but, yes, but watch this now. Again, I agree with that. And that's why I'm going to break down the, the number 13 because um, in the esoteric sciences, it represents the number of occult wisdom or occult knowledge. And when people hear occult, they say, oh my gosh. And, they, you know, it becomes, you know, fearful. But the reality is that occult simply means what? Hidden. That which is hidden. That's all it means. Hidden. Yes, you know, so, so at the end of the day, it's it's hidden wisdom or hidden teachings. So the number 13 is, is the number of occult wisdom. You get so what I said? Number, number 13 was always significant as well. So, so at the end of the day, what, it's all codified. Go to cash. What, what a number 33 would have be? Coming um, about one, one, two, um, two, two, three, three. All right. So what's this now? Well, what's this now, cash? You see, the thing is with the 33, one, um, all right, listen what where, where them are according to where you know Christianity talk about you know they have no dates, they have verified no dates at all. You get what I say? As it really is to know Jesus. But notice this, I'm gonna show you this now. Um Mary ran to Egypt and Jesus born. Make us follow their narrative, right? Jesus was born in a manger, right? Mm. Where you had the animals, because what the sun is with the zodiac. You get what I say, my general? Yeah. That's why he had to burn in the manger with all the animals. You see the cow? The cow are what? Not Sagittarius or whatever, whatever. You get what I'm saying? The ram is Aries and you, you see me donkey and them something there. So yeah. long story short, it's the zodiac. The sun along with the zodiac. But long story short, they say he was born in a manger. Notice, you know. After that, we not hear nothing more until he was how much cash? About 12. 12, exactly. Thank you. At 12 years old, he was in the temple, right, speaking with the elders. Mm -hmm. And they were like, wow, you know, this young man is so wise, having that I mean, study from us, right? Fine. After 12, Miss Nagin mm -hmm. whispered the, the them say, um, um, him, him forward again. Uh, 33. No, 30. 13 forward. 30, oh. right. So there's 18 missing years. And that's why there is even a book called The Aquarian Gospel of Jesus Christ, where this person that writes about um the journey, his journey down to, you know, down to India and the Indus Valley and Tibet and them something there. So long story mm. short, you know, 18 years were missing. It's no coincidence. However, them say what? He was crucified at 33 how them get that yeah. date there? Nobody ever prove it. However, remember saying, you know, when you come on to the occult esoteric meaning though, you have what? 33 vertebrae. You get what I say? Yeah. And that's why them say, quote unquote, the Christ was crucified at 33 because at the end of the day, the life force energy has to go up the 33 vertebrae. I remember saying to crucify means to increase because if me ask you where did the crucifixion take place, what would you say, Cash? I don't know. All right. The crucifixion. <laughs> no, it, no, no. It, it took place. Well, on, well, on. let me a engage Calvary. with the chat there because Calvary. you know it No people feared for um check in. Um royalty goddess, big up, you know. Big up to all the ones and ones. Um, and people, me where me read did script, me I read a scripture that I say somewhere where we are like Egypt and um Right, Sadam. me minutes I show you, minutes I show you certain things. I'm going Sadam. somewhere, so just Sadam. follow me. Chat, where okay. did the crucifixion take place? Let me, 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 me see who um <laughs> Pia gonna ask me upon the streets of Rome. Yeah, <laughs> and no, me general, where did the crucifixion <laughs> take place? Chat, um, somebody drop that quick and fast there. Let me see if um you know the ones and ones them I follow the reasoning or the ones and ones them you know have a idea. You get what I say? Yeah. The crucifixion. Where did it take place? Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, that is very significant. Thank you very much, Island Spice. So we don't say Island Spice are general and the thing, you know. Golgotha. You, you, you get what I say, my general? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, Cash. So, so, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 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 got, yeah you. got you, got you, got you, man. No, man, I ask this part. Which part that would I do? Which part, which part, which part? In the Bible, that says, he said that. 
uh, according to the the um Christi, according to the the um Christians them them actually deal with the the um the Golgotha. You, you get what me I say? Mm. Yeah, man. So so Golgotha means place of the skull. Okay. You, you you get what I'm saying, Cash? Uh, yeah, I see. So, 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 so that, that uh, means place of the skull. So, that, so, so that what's name, this now? That name was mentioned in the Bible, though. Galgata. Yes. No. 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 Um, Christianity first. First, because I remember, you know, the, the, the Old and New Testament was written in Greek, right? Um, mm. and it was translated into, into Latin by you know it you go, know it go, go and whatever. So, long story short, the, the Greek had it as Galgata in Latin. They they put it and turned and called it Calvary. You get what I say, Cash? Yeah, but it's the same place though, right? Yeah, it's the same place. It's called Mount Calvary. In Christianity, okay. it's called Mount Calvary. And it's a reason why it's called Mount Calvary. Because wherever there's a mountain, it's a higher place or a higher state. Remember, so, Moses went and got the, the laws where? Up on the mountain too, not true? Yeah. Jesus was tempted where? Up on a mountaintop. So it's a higher state in consciousness now. So look at this now. I'm looking, I'm just highlighting the metaphysical meaning of Golgotha because all of these things are codified. The Greeks said Golgotha, Rome changed and said Calvary or Mount Calvary. And when we're young, we were sing all the way to Calvary, he went for me, right? And those mm. things. So let's look at the metaphysical meaning of Golgotha. One, it, it is Greek from Hebrew, right? Which means the skull or place of the skull. You get what me I say? Yeah, man, the place just outside of Jerusalem, a hill where Jesus, remember, you listen to saying, a hill where Jew, Jesus was crucified, Matthew 27, verse 3. It is also called Calvary. You, you get what I'm saying, my general? Mm. So, so I, I just, they saw, um, you know, the Greeks, them first said Golgotha, you know, the Romans, them in their translation from the Greco Roman, you know, to, to Latin. Them, so, them, them say so, Calvary. So, so basically, they can, can use. Oh yeah, that may I say they can use either name, which right, refer, refer to the same place. So well, are, well, well, well. Let me tell you something. Let me tell yeah. you why Golgotha is very significant because it's the place of the skull. Calvary does not mean place of the skull. It's called Mount Calvary. So you see, no, that's why it ties into the thirty three <laughs> because. Yet the life force energy go up the 33 vertebrae and reaches where the quote unquote medulla amblengata. I wouldn't call him out of God. And that's why they, you hear them say, man, man must not um quote unquote live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God or the medulla amblengata. So long story mm -hmm. short, the life force energy travel up the 33 vertebrae all the way up to the 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 the, the um quote unquote charts. As I said, through the cerebral spinal column, all the way up, you get me? I said, to the medulla um, oblongata. And we, we can talk about even the quote unquote pineal gland because that's why even the ram was always synonymous with the pineal gland as well. The ram, the sun, the pineal gland, they are all interchangeable. You get what I said? Because the sun, yeah, the ram was representative say, of the sun. You know, the pineal gland. Was a reflection of the sun, so to speak, or the ram as well. And that's the ram. I wish animal I had goat or sheep. No, the ram, ram, ram. Um, the ram. Remember when we say ram, you know, we're talking about Aries because remember, a zodiac science it there still anywhere you want to put it, you know. So ram, ram, we have a sheep. Or the ram, the lamb, the sheep. It's still the same thing. It mean as we said, them yeah. fortified because what happened now is that um Christians they never really want um anyone to be actually you know messing with these quote-unquote pagan religions because they knew that they co-opted it and they have actually um convoluted um it you get me i say so they never really want the average person to mess with it so what them do they move it away from the ram because various cultured had the ram you get what i'm saying and the ram was symbolic of the son if i if i go then there's a lamb so when I say Ram, it's a goat. When I say Ram, it's a goat theater. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But as we say again, now the Ram, the Ram, the Ram was symbolic of the sun. And if you notice, even in the Bible, every time that quote unquote God wanted a sacrifice, what was it? A sheep. No, 
No, no, no. Aralamma, 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 let's see anything. No, no, no. Remember, Mr. Sacrifice, my general. Sacrifice. Yep. When the people, um, when the people um, in Israel are dealing with them, um, sacrifice. Hold on, let me ask chat the chat. Oh, 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 it's a specific period of time at all. When they were doing their sacri same sacrifice to them, God, whether I want to call that character Yahweh, Jehovah, Elohim, whatever. What was being sacrificed? What did the priest sacrifice oh, yeah. on the altar? Oh. No, no, I am Talis. I am Talis. No, not no goat, my general. No, 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 not no cow. Not no cow. Um, no calf, no cow. The cow and the calf was when Moses went up for the Ten Commandments, so to speak. And when they came back down, it was what? Et Eru. Because remember, the cow represents fertility and it is also um, um, Et Eru, or, or quote unquote, Apis. That's why that was Serapis worship because. Um, they actually merge. They actually merge. Thank you, Princess Amelia. They actually merge the worship of Osiris and Apis and call it Serapis. And the Greeks call them Christians. So when they left out, according to the story, yeah, man, them actually met the golden calf that was Eteru. Um, thank you very much, Princess Amelia. The ram. Remember, even when Abraham carry um Isaac go up on the mountaintop, cause quote unquote, God same one test him. Right? What did he find in um, some pickets? A ram. But, but and that, he sacrificed it. But that, so, that kind of, that, when I say ram, you know, brother, no, with that, with, like if I read that and I see a ram, me, that kind of oblivious to me. I don't know which animal. Yeah, is, because but, you have to understand codified you know, I mean, language. Is it's either a male sheep or a male goat. No, but that's why I say you have to understand codified languages because if you even go back to ancient Egypt, ra which was the sun was depicted as a ram. And that's why you had a Mendesian cult, where they called the cult of Mendes. And that's why that's where you get even the Baphomet from. And right, Baphomet. Right, Baphomet. The, the, right, right, I'm Baphomet. saying, the, the Baphomet. sun... Baphomet. No, hold on, Cash. No, I'm not going to go there, so I'm going to leave that for you next time. My point is, the sun in these various mythologies and cultures was depicted as the ram. That's just my point. You get what I'm saying? What Christianity did know, um, they borrowed that culture. But what do you think them do? Them turn it from a ram to a lamb. And sheep, because the thing is that the sheep also represents um, pretty much um, innocence, you know. That's what the, the sheep or the lamb represents. But in various cultures that they actually borrowed it from, it was mm. a ram. You get it what I'm saying? It was a good. No, but yes, but it, but hold on, watch this now. If you say goat, that's Capricorn. If you say so, ram, that's Aries. That's the difference. We're talking zodiac. Remember, code. We are right, so, so a ram, a ram, a better, better. Yeah. The question, my the question, a ram is a specific animal named a ram. No, remember, say, remember, say, this is a male goat, right? No, but hold on, cash, hold on, cash. But remember, say, you, you're also a female goat, not true. Yeah, but then the name Ram. No, but what well, on about you saying goat is two options that you have the female, the male and the female. No, my point is the reason why it is always the ram so, so that the ram was sacrificed. Okay, so the ram would be a male goat. Then. So every time I say ram is a male goat. Yeah. Right, but but in, okay. in those ancient cultures, the ram was symbolic of the sun. So, so even in a Christianity, they would always, um, quote unquote, sacrifice the ram on the altar. And if you really see even the story of Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel, what, what, what really go on? One, one, one sacrifice, one, one ram, and yeah. one carry ground provisions. So, so, yes. so, in other words, um, the, the quote unquote, Lord our God was pleased of the ram sacrifice. Because yeah. it is symbolic again. You get what I say? Yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. Even if that story kind of kind of weird, you know. <laughs> no, but what's the story then? You, you know, say, the Cain and Abel story, right? Um, That archetype is what? In ancient Egypt, you have what? Um, Asar and Set. They were twins. They were brothers, twin brothers. Cain and Abel were twin brothers. And guess what? Go on. Set killed Asar. Cain kill Abel. So, you know, it, it's it's nothing new. 
It's just that it's the different cultures and, you know, transmission and, you know, yeah, man, people copy, people adapt, people borrow different cultural practices and then frame it and craft it in a their own way. Yeah, yeah, just like how the Catholic Church yeah, step away yeah. from the ram. If you look at any ancient quote-unquote depictions of a Jesus or a Bacchus or any one of that, he was holding a ram, not a lamb. And then they change it to a lamb. So I'm, I'm just showing you um, the transmission to cultures. You get what I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Colin Burton, yeah, 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 man. Big up, man. You know, yeah, man. Them confuse and trick the people. JP, big up enough for the check-in. Um, Chang, yeah, man. Big up enough, Chang. You know the thing going up. Yeah, man. Um, hold on. Indigenous movement. You know, say, me general. You know, say, me could not swear, say, that's... Me could not swear, say, that's... Yeah, yeah, they actually have um, a, a, a range for our next channel. Carvey, um, Ray Francis. Big up for the check-in, you know. Yeah, man. Juna Black Music. Big up. You know, me must big up some people quick and fast there. You know the thing go. Um, let me see who else me see now. Yeah, man, people. It's it was the ram and it was symbolic. It's a reason why a ram them just move it from a ram to a lamb, because the ram the, the lamb kind of rep represents uh, purity and innocence and them something. There. And that's why if you listen to the story of Moses, right? Um, which was the first bird Moses sent from out of the ark? We we just talking about the story because me I show you um you know how it is. Moses never the left the ark, bro. Eh? I know what it is from the ark, man. Yeah, and I'm saying which bird Noah sent out from the ark. Remember when oh, I'm saying, uh, talking about the ark? <laughs> how <laughs> long did it rain for, Cash? Yeah, I don't even know. I'm going to have to go back and look. All back. right, so hold on, hold on. No problem, right stick up in. Chat. <laughs> Tell me, though. Chat. How long did it rain for? Uh, seven days. No, man. Let me see a 40. Thank you very much. Yes, I'll show you again, you know. Means I'll show you again, <laughs> say. Again. The, the reason why it is coded. They get what I say? Yeah, man. So it rained for 40 days and quote unquote 40 nights. Thank you very mm. much, um, Odell Francis. Rockstar 860. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. So I'm saying it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. But I'm asking the question what kind of bird know what it's sent out to figure verify say, everything done and the flooding stop? No, no you can one know Raven, what Raven, Raven. No, eh? no. a crow, or a raven. No, no. Raven, so thank you. And and who are really going this up? Not no far. Not no dove, rockstar man. Not no dove man. Um, member said the dove was the second one. Yeah, second one. Raven second one forward. is sent out of the dove. So the thing is that the raven. I'm 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 getting a, a little echo cash. I don't know why. Hold on, you hold have one next device on already. Probably YouTube on and the stream yard on same time. Just double check that. Um, so it was it was our raven that was sent out first, right? And guess what? The raven never followed back. Yeah, yeah man, pagan. And mm. then he sent out a dove, and that I went him get the good news. And the dove, quote unquote, brought back the olive branch and whatever. And that's why I say the dove is used for peace and tranquility and purity up to this day. And Christianity will say. And the wings of the snow white dove and stuff like that. Because the dove and white was symbolic of purity. So the, the raven. Maria the raven over a dove any day. Yeah, 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 but, more but intelligent. Cassie, yeah, but <laughs> the thing is that, you know, you see the way how it is crafted, my general. The way how it is crafted, it is symbolic. Because yes, I show man, that's, and that's, and that's and I show true, them that say, here go on now. The, the raven actually in metaphysics we represents the. The, the, the ravenous thoughts of the mind. Because remember, you know, Noah, right? Remember after the flood, it means to what? To, to be immersed in water. Water was always um, symbolic of the subconscious mind. You get, you get what I'm saying? Mm. So, so long story short, when him sent out the raven, no, that never go on. Um, when him sent out the dove now, yeah, man, that uh, when um, the dove forward back and give them the good news. As a matter of fact, when we actually speak about even um the Noah story, right? How many hold on? How was the animals taken onto the ark? I mean, I hope. I'm not they use Korean. No, I'm no, talking about one, like yeah. the, the the grouping. Oh, then group oh, them. Oh, up. Dear, he, oh one, oh, one um. All right, now, I understand. Forty-four people there, you know. Big up on yourself. Yeah, man, you don't know it go. One, one, four, four will be saved. 
that them say. So big up on yourself. Respect for the check-in. Just drop a like on the stream. Thank you very much. You can join the panel as well. You know, ask some questions if you want to. You can drop the question in, in the chat as well. And you know, we can respond as best as we can. Um, Cash, yeah, let me hear you. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it's a, it's a pure each animal as well. All right. So, um, all right. So, yeah, me missing enough ones and ones. A two by two. Let me see. Let me see. Everybody has a two by two, a pair of each. All right, let me see what I go on this. Let me see the body has a two by two. Um, Thales, Odell Francis, Pagan. You get what I say? Ones and ones and cash a two by two. Watch this now. This is because we hear the story, Cash. Um, you know, and we used to that. We think say boy, oh, yeah, man, it was a pair of each animal. But the thing is this. Mm. The things, the, the animals that were clean must be taken in by seven. And the animals that were unclean were supposed to be taken in by twos. Mm. That's how the Bible says. And people ask the question, why was it seven, you know, that were clean? You know, the animals that were clean, yeah. take them in by seven. You get what I say? And um, the, the, the ones that were unclean take them in by twos, so to speak. Because the number seven again, very significant. And as me say, we always have got confuse yourself whenever um, we, we take it literally. Um, Julius Diamond, big up me, me, me general. How the entire world drowned in a 20 feet of water. That's why I just said me general. You know, I think our problem is, and I'm just speaking generally, is when we take this thing literally. You get what I say? Yeah, man. The reality is that these are, um, you know, allegorical. These are mythology. You know, this is not new to the Bible. The, the Sumerians had their flood story. You know, various cultures have their own flood story. So Christianity just adapted the, the Mesopotamian Sumerian story. You get what I say? Um, of, of, um, of, of, um, you know, some will call it... Um, let me, I'm trying to remember, remember the name that they actually called that character um, in the Sumerian, right? I know it's, it's the Enuma Elish, right? It's their flood story. But, but there, 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 is a, there is a character um, in the Akkadian Sumerian. They call it like Athra Assis, right? Yeah, the same flood story. You know, yeah, man. So it's not nothing new. So Noah, you get what I say? Yeah, man, taking in um, the, the animals. That were clean by seven pastors. Them not talk about that one day. Them only I remember the the, the twos. Fiam Fiena Moan, yeah man, big up yourself, man. Yeah, Princess Amelia. Yeah, man. Seven, the ones that were clean were taken in by seven. So what are you going with? So yeah, go through. Yeah, man. Respect our man as a ninja. Right. Um Rockstar. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think you are. Yeah, 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 get the thing um right, you know. One second, Soji. Tales, brother, we're not talking about tales. You know, we're talking about we're talking about symbolic language, we're talking about allegorical writings, not tales, me general. You get what I'm saying? There's a reason why it's a particular number. That's why me I said the ones I'm have to study the codex in scriptus to really overstand the symbology of what is being conveyed. Um, got you. Soji. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So what I say now is when me notice growing up and since me start to research things for my own. No for the item where where accept Christianity. Take the thing literally and you know, there's nothing you can tell them. See? No matter how if it seems illogical or it don't make no sense, them still believe it. Them just I say, yo, if if the Bible say it, I say go. See? Now, the next thing again, because I made a wait for a pastor for joining a car. You know, I made a wait for a pastor for joining for ask them some questions and see if they can explain it. See? Which most of them cannot. Them just say the Bible say it, and I hate them I work with. See? Now, <clears throat> the next thing again, there are them know say, the two major religions. Uh, we're talking about um, Islam and Christianity. People, people were forced to accept these beliefs. Because if you don't, if you don't accept Christianity, what the Bible says gonna happen to you? It's fear. All of this is fear in a brother. Fear. You have places right. in the world where brother, if you ever go somewhere and make a mistake, 
them take off your head, you know, brother. For religion, sure. you know. Right. Um, um Rockstar, not type stop type up in nonsense and I chat me general man. And talk about big words and them something. You have to, you have to just do some research on the thing, my general. Don't challenge something where you don't know about. You get what I say? You can't call tales and mythology the same thing. You get what I say? You can't call tales and, 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 and say allegorical writings the same. Just get a dictionary and you will see or Google it and you will realize it's two different things. You can't say um, it is the same. I have nothing to do with the world history. History and mythology and tales are different things. So we, we, we're not going to say it's all the same. Just a simple Google search can definitely um, solve that um, fame in general. We, we can't compare mythology conversation and put in a category uh, world history 101 and a different you're comparing apples and oranges go to soji yeah 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 man so so may i say it's the fear it's the fear people really worry about you know it's not really them believing it because them fear what gonna happen if them don't believe see i, ju I just saw me see car you know yeah. me me see a brethren yeah you hear me yeah, me I hear you, man. Me, yeah. Me want, me want ask, me want ask, me want ask if you say, um, people subscribe to religion because them fear. No, first of all, if they first of all, first of all, they were forced to. That are the first thing. Because if you go, if Imotep can tell you about the uh, the the, the crusade, the Knights Templars, and all them kind of something they were, Christianity was forced onto people. Yeah, yeah, um, we know See? that. We know, we know that. We know, but, but we know I go so far. We go mm -hmm. to to the deal. Yeah, nobody so we could talk now, about to the deal. Nobody now kill nobody if he subscribe yeah. to. So, so we could talk about to the deal now. So we could talk about to the deal now. What the Bible said, I go happen to you if you don't repent and baptize and this and that. What the Bible said, I go happen to you. I don't know. I guess I go hell. I go burn that pit to hell. Burn that pit for what? For, for what? For what? Eternity or some some something like that. I get, yeah, I guess, yes, I guess. Then what more fearful than that, my brother? <laughs> what more fearful than that? I hope our people don't want to do that. I hope our people, when them hear that, they might say, Jano, you know say. So, um, so, so, so let, me, let me ask you, let me ask the next question. Mm. So, hold like on, so make it, so make just it, like before how, you ask the next question, go, go ahead, go before ahead. you ask the next question, what do you think about the answer to what you, what me, what you just asked? Um, you're not wrong, but but at the same time, the 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 the, the opposite can be said about that. Instead of people subscribing because of fear, what about the reward that that is promised? What about that aspect of it? You couldn't say you couldn't argue say people subscribe because if you do, you're gonna be given this quote unquote reward. Okay, but if 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 that is a good question, but when I say no, if the Bible just say, listen, this is a reward, you know. This is the reward. Say if you if you live this way, live this type of lifestyle, this is the reward. Yeah. There's no fear in that because guess what? You're getting a reward. You're not going to fear a reward, right? Like you go to your job, you work, you get your PR. Yeah, and I have nothing. You you you, you do something outstanding, and the government or whoever the civic body is or somebody give you yeah. a reward. That's that's different. However, it's like if a policeman say, "Yo, if you step out of your car, you know, I'm gonna shoot you." What you gonna do? You're not gonna step out of your okay. car. And if the like, policeman say, if the policeman say, step out of your car, man, come and go, come and go, come and go, come and go get have a drink. What you gonna do? Which one? Which one you that step out for? To go have a drink. Exactly, exactly. So, so, so the people them, the people them subscribe to it, even though them said a the reward, daddy. But I really the fear. Yeah, yeah, really that, fear, you know? what, what you're saying, what you're saying is not is not incorrect. What you're saying is true, you know. But but, <laughs> but may I say it, it depends on how the person who subscribe subscribe to it. I look at it because mm -hmm. me, what I say me me a turn a Christian because no one got heaven and mm -hmm. me like me like the appeal of heaven. Me, me never made heaven, mm -hmm. but but it's it's just it's just the reality that um hell was mentioned so you can't have one without the other yeah because <laughs> yes. if you don't if you don't if you don't go to heaven where are you going to go yeah so according to the according to the story so what may i say is um if if you listen to christian reasoning right i'm most of the preachers them and 
Because to be honest, you know, most, most preachers, especially in a Jamaica, most preachers is not educated, you know. Them can read and write, you know, but them them just preach because them grew up hearing the doctrine. Yeah. Them them even, um it, them just regurgitate the thing. Yeah, over even, and over. even that, but I, I think I I think not not for cut it, but I think this whole church thing was meant for people who can't really read. Because I'm gonna see why I need to go in front of a person for you. Tell about that. But, okay, but go ahead. <laughs> right. I mean, hold on, hold on, one second. It's all about um at the end of the day, you know, you know, um, it's a belief system and a lot of it was pretty much most of it, you know, superimposed, forced upon people. You get what I said? Because I remember these people pretty much were um uh, as as they when I said these people practice a thing they call animism, whereas you know. They will look at the forces of nature and they will more like recognize nature, recognize the sun, the moon, you know, stuff like that. That is where the transition from to a belief system. But um, let me just say this real quick. Nikki Willie, thank you very much for the super chat. Nikki Willie said, thumb up the live stream. Please share and subscribe. Feel free to join the panel. The link is pinned at the top. Thank you very much, Nikki Willie. Big up Michael Clarin and Dead D. Big up to all of the ones and ones. And we check in. You know the thing. Carla, Fire Grill Online. The Bible is not a myth, and I is still a severe fight. Yeah, man, check in, as Nikki Willie said, and just give us some insight on about that. We are here to learn as well. You know the thing, go. Um, go through the soji. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 I want to tell, um, Kashi's, me, a youth, where, me read the Bible, you know, me read the Bible, you know, me mm -hmm. just dismiss it and don't know what it says. But that's a the mistake a lot of people mm -hmm. make. You can't just dismiss something and you don't listen to it, you don't watch it, you don't read it. All right. Um, there's some things in the Bible when you agree with. A lot of things in the Bible when I agree with. Ooh. You understand? And there's some where it don't make any sense whatsoever. None. Yeah, that, that me, is true. Me, me, me have enough common sense. They say, all right, you know, say so me, me we work with this in a but this not make no sense. And then you're gonna have people where yo. If the Bible said you have to work with it, you know, which is madness. That's that's lunacy. You know, see, it's lunacy. Just like every other book, you, you just have to read the thing and try to understand what it has said. Yeah, what well, 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 I think though, well, in the current, um, in the current fears that we're in right now, in terms of global conflicts because of religion. Well, re religion, what, what, religion cause some that? of the yeah, religion, religion cause some of the biggest conflict ever because. Most of the people them were 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 involved in the conflict. Is either them are one religion or the next, especially Christian or Islam. Mm. You know, right? um, you, you have you have you have people say them are Christian, them go church, but them is a nuclear scientist. See? I'm gonna understand it. Them 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 build them build them build ammunition, them build weapons. They destroy each other, but them say they're Christian or them are them are them are Muslim or them are whatever. Yeah, but remember say when, when they do what they do, them do it in the name of exactly. So exactly. <laughs> so is it, 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 it weird, bro? I mean, it, it, it's weird. Like everybody exactly. Everybody exactly. has said them they might this and them are that and feed them thing are the real thing. And right now, to me, I look for it. Me, I, me I look for it right now. It, 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 I think them thing had it over with. They get what I mean? I say, we think we did no. civilized enough to, to pass the stage where we are persecute people because of their religion. And, Brother, and you know, say, I'm going to speak on behalf of where my experience, right? I can't really speak on behalf of everybody. I say, well, mm. but this is just opinion, right? Black people pray too much, Rasta. Yes, man, I agree. <laughs> Black people pray too much. You must get up and go do something. Stop your praying, brother. Yes, brother. No. To me, tell someone say don't pray. That kind of that, that that kind of rude. If I, if, yes, you, if you want to put true. it that way, there you understand. That is it, true. it just so me just I do like a general. So yo, certain things, brother. Certain things. If you believe said the prayer work for you, fine with me. You know, we're not we're not we're not go around it. If you believe said the prayer work with you, but don't tell me say it's gonna work for me when yo me no say yo me have to get up and go work or me have to get up and go do this or me have to, mm. me have to. black people have to get up off of them knees, brother. That is true. Yeah? That are all back here, but black people. The first problem them have them to find solution. You know, them start pray. See, and if you look at other races in other world, brother, every other race is above we, and them I mean, not them not they with no praying business, brother. Right, for real. 
but yeah, I feel yeah, well, it's a thing still now, it's a I think we think we think we are pretty different because we, we, we disagree with you. Let's say other people. And that's other that's fine. Not, that's other fine. People, other race not pray because I think them pray, but we not think them on depend on if everything in our God hand fit fit to do what so, do will work for them. I get. I mean, right. say them get so up and they, do the One of the richest country in the world, you know? one of the richest country in the world, which is China. China not believing in Jesus and stuff like that. Well, that that that's some, every country that, that, that's money China, 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 every yeah, no, it, no, it, no, no, cash, cash, okay. cash, um, cash. Remember, remember that, um, you see, yes, you do have a few people over there who are Christians, and that was because that, that was Britain, Christians. Well, I know, well, I know, cash. I'm saying during the time of colonialism, right, missionaries were fully active. You know, remember, um, 1807 when Britain abolished slavery, they also created the society for the education of um the the slaves but the reality is that you know a lot of missionaries started going all over the place so long story short we when britain controlled china you know and ones and ones can look up that and look at even the british opium war and things like that there were missionaries who were going into china you know and and these people were rejecting that so long story short china is not a religious country you know it's not at all just like evil with with, ah. with japan them yeah, not really me, really just them not adapt no eurocentric religion I, like that again. I agree with that. I agree with that. So them not ag accept no eurocentric religion or them not religious in a certain sense. But they have certain traditions where it where involve rituals where them consider with a prayer. Even if them not forget what me I say. Them have yeah, certain Buddhism. Buddhism. Ah, okay. okay, thank yeah, you. They are Buddhist and, and and you actually have certain parts in China um where you have the the, the Uyghurs. Right, or them call it the, the Jiamin province. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where you have yeah. a lot of Muslims there, but those Muslims were a, a, a result of the, the, the Mongols, then the Genghis Khan, and them people eh, who did conquer them region there. But you know, China now does seal off there, so and them seal off a part of the Muslim population of like places like Mongolia and them something there. So, long story short, China is not China, not deal with no um, Western religions at all. You and know, tell me which country don't owe China money. <laughs> right, the um Japanese them <laughs> Japanese them are with no Western religion either. Even though you you do have um you know some some Christians so, there as me say again because of the the missionaries that were sent out all over the place figure quote unquote civilize these people. You get what me I say. So me get that. Um, Canon, big up yourself. Um, big up to um Sherry Jack. Yeah, man, I accidentally kicked myself off. I'm sorry. Yeah, so big up to Sherry Jars, big up to Canon God. Yeah, man, big up to all the ones and ones. Them. Um, we, we, we check in. Just drop a like on the stream, please and thank you. Yeah, so as I was saying, when you look at, as soon as you say, you, you look at these countries, China, very progressive. Um, Japan, very progressive. If you look at even Southeast Asia in general, um, even Vietnam that went through that lengthy war. Vietnam war started from about 1928 1929 in 1930s go straight back up to 1975 i know people talk about the time when america got involved but people not talk about when the french were there and got their their their, their defeat at at dnv and foo you know in the 19 um 50, 1949 1950 there and about and you know america start to actually assist the french with military aid until them start support sigmund you know, them start to support um the South the Vietnam um leader there, and I saw them get caught up in 1963. 1963 to like 1975, a 12 year war, and you know, they actually got defeated down there. So I, I just say that to say that um even Vietnam right now is very progressive and they went through a very lengthy period of war. And a lot of them are not to say them not really deal with no, no Western religion. Um they do practice Buddhism, some of them. You get what I say? Yeah, man. And remember um, that very popular mm -hmm. uh, the Buddhist monk named Kwang Kai Dok. Kwang, Kwang, Kwang Kai Dok, right? He actually lit himself on fire in protest um, about what was going on in Vietnam with, with, with the South. Because the South had to do with um, democracy and the North had to do with communism. 
So it's two different ideologies that clash. Now, Kwan Kai Dok, him light himself a fire. You get what I say? And, and um, you know, the people them get outraged. And that are when he started the whole, the whole terminal in Vietnam and them said they go over to the government. So, you know, I just say that to say that um, Vietnam, yeah, man, so some of them are Buddhists, but they don't really embrace no bag of Western religion like that. And all these countries are very progressive now. Sure. So at the end of the day, if you look at even Africa today, Africa have more churches right now than even schools. You know, so, um, a lot of the missionaries, them, they, they, they only care about building churches in Africa. So you realize right. so, in Africa think, now, yeah, are, are right. most like Christians and Muslims. You get what I say? Go to cash. Yeah, I get what I say, man. But if, if, if they come back to it, to it, um, it's what they say from the beginning. Let me say, black people pray too much. You get what I say? Right. So they say now you have to peel back a whole layer again because the comparison we you use is a China. China, China is a country. When you say black people now, where do you mean by black people? So, so, so let me kind of, let me see if we could, let me, let me see if we can term it another way. See? <clears throat> like we take, like we take, say, Jamaica, for example, right? Mm. Jamaica have one of the most, Jamaica, the, the country have the most church per per hour, square mile per whatever, whatever. Yeah, man. That, right? The that, most. And church. bar, and bar. And bar. But make we talk about <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> make we talk about the church, see? So you would you would say that Jamaica is a very religious country. You would um, you would you would say that be a Spanish amount of church over there. Because the Jamaican, the major, the major Christ, the major religion in Jamaica are Christianity. Well, if if well, you would have said that if you don't know not about Jamaica, if if I that I only starts where I work with. No, so remember some remember some born and grow Jamaica. No man, I, not, not you me at that man. Mm. Remember, so like the, the general person. So so yeah, so from an outsider, so an <laughs> yeah. outsider, no right. So if them just go, if them just use that stats alone, yeah, then we we'll assume Jamaica is a religious country. Yeah, yeah. So, so be a the amount of church on a small island. No, yeah, it, it is. It is. Jamaica is a religious country. Yeah, it is. It's a green very, with very religious. Like, very <laughs> religious. Extremely. Yeah. Extremely very, religious. Very extreme religious. Because yeah, as a matter of fact, probably 1% of Jamaicans even reason yeah. every reason. That's Brother. just the reality. Brother, Majority yeah, of them, very religious. Even Rasta, to remember Rasta? Yeah, Rasta, man, then, a Bible, then, 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 and Isaac, the yeah. Almighty. See, and you know, that Christ thing. in his kingly character and them something there that again a religion too. So yeah, me don't go to that because them because the, the Rastafarian is in totally is a religion, you know. Like totally a religion, you know. So, you know? And it never start out as that. But we will we'll get this in a, in a in a little bit. But but make we go from where make we go from the angle where cash a, a reason pan, right? Say as some somebody went a born and grow Jamaica don't know nothing. And then Google how many churches in Jamaica are, which island in the Caribbean have more churches and whatever, whatever. You when you say Jamaica and the amount of churches, not just churches, the type of church because you know you have different type of church. You have you have the the mosque where 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 the Muslim them pray now. Um, you have you have synagogue if you if you is a uh, help me out there, Mate. Who, a, who did, a Jew, right? And of course. You going have you going have the Roman Catholic, and 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 and, and, and it goes thousands and thousands of church everywhere. Yeah, see. So, but, and so I yeah, said so. so we yeah, said go on, go on, go on, go on, before you continue, so yeah, consider um the, the other every religion you yeah, consider them. Um, that's why I said Jamaica. Yeah, that's a religious. That's why I said religious. Okay. I mean, just oh, pick okay. on one. I mean, just say Christianity are this that. Oh, we just right. say religion, religious, okay, right? Yeah, man, got you. And and we can't deny that Christianity are the major religion. Yeah, yeah. In a Jamaica, all right. But me just say religious, so that means say cover everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? But the thing is, Jamaica is still a third world country, and I can't understand why. I mean, me have my own opinion why still, right? Yeah. And what would that? What would that? What would that, what that, what that be? What's your opinion? Incompetent, right? incompetent leaders, brother. I agree and it, you in, think, in, in confident, so, can you me, me see me see me here with my own ears yeah and and we can pull up that where ministers were in charge of in charge of certain port, portfolio i think a security address whatever and for them solution 
the man. The crime. For them, solution for crime is divine, yeah. inter divine intervention. The Peter kind of Mountain one? said it. Um, um, Chang said it too. The one other one said it, it yeah. What I remember, of... sir, remember as well, um, every year, every January, have breakfast prior and national, national prior remember. breakfast, that nonsense. Them something are mad. Them something are nonsense. In nonsense when they take fast years money and agree. rent out big banquet all at Pegasus or whatever hotel. I agree, man. I agree and have a prior breakfast and them nonsense. But I pray so, for Jamaica. So if you're a minister, I, you, brother, me here are prime ministers. Prime ministers from both sides that are about God and divine and even yeah. with even with national anthem wrong, you know, brother. That don't make no sense neither. You know, if you listen to the national anthem properly, you know, brother. Yeah. See? If you yeah. we just we just we just full of pride and we love Jamaica, so we work with it. Yeah. But if you break down the national anthem, brother, I really Janet I deal with again. Yeah, it's a, yeah, God, God thing. Same. And, 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 and it and it and it and it 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 not working. So, it's not without, working, but, brother. Without accident, without accident, though. Because you say you say the problem would be incompetent leaders, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the only issue? That that's that's the main issue. Yeah, yeah. man, that's a, that's a, that's the nucleus of the problem. Or the nucleus, so it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be a religious problem then. No, it wouldn't be a religious problem. Okay, gotcha. it wouldn't be a religious problem. Come with that, because if it was, would ask you like, why if, if people them in Jamaica decides that they're done with religion. Mm -mm. Well, it wouldn't. Well, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a religious problem. It's it's, okay. it's a leadership problem in general. I couldn't. I can't blame religion for other things, but not how, not 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 how the state of, the state of affairs, mm. when it comes to realness, because mean was a religion not solve anything. You mm, vote so. for a set of people to take care of the affairs of the of the of the, of the citizens, and it now happened. Okay. That's not a, that's right, not a the, church. The problem is though, the problem is um the problem is you know because even though the constitution you know just like um the United States right it tries yeah. to separate church and state both of them are are, are still in bed you get what I say um you, you notice uh, even parliamentarians when about a month ago right two two councillors were what not sworn in because they refuse to swear in using the Bible, you know. Andrew one is a swearing Bible, Mark Golden Bible, all the rest of them Bible. You get what I'm saying? And because them man they choose not to swear in using the Bible, um, there was an issue, and that is a problem legally because the separation of church and state allows people what the freedom of religion are to exempt themselves from religion. So I write in a mile in your garden, you know, you know, in my temple. Right, right in a mile in a garden, you know, because you are now the politician, them the leaders, them are hold on to a constitution that was given to us by our colonizers. Our colonizers don't even use them rules and laws anymore, and you know? we still are hold on planet, you know? and we don't have leaders to say, You are now. We have to change this thing up to benefit the people, you know. We can't hold on upon these. Um, the we cannot hold on upon this thing when I work for the people. But somehow, what, what, since what, would, what would that be though when I work? The, the, yeah. the constitution. The constitution. Oh, okay. Right? The constitution. Why are we why a man have to swear upon a Bible if he don't want to say what what happened to his freedom of choice? Right, right. And that's a problem, as me I said. But again, now people not really talk about those things. You know, that is that is a problem. It is a problem that because um if a man is a Rasta man now, right? And and him in and him win a seat, what, what are you going to say now? Mm -hmm. Um if him if him say here we go on, here we go on, you know, me I got swear in the pan the kebre nagas or the feta nagas. Mm -hmm. And that me want swear in pan. We, we, we the, the, man, can swear the, one, the ones can put them on pan a stone or a tree, it don't matter. It don't it don't, it don't matter. See? It's not but, that but, is but, not. That is a Masonic ritual tree, no people are really but, overstand that too. You get me? I think it, I think, I think it would have matter still because if it never matter, the person would have no problem for beat for that, with a Bible. No, but you have to no, understand. But why you use a Bible though? Why you have to use a Bible? Right. Uh, I, 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 I can't tell you why I think that that is the case. Even though yeah, I, mean, I, I agree with you, I'm mean, not see sense, side, but but yeah, me, that's how coming. Right, right, so, right. Um, so, yeah, but we'll cash and finish, and then Karen can say a thing after. I say, yeah, the, the, the constitution, I think so everything would have fallen under the, 
like that okay they might use the bible so you know so the bible a like christianity thing right so the things that the whole thing would have fallen under like christianity if they're not going to use the bible and what is so whatever whatever um yeah they got join and whatever you, this you, you should know before you're joining how the rules and regulation go and well and so you don't know from from long time so them use the bible in this institution in this constitution or whatever right you don't know that long time even if you know you know you're not in a not with the bible you know how it go it's, so you it's, you you decide say you're gonna you want to join this so this is the way you go about doing it you have to swear all right so so hold on and now me, that's me, how me, 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 oh, that's me, how me, me clear let me clear up something let me clear up something go ahead I stand corrected. There's no way in the constitution say you have to swear on a Bible, you know. Okay. Right, right. Correct. There's there's Correct. there's there's no way. There's no it's, it's don't say you have to swear in Panaki King James Version Bible. It's a tradition. It's it's more like a tradition or a culture. Right. It's not a law. Okay. You call it. But it's so, not a law. Okay, right. so if it's not if it's not so, a law, then so the reason why I refuse to do it, then we don't see a problem with it. Yeah, the reason why I mention the constitution is me just to make a point how our leaders our leaders operate. You understand? That was the point of the constitution. Right. You know, it, it and, and the problem was in a cash. The problem was they were not allowed to swear in because they refused to swear in the Bible. So I guess the problem there. I remember said them and they were elected by the people as counselors. So you can't use one Bible and, and take with the man name status. So in a democracy. I, yeah, in, a yeah, democracy in a democracy. Democracy right? because at the end of the day, you have the freedom of religion and freedom from religion. So you want to worship one tree. Yeah, man, yeah, you can actually go and do it. As a matter of fact, it's hypocrisy as well because and people are suing her because people don't really understand laws and people push and sue because right now we need to even petition or sue to have them um legalize obia. You get what I say? It, it might sound a way because remember, you know, obia was demonized because it was an African spiritual tradition. That's all beat little drum and them sitting there it, and it, it, it was it actually demonize it. It was and actually outlawed by the British. It right, was it actually in the constitution say it is illegal and yeah, by the British. Right. So how yeah. so hold on. So how, how is Obia illegal, but the lodges them good in a Jamaica? Mo, yeah. on, on the tell me that now. Well, you have to look at who, who are so, on the lodge and who are do right. Right. But, but, say, but uh, let me just make um canon say a thing we quick down there. We can circulate the reasoning. Go to Canon. Yeah, big up on yourself, my family. Yeah, man, big up. Well, yeah, man. respect. Respect. Um that's uh, um the the logical thought of me would have as somebody where you know grew up in a Christianity and never have a choice. You know, your parents just tell us how this is for the logical thing for the think as far as the Bible and the swearing in, you know, even in swearing in, in courts too, you know, for jury or uh, uh, victim or whoever else is me so. So I feel like so them do the Bible for sure that um I know we really are lied to. There's actually a higher power and this is who you really uh is it me sir yeah we understand, i said everything we are said right now i understand but because <laughs> them grow up in other way if you say yeah you know real, you have a higher real. power in your life you know so this is the higher power now so every mm -hmm. time we come across a big job like a senate job when i talk about or something where i have to deal with you you have to keep it truthful mm -hmm. and there's no lie for telling her this ever you know them bring the bible in and say okay so the higher powers you know you know but yeah so, so so let me give you the solution for that yeah. now, can I? see yeah. If you go in a court and you swear to tell the truth and then then find out say you tell a lie, there's 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 consequences for that, you know. Yeah, the perjury. Yeah, yeah so you don't need you don't need no Bible. You just because you swear upon a Bible, you don't mean say people. No, but then also make it remember the objective thing to you know, mm -hmm. objective, yeah, objects, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So the Bible is an object in that me that think. Mm -hmm. It it's just if it's just the it's just the fear again, me general. As it's no manager. different from the golden cow me that think in other situation. I just threw the golden cow that too big for going in court every day. Well, Anna, it's just a fear in a man I swear upon the Bible. You know, that means say, yo, he can't be a human being again. He can't tell no lie on this and that as a normal human being do. Because guess what? Him, him swear upon the Bible, so you have a thing to say the truth, him I tell you. Because he yeah, swear honestly, upon the Bible, I, you know. I would know, and I, and I say, we have a thing to say the truth, you know, the fact that we are making no So listen, the, 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 the consequences is great. Yes, I mean, I say, so you so, think twice before you lie. So watch this now. Uh, so you swear upon the Bible. Hold on, so one second there. Gotcha. Yeah, man, big up in a black light. Um, black light. Yeah, man, black light, a craft man, you know, he love trying to frame arguments, theme, mm -hmm. theme, theme narrative, you know. Last night, we have all a little musical reasoning and him a tie in music to Illuminati and one bag or something. Something, <laughs> something, <laughs> something, <laughs> something <laughs> in general. 
And Freemasonry, you know, so I say, you know, don't really throw in things where you don't really understand. So now, now I am saying if Obia is illegal, why the lodges in Jamaica are not illegal? No, black light uh, are really a miscons to lodges and Freemasonry, so to speak. You get what I say? You need to understand that. You get me? Yeah, man. Before you had lodges, there was Freemasonry. Um, lodges are more like a Eurocentric thing. So, um, yeah, and not understanding Freemasonry, you get what I say, does not mean say you, you should demonize that which you don't understand. And at the end of the day, um, I think next week's on the time and space permit, I'm going to break down, you know, yeah, man, the Egyptian aspect of it and where it originated from and what it represents, and you will understand. So, um, it's, it's, it's not what you think it is. So, at the end of the day, yeah, you watch a whole political conspiracy theory video, and then we show you the Rockefellers, them and them people. Yeah, me not go say them that are angels and saints, but them go join fraternal orders. You get what me I say? I just that's that there. People practicing Freemasonry and doing evil things does not make Freemasonry evil. Freemasonry has its Egyptian origin, and it was all about the principles of my art. Truth, justice, righteousness, reciprocity, harmony, equilibrium, etc. etc. One had to say, Anuk Ma'at Kelru. I am truth of words and deeds. You went to school for 40 years to become a Sarah or a son of light. And everything that you do, you had to affirm. Anuk Ma'at Kelru. I am truth of words and deeds. You get what I said? That is where masonry come from. That's why you have to square your actions. Stand on your square. When a man says stand on your square, I mean a man say what? Be truth in your actions. Be fair and square. You get what me I say? Balance. Because it's for your spirituality. 360 degree circumference. The G is for gnosis or knowledge, which is the light. Nothing evil about it. Don't make them trick on you. You get what me I say? Um, we go through the um, soji and finish where you say, and then Canon can say a thing. Oh, me think so. Canon did a uh, say something. Oh, so go to Canon and yeah, say can, um, can I just Yeah, somebody say, um, say the Bible would have be like the object to be praised. You know, me I say because uh, me I got, me I got explain upon that um, the religion is there, but without without giving somebody or something, you know, something to look at and be like, okay, this is sacred. You know, it got hard to believe at that time with just the blind religion. You know what I mean? So the Bible was then created for that. Then, so basically, what me just say as far as what me just said before, me say me that explain upon. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you hear me. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, we got you. But hold on so, one second. Then. Big up to JP. Big up to King Asar. You know, yeah, man. Big up to Summer. All of the ones and ones. I'm a Sunday evening. You know, a Sunday day. It's esoteric reasons. So respect mm -hmm. for the checking. Got you, Soji. Yeah, yeah, hold on. If you prove the point to me, that's about the Bible. Um, For sure, you said the Bible is also a sacred object. Mm -hmm. Um, If you even tear out a Bible leaf or a Bible in front of somebody where you study Christianity, all them get vexed with you. You know, I'm probably never talk to you again. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, but that, again, that, no, to you know, a passion and zeal and people ignorance that, too. Um, black light, yeah, yeah, man, you can check in and tell us what Rosicrucian Freemasonry is because me no know where you are talking about this about Rosicrucian Freemasonry. <laughs> Did you get what I said? So check in and enlighten us because nothing wrong. That's why I say the G in Masonry represents gnosis, which means knowledge, and knowledge means the light. You get what I say. Yeah, man. So I just saw that there. So I'm um, checking in and tell you about the Rosicrucian <laughs> Freemason. Yeah, man. So I'm um, go to um Awu Soji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you may say, may, may I tell Brother Kenan and I will say, yeah. it's because of the indoctrination that we have. That's why we include religion and Bible, even in our states, even in our government affairs. Is the indoctrination, my brother? Yeah. Right. So, so as where well, my brother him tell did I say, yo, them really have to know the meaning, really if you separate church from state, because the 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 virgin them and sister in them were the people them vote for. Through through the quote unquote democratic um yeah. um process, right? And these people represent the people, say, yo, we're not swear upon the Bible. There shouldn't be any repercussion in any way, shape, or form because it's supposed to separate church from state. True. And I see it. So this is where it come back to why Jamaica is still a third world country 
And it comes down to leaders, brother. It's like if if you if you are the leader for your household, you are gonna make sure so your household run the way where everybody are gonna benefit in a brother. Yeah. See? Because if you if you have two children in a house and where how you run your house is only one one child a benefit and the other child well, so far. It, it don't make no sense. You have to run your house over your whole family. Benefit. In the side. I, I just I just saw me, I just saw me look on it. I mean, I said, yo, over the years when I study Jamaican politics, I mean I said this can't right, you know. This cannot be right because guess what? When the people them get so incompetent, them just them just throw religion night. Bre- breakfast, um, um, prior breakfast, divine intervention, this, yeah. that, God, this, God, that. Even with even with Anthem, brother, it's nothing to do with anything but religion, brother. Yo, we'll watch this, um, Suji, right? See, um, Candice Owens, there, you know, Candice uh, Owens, Cardinal Sin was saying Christ is king. So, so them people, especially chosen people, are say she <laughs> a style for them thing and them are used the S S P at the panar. You know that word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, much, yep, yep. Right? Where them walk around with a whip for everybody. Them use it and tear down Kanye, then tear down Kyrie Irving, right? They must take the football player too. Where them, where they're not even there in the league no more. Remember that, right, that the right. big so, quarter. So, so, so my point is now, Ka- well, Owens, Kaepernick thing was different, Majana. Kaepernick he was, was he wasn't. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't. yeah. Um, Kaepernick was more protesting and taking the knee and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But with, 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 we're talking about, um, you know, in a Candice Owens, um, you know, context. You get what I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Nick Cannon too, yeah, man. Them the Nick Cannon now yet. Kyrie Irving, remember, he had to go to re education class be- before <laughs> but, um, he, he but, was re accepted into the NBA. I remember the commissioner for the NBA, we don't know him name already. So that's the that, thing that says it all. Um, that's Kyrie that's Irving had to go meet with rabbis and go to uh, museums, go look, go learn uh, as part of mm-hmm. his education. So Mr. Saying, all them people that run the thing. So don't play the, reason, the reason why why these things happen to them people, you know, because them in a them people the house, you know. Forget what I say. You know, so say, why why are why are why are the um you know the Israelites and the Jews? Um, no, why are no, they? No, no, I use them words. Uh, pan, that's why you you, you miss. I'm thinking a legal word in the one. No man, you know, okay. follow a certain reasoning in the bread and follow a certain words. You know, get me I say. A YouTube with the pan is it's it's a space where it's yeah. very tricky because the algorithm we are dealing with, we're not dealing with the human element. Certain words, yeah, are problematic in the algorithm. You get yeah, me I say, that's um, why we have to be careful and use yeah. other words for us go around the thing. You get what I say? Yeah, me I say, why are they so powerful in that like you know the religion world also? You know, even like close to um the guy them where they in you know, the east, um them seem like them even have a higher power than them worldwide. Why? Why is that so? Why do well, have so I much mean, them, information them and money. so much? It's 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 money. Yes, it's it's money, but, and them them put in structures in place where they become very powerful. Remember, saying no, it's not no them powerful no. But Remember, the place where them um, come from is not even um, a really right. big place. Case in point. Case in point. In eighteen, in eighteen fifteen, right? Look at history one oh one. There was a battle of Waterloo. The battle of Waterloo was between Napoleon and the British. Because remember at that time, Napoleon was king, emperor. A uh, man claimed himself as emperor, control Italy, control almost all over Europe and them something there. So long story short, in the even control Egypt at the time, to the point where um, Champollion went there and decided for the Medo nature. So long story short, at the Battle of Waterloo, um, the, there was one man who ran back to England and tell the bankers them, say, Britain lost the war. Long story short, all of the wealthy man them start to sell off um the, them bonds. You get what me I say? He here comes um you know the rest child brother, and him buy the one of the bonds them. Come to find it out, Britain actually won the battle of Waterloo. I say that to say this: these people have been around for a very long time with a lot of wealth. You get what me I say? And their influence. So at the end of the day, these are the bankers, you know, where them dominate mm-hmm. the thing. So. The reality is that you can't go around that. Them put themselves in a media, them control the media, them control the you know it go. Them control the media and the finance. Them control the, 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 the medical field. Most of the doctors, them, the most of the lawyers, them are that, judges are that. So they position themselves in a politics, very powerful to very influential. Yeah. They have lobby, powerful. Um, yeah, you have the ACLU and them people that too. You get what I say? Um, you actually have APAC, 
you know, are them that same way to um you, you have the 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 American whatever, whatever. Listen so, to me, there's so much there's let me so much um, the property too, plans. even the properties that I'm own across the world. Let me give my take on that. Thing, position like that, really quick. Right? So therefore, at the end of the day, you know, they can have that influence and power. That's just the reality. But um, I don't want to, to stay on that too much because mm. I really want to deal with the Rasta Hebrews, you know. Mm. Yeah, we want to deal with the 12th so, tribe, um, speak on it, you know, if you know, have any Yeah, so let me say this real quick on the way. Wait, let me say yeah, this because real quick the topic, the kind of sensitive, um, that, that reason. Yeah, especially yeah, yeah. where we really going over the part, so. Yeah, it, you me, me, say, yeah, man. That's a serious thing I go on. Me over as well for say, man. So, you know me I say now? We go back to Brother Cash, who open my listen. See? You say while black people are pray, then people are empower themselves. Why we they are the power we need and we are pray and we are this and we are pray. They might empower themselves. That we are doing. You know, we take them Bible and we take them religion and we take them this and we take them that. While them take away what we have. See? I don't have I don't have my opinion on that. So make we transition into into the the, the reason where we are saying no about it. I don't even know if they are the man. Yeah, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, man. So I'm saying, I'm talking about like the, the, the Rastas who call themselves, um, you know, Hebrew. 12 tribes. Because <laughs> once you are with 12 tribes, you are with the Hebrew Israelite thing. You are with the quote unquote 12 sons of Jacob and them things. You get me, I say? So I, I am saying you do have Rastas who um, say, boy, they are from this tribe and that tribe and the tribe of Judah and things like that. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, you ask them for the lineage. Um, that is where it becomes problematic. You get what I say? It's it's so, all about. So got you. It's all about indoctrination. The stories were being passed down from through the generations, right? Because it it can't make no sense. It it cannot make any sense why a Rastafari, especially a black Rasta, a black Rasta man or a black Rasta woman, would align themselves with a tribe where it cannot be traced. No matter what them say or what them do, because guess what now? Wait, start. Make we start. Make we start at the start. Who are they? Who who are the thing? Why? Abraham, right? Imotep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Abraham. Yeah. So, so, so Abraham will have what? How many children? Two sons, right? Or you know, just see if we can see if we can guide with you that. How many mm -hmm. sons Abraham have? Um, well, 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 you, you know, say, um, with Abraham, you know, say, he did with Isaac, you not know, true? Isaac and Jacob, right? No, man, no, man. J Jacob is the son of Isaac. Isaac. So, so, so Abraham have what? One son? Um, it was, it, it was Abraham, right? And, um, well, uh, it was Abraham, right? And then there was Isaac. I think that was the first son with, with Sarah. Mm. But um, but hold on, but there was um Esau, right? Wasn't it Esau? So you have Esau that, and that, Jacob that, was, that, that was born from Agar. Yes, you have Esau and Jacob, right? One was born from the Egyptian maid and one from his wife. No, man, I mean, not talk about you. If you talk about Abraham, son, Abraham, son, yeah, I talk about Isaac and Esau. Mm. All right, so so let me restructure Jacob the question. Come after, right? Remember, that Jacob father is Isaac, you know. Mm. So let me restructure the question then, see. Because everything um start from Abraham. We agree with that, right? What, what do you mean? In terms of the in terms of the Hebrew thing, right? The, 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 yeah. Right, in terms of the Hebrew thing, yes, yes. They, they would have said start with Abraham, right? Abraham. Right. What race was what was Abraham ethnicity? Well, all right. So if we have a reason from a biblical perspective, um he was Babylonian, so to speak. So would you say he was a black person? No, 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 not so, one bit. Not so, one bit. how comes a black Rasta man or a black Rasta sister in a talk about them? Uh, them, uh, them, uh, them, them, right, right. Well, they how, are how from the, Judah is, and Benjamin, Judah and, and this and, and Benjamin, and Benjamin this right. and because the 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 nucleus, the the foundation of the thing, wasn't black. Right, but 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 yeah, the pagan, the pagan one or one I said as Abraham African people and them things. Let me tell you, I already say you no, know, nothing oh, wrong. Okay. If you know how to hold them position there, you know, but it's <laughs> they might make Abraham it. black. They make Jesus black it, too, you know? It's not so easy, man. It can type, you know, easy to type. But it's not so easy to explain <laughs> still because, as soldiers say, if Abraham is from the land of Shinar, right? His father's name was Terah. Mm -hmm. And Shinar is Mesopotamia or Ur of the Chaldea. Mm -hmm. We are talking about Ur of the Chaldea. 
You know, so Babylon, Mesopotamia, no, no, Iraq, them places, places, brother. China, Iraq, right? That, mm-hmm. that little region there, right? Mm-hmm. So, me, I say, if, if Abraham is from that region there, and them people eh, at that time, right? Them people, eh, how, how them become us West Africans now? Because I remember, you know, all of the Rasta man, them in you know, West Africans, them, you know, right? West and Central Africans, them. So, as me, I said, them identify with. Some people were, were forward from modern day Iraq. Make with us reason with them from a biblical angle. So how West Africans related to them people, you know? You get what I said? These are the Funny, questions really. where, you know, yeah, man, the rest of them will find... Yeah, the bridge is not forward to come explain it. The bridge is not forward to come explain it, so... No, you know, you know, yeah, it, it, know. it's not so, easy so, to explain to you. You get me? So, so I mean, him can't, the explanation, we don't have to agree, but at least you can't just say, you can't just say, Abraham are from Africa and in black and in this and that. And you can't, there's no, there's no, there's no images. There's no image or anything for say this was a black man. So my question is because this is one of the problems we have with religion in pan a, pan a whole spectrum in a brother. You see? Right. Because if you try to force people to believe in a way you believe. And it, it cannot be right because guess what? From me, I grew up, me never see a Chinese looking Jesus yet. Right, right, right. So where right, Chinese right. people come from? It's part of the truth, too, brother. Really too. What, what China, where Indian people come from? Where black people come from? Because they talk about black people curse. You see the, you see the, you see the, you see the stigma where they put on black people. Them say right. a curse, we curse while we're black. You know? The Bible said that, you know. Yeah, yeah but remember, said us, um, remember saying you know, the problem is, you know, um, Soji, remember that, right? Um, that 1807 Bible that was written. And a lot of people need to understand that the slave Bible that was written in 1807, the same time when they, they actually abolished slavery, that was the Bible that was given to us. So therefore, yes. um, certain certain chapters and passages that, that promoted slavery, slave obey your masters and things like that were deliberately, quote unquote, interpolated into the Bible. You get what I mean? I say um, right stories of the Exodus were deliberately omitted from that 1807 Bible is after the abolition of slavery that I went them give with the original King James. So I does that now a part of the problem to big up to King Asar, you know. Respect me, General, for the check-in. So that, that's my point though. The, the King James original Bible, we, we didn't have access to that one. It mm. was the slave Bible that was deliberately written um with those passages and scriptures to maintain um us being servants and things like that. You know, something about bone if I Rasta bridging a yard away. Me and them man, they, them man, they literally raised me. You see? And him say, man, Naya Bingi, the man where you so got Naya Bingi chant and Ray Ray. But when you listen to my brethren reasoning, this man have some not so nice um, um, things to say about woman. You know? So woman at this, woman at Jezebel, woman at this, and the man at Naya Bingi. You know? So when I say, yo, you know who named Naya Bingi? And him start going and Naya Bingi hard and priest and I'm say brother, you know, say Naya Bingi is a woman. All right, see, so, see, so, see, so, see, so, Rasta man check in and so, Good, good. Naya so, man check in, you know. So, so me I say, me I say, me I tell the brother, say, you know, say Naya Bingi was a was a woman from Uganda. And, oh, and you have the Naya Bingi hard and you say so much disrespectful thing about woman, brother. Me not understand you. Him never know said Naya Bingi was a woman. Him never know. So education and information, especially at this day and age, we're not supposed to hold on the same old, same old foolish and doctrine where we can get information where things updated and upgraded all the time. As when me I go to school, anything me I research, me I go look for the encyclopedia and this and that and them things are outdated, brother. All right, so, oh, so when you're so done, let me, 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 me tap in and show you. Yeah, got you, got you. Wait, wait yeah, yeah, and hold on there, hold on there. Mm-hmm. One second there to Soji. Um, hold on there now. What, what's black light? Black light, you know, say, you know, say, Marie, you're reasoning more time, you know, but sometimes you really talk some foolishness, you know. We there and we are talking about black people, right? We, 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 we do understand the concept, in general. We, we not harp on and major in the minor. You get me? I say, but you know what referring to melanated people you want to say africans whatever that is fine 
But here you know. Listen to the black light and I'm gonna show now of the black lights stay more time. Black light they are complaining about black. Um, nobody is black. We, we understand that, my general. We understand it's a social construct that was formulated in 1676 there and about. Black and white. We get that. Right? Prior to that, it was Negro. You get what I'm saying? Or Negrito or whatever. You know, in a Spain, a Negro. You get what I mean? I say, we get that. So make me say Negro. Negro. It means black. If, if you want to go Greek, we can say Ethiop. You get what I mean? I say? So nothing no wrong, my general. We understand where we refer to. Because black. we are yes, so Ethiopia, so Ethiopia, burn like, and land of black um, faces. Yeah, yeah. So, so hold on the real man. Make swords so the finishing point and then you can go through. Mm. No man, you know say the Rasta Bridging just check in. May I say, you know. Me that try to say, yo, why why me, me know me that get a story about me, 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 me Adrian. I say, yo, now you're being get hard on this, but then the, the things that we must say about woman, the thing they must say, you, the thing that we must say about woman, may I say, yo. You know, say the conflict into where you say, you know, because the other way you're old, you know, brother, is a woman. Other, you, know. you say, what you mean? They say, you know, say, Naya Bing is a woman. And it come like a lightning strike the man, like, oh, in front, you know. Because the hygiene really can't read and write, it's just what people are telling. See? Yep. And him just, him just, him just regurgitated. I'm going to say, yo, brother, Naya Bing is a woman. Right, and um, he never, right. never um, believed me. I think that I, all, all I can and all I thought that, yeah, man. um, Pagan 101 say anthropology is needed for this topic. Um, well, at the end of the day, we can reason about um, anthropology, right? I remember said us when you come on to um, Shem Yafet, those are what hypotheses presented, and those are racist hypotheses, so to speak, as well. So we went and, and I then used the Bible to create these hypotheses, and that's why even um. Then we'll say you're Semitic, or if you're anti-Semitic, so to speak. But remember, say Semitic people um, also encompass the whole them people in the Middle East, right? The whole people in the Saudi Arabia and the Yemen, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine, Israel, Syria. You get what I'm saying? Even in a Persia, where they call modern day Iran, right? Turkey. All those mm. people are called Semitic people, you know. That's the reality. So um, these are all working hypotheses that's accepted in academia. It no means say, mm. oh, um, the 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 whole of the races of people on the earth came from these three people. It's nonsense. It's just something that was superimposed and accepted. So uh, that, 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 um, yeah, yeah, man. So go to the hold yeah, on, can I? You don't want to make a point about lion man. Yeah, man, real quick, man. Yeah, man, real quick, man. Reasoning. So go to yeah. Canada. So me just say, um, real man say I think. Yeah, so me just say, um, the Naya Bingi thing, we already know where that come from. You know, man, here, Bingi man, and things say, you know, that was just another name for the Rastafari, and so not knowing, like, say, it's a female thing. Is it me? I said, that come from. So, yeah, that is that is a thing I'm probably learning, like, seven years ago myself. You know what I mean? I said, where that really come from. And then the skin color thing, um, we all know that, um, well, I wouldn't say we all know, but me just say, with logical thinking, we just say everybody have the same skin color, but you know, our forefathers, we back in the days, because we come from the sun and them type of thing there, you know, our genetics start teach itself, say, yo, instead of everybody are born upon this color, people need to start born darker to match up with the sunlight and this and that, you know, just like we can say people are born in the snow, they are always born the way it is, you know, well, 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 at the end of the day, you know, um, our environment does influence our yeah. phenotype or, or, or our phenotypic makeup. You get what I say, and also our genetic makeup. So yeah. we, we do understand that. So at the end of the day, you know, we can reason from an anthropological um, perspective. You get what I say, and we can identify, um, you know, yeah, by the phenotype and their genetic markers and things like that. So at the end of the day, you know, as Soji said, um, how can you be from the tribe of Judah when at the end of the day, Judah um, never really, in terms of the biblical narrative, Judah wasn't from um, Africa or nothing like that. But um, since real man there still as a Rasta man, you know, we, man, we can just allow him to um, push back at Soji with the Naya Bingi thing there too. So go to the um, real man. All right. First to begin with, right? Well, what happened was Rasta wasn't a religion, period. Rasta was just a way of life. And this is how this come about. You see, because Jamaica, right? We born and grow. Rasta and Rasta. We born and grow in a Christian world based upon our 
our our um our our colonizers saying no help more than you man come to Mr. Tayati Motet um my boy we we start the we start the Rasta movement. Right um you're talking about Leonard P. Owen Leonard right? Owell yes right. Leonard P. Owen so this mm -hmm. is what happened um Soji when we were praising the king of England in those times, right? As as a white man, uh, uh, black people are praising him as the king. So he came up with an idea. Remind you, Rasta was in Jamaica, uh, people with locks, and a Jamaica first start locks here, period. See? So he came up with a concept for himself, but black people, why are we praising a white man constantly? Right? Them time King Selassie was very popular and very powerful within whatever he was doing at the time. So he came up with a movement and he said, why don't black people, if we are going to look at King, if we really look up to them and give, give, give gratitude and all different types, why don't we look to the King of Ethiopia? Because at the time he was the one who really a fight for black people right in right across the world seeing so as so comes now make that come up and man and man now start to study rastafari but hear how the church thing come in now because the bible would align to like zion would align to like ja you know would align to so many different things we point to africa so rasta man take up the bible now and start read it and I feed them we you know, and then now them join different organizations in it. But Rasta never really, never really um come out for deal with the Bible. It was just a movement for black people for understand, say, yo, we're not gonna eat certain things, we're not gonna go down certain part, we're not gonna deal with certain things on a regular when it comes to colonializing are the, the people who actually brought us on the side of really in a in a in a in a da vibe. I just misconstrued Rastafari I get in a the sense over the time and then the start of man like get them where I teach certain things they have up a bubble hill where I teach certain things. See me about them still I use the Bible and them are align Rasta with the Bible when Rasta really not have nothing to do with the Bible but Rasta still read the Bible because you see reading it's, it's very fundamental and, and, and you have to gain knowledge from it in a sense for me you can't have the reason and what we have today so i really that will really take place but rasta is not a, a, a religion rasta is just a way of life you know and if you really interested for know things because i really rasta free my mental from which part me the deck me, 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 me assume all over there so on the the the, 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 the the platform of Jamaica and, and as you can see the impact where Manuel knocks up him here and say my Rasta due to so, Jamaica. Right, so, hold on, hold on this one second. Yeah. Me, I don't to respond. Um respect to Anne Marie, you know, big up Anne Marie say um the people on our road trip say if I teach at a public institution, no in Anne Marie, you just know you got more time man, you know, yeah man, we humble same way, man. I would just go through life and we give thanks for the journey. Mm -hmm. Because when I say Anne Marie, um, Rastafari Black College, yeah, he's a bubble priest, you know. Yeah, he's a Rastafari reason. I go on now, you know. So check in like um the last time. So Soji, yeah, go mm -hmm. through and respond because I really want to speak on what real man said a while ago as well. Because mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, Rastafari started out as a religious movement, but go through Soji. Okay. I don't think it started out as a religious movement, to be honest. Um, so when Leonard P. Howe will say, yo, we know I work with the King of England and th them thing they know. That was when his Imperial Majesty just become the Emperor of Ethiopia. So Leonard Howe will say, yo, a highly Celestia we are set. We're done with the King of England. It was a it was like a militancy movement. It was no, it wasn't, it wasn't even a it wasn't it was not even a Rasta movement in a brother. See? Because Haile Selassie is not a Rasta. Haile Selassie's name was Rastafari. All right, Mokan Mokanan or something. Uh, 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 right? Mokanen, yeah. So 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 when I say no, them adapt the movement from him name. Mm -hmm. See? Them adapt the movement from him name because 
the the whole Rasta movement and the way of life has nothing to do with his um his imperial majesty or any way of life where Haile Selassie live. No mm. way, shape, or form. Mm. How the Rasta them live here now, his majesty now lives on no way, shape, or form. Thank you. All right. Same? So um H all right. So since um I am of the position that Rastafari started out as um a religious movement and real man and you know swords you disagree. I'm just gonna ask this question. I mean, I ask it to put anybody on the spot because yeah. we are reason we are extreme ideas, right? So I'm gonna ask the question now. Um, what books were being used by Leonard P. Owell at the time when he was starting his movement? And that is for Soji and real man. Only can take a shot at it. I don't know. So, yeah, so not I don't, all, just reason so reason. Can I can I can I mention a author name where I think he was using? Um J. A. Rogers. Am I am I saying his name correctly? Um, well, J. A. Rogers is um, a great author, um, yeah. but Leonard P. Owell wasn't using him. No, as, Leonard. Um, no, honestly, Leonard P. Owell probably used the Bible. The Bible. Are, uh, I, what, you know what? It's a ask the question. Books. Yeah, he probably used the no, Bible. Hold on. You books. Know, you know, yeah, more than books. one. More than one. Sure. Yeah. yeah be, all right. So yeah, and these are the things where we have to dig deep where when we hear yeah. the Rastafari reasoning, yeah. especially yeah. from its embryonic stage. Yeah. You get what me I said? Because watch this now. Um, Leonard P. Owell was using the Holy PB. He was okay. using the Royal Parchment Scrolls of Black Supremacy. Okay. He wrote a book called The Promise Key. The Promise Key was actually some, um, some. I, I, I'm not going to say plagiarism, but he did take some of the concepts out of both books, wrote The Promise Key, and he incorporated the Bible in it. So they had they had four books. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. At, 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 at that inception. So um, plus remember, is is he's from a religious background. Yeah. You get what I mean? I said we can't and, go around that. So you, you, is, you don't say you don't run. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, make arm it must take land. Yeah, I just want to point out this because yeah. this a part of the, the real embryonic stage reason yeah. Rastafari, right? Yeah. Where Rastas don't go deep, you know, hear them reason they like that. You get what I'm saying? You will hear a man talk about I listen as he visit Jamaica and from 1960, what, six there and about? At this other man, them a reason from. The bad man reason from. Boy, you, the you know, you know, sir, if you yeah. are a man right now, where you see out that road where you sell bubble broom and everything, and you ask him who is Howard P. Who is um Leonard? Uh, Leonard, Leonard Howell. Uh, yeah, you ask him that name there. Him no, him, him can't tell you. Right. So 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 the thing is this now. When, when Soji mentioned J. A. Rogers, right? Yeah. Um, there is a brother when named Rogers, but it was Robert Rogers that Roger, wrote the yeah. Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Fitz Valentine wrote, you know, the Royal Parchment School of Black Supremacy. Mm -hmm. Those books were books of a religious persuasion. There's books we're talking about Alpha and Omega uh -huh. and Christ in his kingly character. character yeah. so if anybody go and read those books, it is like reading a black man's Bible because they, 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 the Holy Pibi and the Royal yeah. Parchment Scrolls, they were quote-unquote called the black man Bible. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then Leonard P. O. will use those two books to also influence his um, promise key. So I am mm -hmm. saying... A lot of Rastaman nowadays, right? Um, you don't hear the talk about those books. Those books were very significant because those were the books. The, the Holy PB and the Royal Parchment School of Black Supremacy were, were, were the books that were focusing on the, the Alpha and Omega kind of thing and Ethiopia and things like that. Especially with what Menelik did at the Battle of Adwa in, in Adwa, yeah. 96, 97. Yeah. And it went across the world and sent shockwaves. So that was when man I say, here we go on, yeah, man, with Ethiopia and many lick, yeah, yeah, man, definitely. And the Bible speak about Ethiopia here, so and it speaks about Ethiopia such as stretch forth our honor unto God. Yeah, man, I eat this and the prophecy is fulfilled. So th that was where they wrote those books and those concepts from. Because remember that Benito Sylvian from, from Haiti, he was what? An ambassador to the Western world on behalf of Ethiopia. A chief, he was a chief advisor to Menelik II as well. He brought all of that information over to 
the um, Western world started the Pan Africanism with Booker T. Washington and Sylvester Williams and, and them man there. They, and the rest is history. I say that to say this when it comes on to the, this, the, 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 the embryonic stage of the movement, mm -hmm. it was all religious. All right, Remember, and you have a point. Leonard, you have a point. was never um, any, any, um, yeah, any non religious person. The next thing is this now the the the, the gang guru thing. That that's he, he took on that the gang guru as 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 the Monica. That is what that is with uh, that's what with Hinduism. I remember say in a Hinduism you have some man in India who would lock them here and smoke the ganja. So that was nothing new to them. All when right. he always was exposed to um these type of information, so, and that is where him call himself the gang guru, and them start deal with the ganja. And all right. So even in ancient Egypt. Man, I deal with locks long, long time. So I'm saying smoking ganja and the locks was not original of Rastafari. Of Rastafari, yeah. we know that. But and yeah, then, the, no, yeah. I'm saying all those four books I mentioned were the books that were used to formulate the ideology of Rastafari. Go Can through. I say this to you now? And 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 I, and I get that to the fullest. Me, me go as far as most of the things them way I say. But one thing I am happy for that came out of that is that it formed a movement where black people can start look to Africa, look into themselves, who is willing to, instead of going by the same Eurocentric teaching, the Europeans constantly, because if it wasn't for man like them there, um, alongside Marcus Garvey and, and people who get the teachings from them, Maybe to them, you would even attack so. them. When I take communion and I drink wine for blood and all different kind of things. So me kind of glad for however it comes out. Right. It points to a black order. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, you know, I get that, you know. But you see, you see, um, the problem I have is that, you know, ones and ones will say it didn't start off as being religious. And that is not true. And that's okay. the reason why I make sure I light that critical part of the information because yeah, yeah. a lot of people, right, will dismiss it, but they don't know that history of the movement at its oh. at, at its embryonic state, so to speak. You get what I say? Yeah. Um, big up to Cheryl Pruitt. Nothing wrong for you, Sunday laugh. Jesus resurrection today. You walked around <laughs> 40 days before you ascended into heaven. Free black slaves on the pe um the peninsula of the Palestinians stolen from Africa. At the end of the day, I'm not aware of no black um people in a Palestine of the of, and I know slavery. You get what I say? Yeah, yeah we know say black people over there because you have black people are, are, are fled. You have a lot of black people that fled and went to the Negev desert. A lot of them went into Israel and Israel even threw them in a camps and pen them up and, and deport a whole heap of them. The prime minister called him a cancer. Nobody burn him out for that. You get what I say? So a lot of blacks they flee from the Sudan, they flee from Djibouti, they flee from Somalia, they flee from Eritrea, and they try to make it up to the Negev desert. So sometimes some of them will end up in a Gaza, of course. Some of them come to Egypt. You get what I'm saying? But that no means say them have no slaves over there. So no, I'm, I'm not gonna agree with that. You but get what I'm saying? No, such thing as no, no Africa don't Palestine don't... has no slaves. No, that's not what I'm calling Palestine now. No Africa don't necessarily. So um yes if that is not east africa it does sit on on the same plate okay. and we do understand we understand um that's why again history 101 we have to go back to the sykes and pico agreement i mean a thousand years ago those borders were not there you get what i mean I'm general exactly 500 years ago those modern day borders were not there you get me sykes and pico the british and the french foreign ministers they are the ones who mark up the whole place after they defeated the Ottoman Empire after World War I. So at the end of the day, that is just the way it is. Those borders, that, that Gaza, they remember it's a Gaza border with modern day Egypt in general. Yeah. The Suez Canal was a man-made canal. You get what I say? So at yeah. the end of the day, geographically, um, that part does sit on the, the same plate uh, as the African continent. And there's a land border be between Egypt and Palestine and Egypt and Israel as well. So that is just that. I just the politics and the colonialism of the time. 
that them them cut up the place and you know and that's why them always have these political tensions because when they actually cut up the place them cut in cut in certain place that were shias and them cut in some sunnis and now you have the shias and the sunnis are fight and all over the place you have different tribes shias and sunnis so at the whole political thing when them go on with and cut up the place change up the, the natural borders you get what i say the same mm -hmm. thing i did in africa too and that's why even a place like all um uganda and you know certain places tanzania you have so many different tribes and you know yeah bantu tribes and you have you know the the hutus and tutsis so when the british them start to mark up the place are the same problem them create them cut in certain tribes and it become very tribal so that's just the reality so even over the side there where you have modern day palestine and egypt it there they have a land border the gaza border is a land it's called the rafa crossing it's a land crossing between israel and gaza you get what me i say so i just the politics at the time them seal off the place the father grew up when 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 we're not gonna use the word al, al kibulan because that is actually an arabic word it's not an african word um sometimes there are misconceptions and we live and we learn and the information update as we go along so i saw that go because sometimes people would conflate and say well al kibulan um is the ancient word or indigenous word for africa when um that's actually arabic you get what i say when there was the muslim invasion or the arabic invasion them them take over cairo you know yemen and them call the place al kibulan so that is that is in Arabic when I refer to Africa or that place. And, and you know, they never I'm go good. all the way down. I'm glad you, you said that to you know, okay, because to me, when as far as I go back, I may have three certain things. Um, one time, you know, let me I work or oh, JFK and you know, I have a good bridge in my mind, you know, I mean I tell you, you know, until this day I have the car and the man give me, you know. But if I go uh, over upon um 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 what you call over this again. And tell them live in Brooklyn. When if you go over one mass with the man one day, you know, man. I mean, I tell you, so for some reason, I never end up go over there, you know, man. And, and, and when I start pre, you know, it's so hot. That's me sit down in the house, you know, and start watching documentary. Because I love watching things, you know. And Bridget, you know, so I get to find out, say, I say 100 years. It come like a, 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 a Arab, the, a them first enslaved black, you know. I don't know if I lie or two, but when I go further and more down in you know, the thing now, I get to understand. I mean, I said, but wait. At this minute, I go, I grow and I be a bigger everything ready for go back there. I know what I'm going to do with that. I just put that one side. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the problem is, you know, even in, uh, in America, you know, Walipa, um, Walipa, black people, you know, and it just goes and show. You see, at that time, even with Leonard Powell, the 1920s, remember yeah. he had Noble Jewelry, he, um, you know, started the more science temple so the man they are saying we are not african you get what i'm saying we are moors and this and that and the them start blending islam in the more science thing and it sounded good and didn't get a following um then comes fard mohammed a brother we born in a pakistan look like a white man bring <laughs> islam come over and black people all on planet he created the nation of Islam and black people whole on pan it too. Yeah. Then you have one next virgin, I forget his name right now. Him start the Hebrew, black Hebrew Israelite movement in America. You get what I say? And black people whole on pan that too because it sound good and they love how it feel. And then um, remember you have Elijah Mohammed too. Mohammed, you get what yeah. I say? And then you yeah. have um, even, even the virgin where, where, where um, start even Kwanzaa man. You get what I say? Um, I totally forget his name now. And also the five percent as them, they get when I say the Black Panther them, them kind as me as well, general throughout that time, yeah man, black people they just love to grab and pan, feel good religious things. So All you right, have, you have the Islam like, thing. That. Yeah, and most of the man them to know where thing go on because enough of them get not trouble with them go to prison. A man just turn Muslim because a man can't touch him like that. You get what I say? So is that, 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 that code in a prison for them? So at the end of the day, that Islamic thing have nothing to do with we, brother. Exactly. If you raise in a real life, and as me say, you know, it's not intended to offend nobody. The reality is that what man, I took Mo that day. Mohammed married a six-year-old me general according to them and consummate the marriage when she are nine. So me now have nothing to do with that respectfully. I mean, I'm mean, not talk for you offend nobody, but that's the reality. But we just love that feel good thing there, brother. We don't do it. Due diligence for them thing that it sound good and it feel good 
and we want to be a part of something and that's just it look upon richard curry them as maroons them i said as they are moors we come from north africa and these are west africans right with them dna and them phenotype you get when you when i say i show west africa and them are fight for said that they are from north africa and they are not african berbers and, and and them sitting there so we just love that feeling there to be different and be a part of something so i just saw it you get what i say let's this, this quick you see when i open the holy bible now one day my dad me and i open up the holy bible because i used to love to work love to read um psalms and, and proverbs so uh, I start read, go to it, you know, before me left my yard, I bust all the songs before me left my yard, in them days. Eh. And me go so boom now, I take up the Quran, and I start read the Quran, you know, because the Quran, when I have, you have a right in Arabic, and you have a right in you have the English part, and you have the Arabic part up at the top. So basically, a way you can, whoops. So you know, I so now I start read it. And you see, I start reading it, and the same thing as the Bible. One just I say Allah, and one I say Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember said as there is um all right, so no, watch this now. Mm, not say Allah in the Bible, you know, Yahweh are Jehovah, right? In yeah. the Bible, in, in the Quran is Allah. Allah, uh, the Quran is the Bible. The Quran, yeah. Yeah, in the Bible at Jesus, right? In the Quran, mm. them say it is Iman Isa. You get mm. what I say? I you know the prophet, the prophet is Muhammad. So Muhammad, me, Muhammad, not right. Allah, Muhammad, my bad. Yeah. yeah, Muhammad are the prophet. You get what yeah. I say? So, but but my point is though, um, these these religion islam is is is, is not is not our own it's not our own it's not our own in a general yeah man it's it's not our own way 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 way, way i said no like six year old you can marry a six year old and consummate marriage at, at, at nine and them something there it's nonsense but unfortunately that was a thing um that, that was cultural too because in a real life in a ethiopia too um Zadito, you know, you know, says so Zadito actually married when she was 11. Wow. And even at nine, her, her first marriage was at nine. That's the reality. Yeah. And she married again when she was 11. Tell them who, tell, so tell 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 who was where, Zadito. Eh? Tell, them who, tell them who was Zadito. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're talking about Empress um, Zadito. Empress Zadito, that is Menelik's um, the daughter. Menelik's daughter, man. Menelik's second daughter. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. Not she was at nine yeah. and eleven. That's the reality, you know. And I think she married again at thirteen or fifteen. Remember, she, she, yeah, th three times because I just feed them culture that in our way too. So at the end of the day, th those are inconvenient truths that you know. Um, yeah, people wasn't she, embrace Rastafari. My wasn't, might not like for here, but that's just the reality as well. Wasn't, wasn't she an emperor at one point? No, she was empress. Empress. She, she became yeah, yeah. empress. Empress. empress yeah. Yeah, she was co-regent with um, Lee Jassu. Because yeah. remember when Menelik died in 1913, mm -hmm. that was when Lee Jassu, well, Lee Jassu was a bit young. So um, it was Zadito and Lee Jassu who was co-regent. Um, mm -hmm. Then that was World War I started 1914. Um, and that was the, the European powers versus the Ottoman Empire as well. The mm -hmm. Ottoman Empire did control Egypt to um, Pasha, to Ambrajin when he Ishmael Pasha. Mm -hmm. right yeah he was the ruler of the ottoman empire so long story short they had their influence in um misawa which is like modern day um somalia djibouti eritrea that the, them region there so the thing is that now they accused lijasu of linking up with the ottomans and they were muslims so mm -hmm. it was a crime because remember in 1869 with with emperor Johannes, the Mahdist who were Muslim in Sudan, they were the ones who killed um, Emperor Johannes and cut off his head. So there was always that enmity between them and the Muslims. So um, when, when Lee Jassu met with them in, in secret and they found out, they must say, well, a treason commit. So I saw them, them push him out. And that was when Ayla Selassie became co-regent along with Zadita. You get what I say? Uh -huh. And then he ascended the throne in 1930. But Zadita yeah. married... Her first marriage was when she was nine. That's just the reality, you know. It's an inconvenient truth, but you don't know it, go, you know. I just then that, that caused a problem. Uh, that caused a problem with Malcolm X and the nation of Islam. You know? The same nine-year-old thing that with with uh, Muhammad. You know? 
Yeah, man, definitely, man. No, I mean, Elijah Mohammed, the problem was yeah, yeah. That, Elijah that, 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 Mohammed, in that period of the whole of the liquor, you're young, 13, yeah. 14 year old, 11. Yeah, Malcolm X, I say, yo, this is something around. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm X, I tell him, say, yo, I'm a nonsense, yeah, go on with stop this nonsense. And I saw, I saw, um, you know, the whole thing go on and then kick him out. Um, Big up to Chanel for the um, cash up, you know. Yeah, man, respect. You don't know, you're greatly appreciated. So, anyways, as I said, back to the, the Hebrew Israelite thing, because I'm saying the 12 tribe thing where Rasta say, well, they are from the tribe of Judah, right? Um, at the end of the day, um, even even in, in the Bible, you get what I say? Members say Judah, Judah, you know, the conquering land from the tribe of Judah, even when they even when the emperors were actually being crowned that way. That was true, Yakuna Amlak. And you know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, he's the one that um created that dynasty where they must say they are the, from the line of Judah. That is our Judah Christianity mindset, you know. That is our Judah Christianity, you know, because the, the emperor was crowned by the church. Right, no, but the thing is that it, it wasn't all right. What they did, you know, what they did. Right, because remember that Christianity came into Ethiopia to King Ezana and Fermentus. Right, King Ezana, Ezana was the king at the time. Fermentus was the one who baptized him, and you know, he accepted Christianity as the official um, religion in Ethiopia. Now, it was Coptic Christianity, um, they recognized the church in Alexandria, and you know, the, the Pope in Alexandria. That's why all the Abunas were appointed from the church in Alexandria. So for those who think that Christianity originated in Ethiopia and is indigenous to Ethiopia, that is not the case. And, and who want to push back, they will have to prove to me um, where, where were the Abunas appointed. They were all appointed from the church in Alexandria, Egypt. You get what I say? Until 1950, when Ayali Selassie changed that. You get what I'm saying? He was actually with it until when the Italians invaded 1936 and then take it back over 1940 41. You get what I say? When the Italians took it over, the Abuna that was with Selassie fled with Ayri Selassie, and the Italians then appointed an Abuna who was born in Ethiopia. That was the first time an Abuna, which is the head of the church in Ethiopia, yeah. was uh, uh, um, appointed from within ethiopia the abuna was always from you know are appointed they had to go to the church in alexandria so um i just have to change that after my point is christianity came into ethiopia right here yeah, to king ezana you get what i'm saying are we talking about um the the fourth century there and about third century third century fourth century right after that that was the zagwe dynasty let us not forget that the hebrews the better israel were very powerful in Ethiopia as well at the time. Who them call Falasha, so to speak. And that's a, that's a derogatory term because, you know, it means wanderers or invaders. You get what I'm saying? They the never say in the Falasha Jews, though. They never say in, so. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm saying the, the term Falasha simply means invaders Invader, or wanderers. Okay. So it's a derogatory term to them. If you go to them and you use the term, they find it as an insult. You get what I say? Okay. Because what it did was to take away um their indigenous connection to ethiopia because they are the only tribe in judaism that their they, they, their origin cannot be traced so if black people want to talk about um original say hebrew israelites are so to speak right and not even hebrew Israelites, they practice judaism you get what i say and, and you don't know how that go so i'm saying the the better israel people in ethiopia yeah, they were the ones who were the more organic. Um, what happened is that once the Europeans them start come over in Israel now, you know how that go. Um, them kind of take out some of them out of Ethiopia. Uh, you know, them smuggle them out of Ethiopia, call it Operation Salaman. Couple operations them go on with and, and, and move them out, the majority of them. But long story short, um, Ethiopia was a melting pot. There was the better Israel who were very powerful. There were many... Hebrew are many Jewish kingdoms in Ethiopia. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about there were dynasties of, of, of say, um, the practitioners of Judaism being kings in Ethiopia. And then you had the Christians then now. So even when Ezana was king, you had Hebrew kingdoms, so to speak. Not to say Hebrew. 
Because it's a new word them throwing at the mix. We're talking about better Israel. They are their own kingdom in Ethiopia. King Ezana had his own kingdom in Ethiopia. And at that time, too, you also had, I'm talking about like once you reach like the 7th, 8th century, you actually had even, even Muslims that had their own leader. You get what I say? They did their own um, um, caliph with, that was in Ethiopia. But long story short, the Christianity influence started with Ezana to Fermentos. So even with Haile Selassie, um, that's why Christianity was, was, was the national religion. Even though Judaism was there before. But because they fought so many wars between the Christians and the better Israel, a lot of better Israel um, were forced to convert to Christianity as well. And what Ethiopia also did was to incorporate um, certain aspects of the better Israel into the Coptic as well. Because even if the Kebre Nagas, where they talk about King Solomon and Queen Asheba, that is from the better Israel people originally. You get what I say? And them just incorporated. So long story short though, when um, Lydia Su link up with the, with the Ottoman Turks, yeah, um, it, was, it was considered treason. So you know it got them, them push him out and Haile Selassie um, was co-regent with, um, you know, Zadito. True his father because his father was Menelik's cousin anyway. And his father was very instrumental at the Battle of Adwa in 1896 as well. So Menelik was the most powerful person. And then um, Haile Selassie's father was, um, you know, like the second most powerful person after Menelik in a real life. So you, you get what I say? The only thing with Haile Selassie is that his mother was, was Oromo, you know, and his father is Amharic or from Amhara. And if you know Amara, Amara is more like a Semitic people because a lot of Ethiopian history, um, even in Yemen, because all of that region was part of the ancient Aksumite Empire. You mm -hmm. understand me? I say the whole light. So here we go on now. The Aksumite Empire encompassed parts of modern day Saudi Arabia and Yemen. You yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? So you have yeah. Somalia, Djibouti, Eritrea. Um, parts of Saudi Arabia, parts of modern day Yemen, and parts of modern day Ethiopia, and even parts of modern day Sudan that was part of the Aksumite Empire. So, long story short, it was a very powerful um, empire, even when Rome was a powerful force, and they even show um, connections and tradings between Rome and um, you know the Aksumite Empire. So, all of that, you get what I'm saying, was like a melting pot. So, so when Lydia Sue now did a link with them people and them say, no man, we have to kind of push out Lydia, Lydia Sue because he can't go link with them Muslims there, not at all. Um, Give me a second. Me a second yeah, go to Soji. All right, so bridging Lion Man, right? Um, Lion Man, I don't know if Lion Man is a Rastafari. Right? No, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He got a church and him sitting there, but he can't talk for himself still. Go to oh, Lion okay. Okay. Um, the, the first question uh, Lion Man, do you attach yourself with a certain tribe, like you know, tribe of this, tribe of that? As I well, you're yeah, Christian, so you know, but yeah, Zebulon man. Zebulon? Yeah. So explain why. Explain to us why. And they well, you know, I read the last book of the Bible and read about the 12 patriarchs, you know what I mean? And you know, when um um Jacob was on his dying bed, you know, him, him call each son and him tell them about himself. Mm. You know I mean, so I read, so the, Bible. I read the Bible then. The, the last book of the Bible. Yeah, Revelation. Yes, I, I still the no, Bible. No, no, Revelation, man. It come in, I, I, I don't remember the, the, the name of the book, uh, but me, me read the last book of the Bible. There's some book where it never did go in at the Bible itself. You know what I mean? So, well, you know, it starts from the book of Mary. You know, and, and you have the book of Nicodemus. All right, so, so pretty much um, you are speaking about the Apocrypha, right? Because remember, and um, I, I, I'm not going to agree when people say those books were not in the Bible because the, when the Bible was first written, it contained 80 books. They took out the 14 Apocryphas and we have 66. You get what I say? So they were actually in the Bible. So when you talk about the Apocrypha of John, you know, the, the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of whatever, whatever, you know, Gospel of Mary. Yeah, 14 apocryphas. We get that. But again, now, as Soji as a lion man, 
it still I got tie into um biblical mythology. So the biblical, yeah, it tied into the Bible. You, you, you get what I say? Yeah, so um we we have against the Bible now. No, no, don't get your image now. No, have, but have. that's so, a that's a defensive approach question though. Um so I'm um, lying, man. That's a very lion man. Come on, lion man. Hold on, hold on, lion man. Lion man, iron charm, iron reasoning. So not the right one. One second there. Yeah, man, big up Canon God for gifting um a membership. Respect me, general. Greatly appreciate um the support. You know the thing of me, general. Yeah, so so Lion Man uh, asks a question or is a statement he make. Him say what problem we have, right? Well, if him did a listen, if him did a listen from from the reason just start me tell No, man, he gonna start late. Him check in late, man. Clear. Yeah, start late, man. We start yeah. late. And and um, let, me, let me clear up this. Like you see, oh me, me, me end up in the church is a mystic. You understand me because he's an engineer by pro profession, sound yeah. system engineer, electronic engineer, man. Seeing and me, me end up in the church by me string up a, a, a studio, a radio broadcasting studio for the pastor. And then him, him, him want me to come put up some camera in the church. And when I don't put up the camera, he asks me if I want to um, do the engineering fee, how much may I charge? And I tell him my price and me and him come to an agreement. So from that day there, Every Sunday, me go in there, me do engineering. Like right now, me I get myself ready because them have a, a gospel show in there, and me have to go in there to record the whole session and and um, mix the the whole sound. You can me there in front of the digital mixer, you know what I mean? And them them pay me for work. So you know, and when me go in there, me feel the energy because me watch what go on. And the the, the apostle is a teacher. You see me? I say, whereas in in him have knowledge because me as a Rasta man, him embrace me in such a way where there are certain words him not use. Him, him, him go more in depth. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to details. Like even today, him, him talk about when, when, when about Jesus and him I say, from Wednesday, you know, him dead. And, and him going to some details. So him, him read some things. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm like not a chance to fall Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. One second, not to cut in the wisdom. Please, just hold on the thought, you know. Yeah, I don't want to forget. All right, so what's this now? Um, Canon got gifted one membership. Um, somebody named Jamel Pickersgill got that membership. Never seen that name before. Never in the chat or nothing like that. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's the reason why, you know, I appreciate the membership thing. But you see the gifting membership. I rather somebody does do, do a super chat because respectfully, sometimes... You know, the regular people who there every day and check in and support the platform and something. And of them get the membership. Me don't know who Jamal Pickersgill is. As a matter of fact, I'm not seeing that person in the chat. Um, is, is, is anyone seeing it? I am seeing it on my phone, right? But on the, on, the, on the laptop in the chat, I'm not seeing that person. Anybody seeing Jamal Pickersgill? I think it, I think it can on in a brother. No, hold on, man. Hold on, Soji. I'm saying... Canon gifted the membership, oh, and oh. once you gift a membership, anyone can activate and get the membership. It gives you the chance to activate um, the membership so you can, you know, be gifted a membership. So my thing is, I'm seeing where Jamel Pickersgill was gifted the membership, but I am not seeing that person in um, the, the, the chat no. right now. On, on my computer, but on my, my phone, me see it. So it's kind of weird still. But long story short, Jamel Pick Pickersgill, big up yourself. I've never seen Jamel Pickersgill check in and bless up and say evening or subscribe or read the reasoning. Yeah, you, get, you get what I say? Not at all. But Jamel Pickersgill was the lucky one to get the membership. So I am not really a fan of the gifted membership. I think that the membership, um, you know, should be organic. Nothing wrong if somebody can't be a member. We just appreciate the support same way. We just feel the people who sign up for the, the membership. Yeah, man, definitely a people where them sign up because they rate the platform and things. So at the end of the day, people who are members, you know, you don't know the thing. Go big up on yourself. Um, yeah, as royalty God has said, never seen. Um, I'm, I'm not seeing the person in, in my chat. Oh, you, you, you say you see it to JP. All right. So people people are seeing um Jamel Pickers Gil, but I'm just saying, don't know who that person there is, you know. And sometimes that's why I ask me, I say, 
so when memberships are gifted, some people who have I have never seen, like right now, never, never, never. Nobody in the chat don't know this at first year. I, I have been on this platform from last year, and them so lucky if you get the, the membership. So that's so why you got Jamel Pickers Gil. Big up yourself. Um, yeah, man, you got you, Soji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my almost um I almost lose my train at all. But um the bridge in there where where um um lion man brother yes, is, sir. is within your right to live how you want to live to believe in anything you want to believe. I mean I say if you did I listen to the thing earlier on, me not fight mm. against people, me not fight against me not, me not really a fight against it. See? Because if it bring you solace and it bring you peace and you eat a food, go feed brother. See? But yeah, guys, right. I'm more than one church. One second there. No, man, I'm not complain, man. I'm just showing how weird this, this gifting thing is sometimes. Because I am saying, you know, yeah, I've never seen Jamel check in or type, nothing at all. Never, ever, ever. Right? Um, I look through my subscribers too. Me, but yeah, I've, I've never seen that person, a subscriber, yeah, yeah. nothing like that. Impressive. And lo and behold, a membership is gifted and that person has get it so sometimes i rather um people who support the platform right really get it than people who might get in the bush and you know never yet comment never yet say nothing so i just saw it go sometimes they may not complain man you get what i say now nah, complain i'm just saying a person probably if me this year lone star or jp or Bridget or even pagan or somebody with they have more time right me can say, all right, cool. I never said that person before. So that's just one of the pros and cons of the gifting thing still. You get what I mean? That's, that's, that's a mystic. I, that's I hear your favorite them there. Huh? I hear your favorite them there where you just got. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. No, okay. I just can't can no. say. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no. Oh, 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 Some names where they're on the chat right now. So <laughs> even my mother at root, I'm a gang got you. They're dry. But the sun, now we are all going to cry. Yeah, right, right. People black blacklight. Or whoever. If if Miss Sally get it, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so like a different people. Hey, I'm a tap. Right, yeah, man. My apologies. My apologies. I'm a tap. If I me like you, would I leave it alone? I make it clean. <laughs> no, man, as me say, no, no, I'm, I'm just saying, man, I'm not a problem with it. I'm just saying it's weird sometimes. It's weird. Mm. It's a weird thing when it comes on to membership gifting. And that's the reason why, as me say, I am not a fan of it. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, it's like people have a membership. And you have the people who they are there in the out who are supporters. Me is a super chat, support. man. Me is a super chat, say, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I don't think you are the same with them if you don't support the platform. You're not checking yeah. it at all. Me is a super chat, yeah, man. Yeah, so, yeah that go. is that still. Yeah, man, yeah. Just, just appreciate it and make it go. Yeah, man. Me is a super chat, man. It's a big deal. It's a weird It's a weird thing, you know? I don't do a membership in my tech, but he's a super chat man. Sometimes I really do that. <laughs> no, no, no. But what, what I'm saying is, right? Yeah. yeah you, see, yeah. you see the gifting? Yeah. I mean, becoming a member. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That is appreciated. You know, but you see the gifting part now. A person can there. Watch this now. A person can there in a soji. I get what you're saying, man. man. Lion man. Yeah. And watch this yeah. now. He's, he's, he's a man where him don't even rate me or him even style me before. And yeah. guess what? You see when the membership gift? At that demand, yes, you get it. You have to just shake your head. <laughs> so I, I'm just saying, you know, yeah, me kind of want to keep yeah. my thing organic but in a way where me know so the real people. You're not going to catch everything, though. We must tell you now, go catch everything, you know. I just say it go. Yeah, yeah. man, me overstand, man. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, still, yeah, 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 yeah. Slow it, man. Yeah, yeah man. See him here. So, all right. So, yeah, man, make we hear a lion, man, as he must say, as it relates to theme, you know, all right. persuasion. So, right now, right now, right now a tree church, Marukfa. Well, I'm, 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 I agree with everything you say, brother. I made a, made a, made a hope so you was one of them ardent raster man where I say certain things and not say certain things. So I can ask you some, 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 me, some real. Let me tell you raster. something. I've been there. I've been there. I've been, I've been a uh, bubble. I'm there near Bingy. I'm I'm there. I'm go Sabbath. I'm, 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 I'm sitting in houses with them. And um, wool meds and reason me, me, me go bubble. I'm a sitting at uh, uh, Isis with them wool sabbat so, and reason. So the question I want the question I want to ask you then based on my based on my experience, would you say Rastafarianism is just another branch of Christianity? Would you say that? 
I I I would I would have say um it's a a, a liberty you know it's a liberty no in, right. in within the liberty the acknowledgement of reading the Bible and and um you know whole of humility liberty you know I mean? who liberty according to whose liberty to one personal liberty the ch oh, choice of yours well I'm a general so so hear that hear this now remember I know. Rastafari, you know, Haile Selassie is the etymology of Rastafari account to where the item I said. See? And he is a Christian. Well, I know. So just what I said to you, say, you have my Rastafari bridging our system. I say, yo, them born Jesus, them born Bible, them born this and them born that. And that are they. Well, I know. Well, I know. Where them are born, you know, I hit them, I live by that are my confusion that are, that are the confusion with me them are born I'm they, I'm sure. but yet them are talk about tribe of judah them are talk about naya being them are talk about that is it there's a confusion because what you know if, if i'm gonna go born the bible and i'm gonna quote scripture out of the bible i'm confused exactly. and, and the, next, the next thing to come me, me see whereas me have a bridging where him 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 him, him born god him not have nothing to do with god because he must say I'm mother and father of God. You understand me? And he, he's like so the other day. So what wrong with that? In your opinion, what wrong with that? It, I can't tell you. But I, I think um hold on there, hold on there. Um hold hold, hold the thought, lion man, real quick there. No one no thought in I don't want anybody to say them forgetting. You know. Hold the thought. Cause we know the reason go more time. Um so what's this now? Um I, I think when a Rasta man say or a man say bon God, right? I think it is very vague and it is ambiguous because we do understand when a man says born it, it means he not deal with it. You get what I say? But then now people will take that literally, sorry, and I say, wait, you can't burn God or oh, you burn God. You get what I say? Which means a man does not deal with it. A man is an atheist. If a man say, sorry, if a man says born God, it means he's an atheist. It means he's not deal with God. You get me? But go to a lion man. And all right, I, I'm a virgin. Come here and him grow together, seen from Jamaica, and, and him find me because it's like me usually protect him from my ends. You see, me I say, and him, 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 when me come out America, eventually him find me, he man come America, and him live close to me right now. So, me and him link every day and thing. And last week, Sunday, me I get ready for go to church. As a matter of fact, before that. Him, 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 him get some catering job and to him know say me a chef him call me upon the job and peel me a thing and me help him cook you see me I say now the man in the delivery me is supposed to go help him deliver but him no call me and when me call him him dip on him way and him go do the delivery Sunday morning when me put on my clothes to go to church I him that call me I say boy him can't walk all right um, hold on the line no. man um hold on but black light the thing is my general um you know if you are in jamaica well clearly it, it seems like you're in jamaica you know for those who are in jamaica man um you know how the thing is in terms of gifting so you know like like a vpn you have to download and stuff like that you know in order for your you gift and things like that so it's a process people were there like in a you know the north american region and england and stuff like that yeah them can um do it easily in terms of gifting so you now go see because it does not allow you to do that unless you download like like the vpn um um someone said and that's a valid point someone said what if the person just you know join the channel you get what i'm saying and i think that's a fair statement but watch this now look how that person they're lucky just join the, the the channel them actually have them gifting activated and everything so them lucky if you get that one there i just saw it go then just lucky you get what me must, say? So i'm just giving them the minute i doubt say they might just join the channel but them very very lucky if you choose still so i just saw that go me have thousands of people who subscribe and they are day in day out and then not so lucky so yeah man big up jamel you're very lucky go and buy the latter one cash pot and them something there try your luck and big up to all the ones and ones them um carol um sexy shorty so I've been listening, liking the reason, very enlightening. Yeah, man, respect, man. And um, ones and ones who are new and want to join the panel as well, 
the link is pinned at the top. You just hit that StreamYard link and you can check in and give a perspective. All right. So, all right. Go to Lion, man. Yeah. So, if like him call me and say, boy, him, him, him get up in the morning and him can't move and we must come and can't go a doctor. So, I say, I'm reaching him house. The man sitting there, coach, and him couldn't, him couldn't stand up. And, you know, it's like a vibration tell me, say, Give him a bottle of water for drink. See, I'm give him a bottle of water. I said, drink half the whole of that. See, and I'm drink half the whole of that and I'm sit down a little bit. And I go so boom and get another bottle and take. And give him and I'm drink some more out tight and say, can't drink. And I say, all right, now watch now. Boom soon, I say so and, you know, lift him up and thing and I lift him up. He carry enough weight still, but anyway, I give him kind of two crutch. Because more than one time this thing happened to him. But anyway, I carry him go out the door and, you know, him slide on him backside, go down the and boom, I lift him up and bring him to the car. But by the time he reached down on the flat, you know, he could have easily stand up and hold the crutch. So it's like the water start to circulate through him body. Because it's like a vibe that tells me, say, boy, you, you know, in blood vessel, him get small up because him. He needs some fluid in him system. But anyway, can go to the doctor and thing and sit down and wait. May I cancel church a day and go pick him up back and them thing there. You see me I say. But before me, 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 um, me reach him, you know, um Deacon, when I'm Deacon Bridging call me and me I tell him where me I go on. Him and him wife blocks a prayer and pray for him. You see me I say, and when me I tell him, yo. My deacon and him wife pray for you. We are sorry, my born God, man. We are talking about and him still are going to see him way now. You see me I say, and if you see a man so good, good, good the night before, and then the man in him just wake up and that eat him. You see me I say, and me much older than him, you know. You see me I say, but at the same time, if me if you show him the essence and the reverence and thing, you know what I mean? Because them man there. The man that does um, deal with certain things like just by earth and nothing spiritual. You see me I say? And me, me know certain things about the spirituality and the vibration because I dream and I see things. You see me I say? When, when me I dream, it come like a real thing happen. My dream them nowadays, it come like oh, me, me, me there, I say, I talk to and I touch everything. You understand me? I saw my dream them state. Come like it's a world within itself. More time, it's like me never want to wake up out of my dream the way, the way it's nice. Because other night, my dream say Buddha lay down in a mud. You know, Buddha in green lay down in a mud and him reach out to me. You see me, I say, I'm going to go to so booms and, and, and take him out of the mud and thing. And right now, I can't remember the, 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 the total essence of what Buddha reverence to me. But Buddha me see in a me dream. I may say, oh, me get a dream there. I see Buddha in a me dream. You see me I say? And so, me I get quick question. Me. Quick question, do lion man. Not to cut your wisdom. Um, you and real man, right? You guys were like part of the Rastafarian and things. So, so to speak, like let's just say that, right? Do you yeah. guys think that um, you know, it felt like indoctrination and cult-like figure because even people like God and like even Prince Emmanuel, those people were deified. Right? So do you think that um they actually stepped out the, 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 the realm of human nature and then start to defy them and then if he said we, we Rastas went extreme with that, or you think it was justifiable? They did, they did because when um Emmanuel cause I, I hear me here because me 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 me, me I was with um a bridge named Bingy, Bingy Jean them call him. Him used to be beside Emmanuel. You know what I mean? And um, his sister tell me, say, because his sister know Emmanuel too, say, when Emmanuel dead, him dead, sit down upright in the chair. And them, them still think him not dead. And the man dead in the chair, upright, said we. And them believe him not dead till him, him end up as thing. You see me, I say? So it's like, it's, it, 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 them they deify him as, 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 a, as God in the flesh. You see me, I say that 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 was Prince Emmanuel. And the, the, the thing with, with, with Emmanuel, no um um reasoning when we reason and, and get message 
about um how him change some of the the body set of man the mindset in a jamaica you see me i say i saw come the said brother will come beat him up and broke him, broke up him jab one and him. That's why him didn't have a speech problem and them thing. Him and that, 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 that police brother was classmate. You see me, I say? And, and if you see him own a classmate, I come move him from grass yard. You see me, I say? And, and, and at that time, the man they used to rehabilitate some dangerous gunman. You see me, I say, where well, the, the system can't rehabilitate. Not even prison could have rehabilitated the man. But Emmanuel did it. You see me, I say, and, and it, 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 it's, it's a thing. It's a thing because that's why the man that still up to this day is, is remembered. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, Prince Emmanuel, and, and, and for, for see the man that um, meet his Imperial Majesty Emperor last year. Because I can't remember, you know. There was a debate, you know, in a Jamaica, you know, if Celestia had got enough. You understand um, me? No, hold on, hold on. A debate by who? By, by, um, um, the, the church and even the government, too. No, 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 no. Come on, man. I'm lying, man. Come on, man. Um, me, Rastas, the, the debate amongst Rastas. Yeah, you can't say that. But yo. Not by the average, no. The, the, the so, church, so, no. The government, no. Rastas. Then, then, um, um, yeah, give me a look at that. Then, you know, yeah, um, brother, man. you are going you know, in you know, my you know, my subliminal consciousness. I hold me pre life, I'm um, look for life. I mean, I look out of the realms of human being, you know, me I say, me look for life like human being are the structure of everything was around me, every day living with me. See. If me go look for like a a a a a, a life, me go look for it in a human. See me within myself as a human. Me now look out and out, out of the entity for nothing else more than within me. Right, you right. see me? I saw me really pre oh me for my everyday living. Me see imitated for who imitated is. Me see lion man for who lion man is as a human. Me see the next brother. Here, Oh, right, yes, I don't know for who we be just the same way you man be now with your experience within your life where you live. Me can't tell it because I you see it, so me have to let you tell me, but not because you tell me that no means say me I go see you more than you understand what I mean. I mean, I go see you below, me still I go see you as a human being where you tell me your experience, you know, what right? I mean? right. Um, deal with it, right? One, um, one level is there. Right. Um, Julius Diamond. All right. So what's this now? Lion Man posited the notion that the church in Jamaica and the government in Jamaica saw Ayala Selassie as a, as, a, as a deity. They did not. No, they, they did not. They did not. They, they did not. They, 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 Rastas, they were... Rastas. Uh, remember, Rastas remember, did. You know, remember. Remember the history in you know, my general. Right? Martimo Plano and a um, couple of the Rastas the government of Jamaica sends um, Maritima Plana them go over Ethiopia on a fact-finding mission along with um, some other people who were not Rastas. Long story uh -huh. short, they went over there, they met with Eilis Selassie and they arranged for Eilis Selassie to come and visit Jamaica because he was not aware that you have some of those people of Jamaica who look up to him like that and revere him. Right? Yeah, and Britain saw the need for that as well because at that time, we did just not too long get independence and you know, the black man, them, yeah, them did free, you know. So Britain um, also needed to reassure the people and say, yeah, man, everything good. So long story short, um, church people, no, they, they didn't see Eilis Lassie as God. Gov the government didn't um, see Eilis Lassie as God. That's not what I said. That's not what no, me no, say. No. It was like the Rasta man, them say, Selassie as God. And the church said, no, it's just a man, a regular man. Right. You understand me? And and even so, 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 so the part with the government, um, yeah. We still feel like that's a brand Remember brush, when Celestia you know? come to me, think Celestia God, that's like a broad brush. It's just a separate, it's just a separate part in a Rasta fair and who call themselves Rasta. I go see Celestia's God. Because Rasta, Rasta man, when me talk about when we grew up monks in the 80s, not see Celestia's God. 
but the thing is, you know, um, the, the thing is, though, you know, right? The core tenants of Rastafari, right? Right? Mm. The movement is what? Ailey Selassie being Christ in his kingly character. Mm. So, that is so, it. So watch this now. You see, if you no, no subscribe to that, you are just another brother who locks your ear, wear the red, yeah. red and green, and I live, um, you know, have right. in life and them something there. You're not a Rastafari. Greater knowledge, greater knowledge. Seeing the name Selassie I was there for the taking way before um 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 Sel um Macon and Tafari back. You yeah, understand? No, but, but no, just, to, just to add to that lion man. Um there were many. What's this now? There was a brother when he named Ras Gugsa Selassie. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Ras Gugsa Selassie. There were other Rasses when he named Selassie. There were they, 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 they were others when he named Ras because it's a title. You get what I say? Rastafari um, so man. Saying, Selassie, <laughs> the word Ailey Selassie. The words Ailey Selassie. Is the not, the Trinity. No, yeah, but it's, it's, a title. it's not it's not indigenous to Tafari Makone. That's the that way. is it. And yeah, and, so and when, when he might get Rasta's crowned, Rasta's not really know that still do a real man. You see me, I say, and when he might get crowned, cause me do me, me do my research you now, and me study the thing you now, me, me see says Ailey Selassie is 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 is, is, is the power of the Trinity, see? And 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 is is that is is the, in the name there for the taking? Yeah, and you know Mr. Farai was the one who get that name by 72 nation uh, the 2nd of november 1930 him, him get the title of father of the nation kings of kings oh, lords oh, of lords no. yeah but hold on no. hold on no. um when they say him get name by 72 nations what do you mean by that meaning 72 nation you know crown him father of the nation but, but that, that's not so was, that, no 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 in, that's not that's not true that's that's um romanticizing um the reality and i'm i'm saying a lot of that takes place in the rastafarian movement exactly um, what's this now and be a man big up to the great hierophant um lolly bella you know you don't know it going on right i'm just saying now the romanticization now or the romantic thing is that 72 nations this and that, whatever, whatever. Remember, it's Ethiopia that crowned him. Remember that um, many leaked before him was kings of kings, lords of lords. Conquering mm -hmm. line of the tribe of Judah. You get what I'm saying? Rastafari. Ras is a title. Tafari is a name. So yeah, even yeah. Rastafari is a mixture between a title and a name. The same mm -hmm. thing with Jesus Christ, you know. You get what I said? They mix up one title. Christ is a title. Jesus is, is uh, the name, so to speak. And um, they mix it up. So my point is, the coronation was attended. Here we can say the coronation was attended by 72 nations, and I mm. understand why. Ethiopia was highly respected, especially because of what Menelik did. You get what I'm saying? Menelik said that, that they were, it was highly respected. So I understand 72 nations were present. 72 nations did not crown Ailey Selassie. That is they a just Roman president. Because. Yeah. There, all right. So now, let me just clarify that. All, all right, right, watch that now, too. Man. You see, with that now, that's what I tell you. Say, there's a lot of misconstrued within Rastafari as time goes by. What I don't because you have Rasta with tell us, so let's see, throw up in the sky and cut it 12 times before it drop a ground. You understand what I mean? And them yeah. something there that Rasta with tell us, yeah, it is. All right, so I'm thing there. I'm thinking there. All right, let me just respond to Lalibella's statement. Big up. So Lalibella said, as um, Imotep Eel, given the fact that Muta Baruka does not deem Kadamari Ailey Selassie as a deity, you are positing that he's not Rastafari, but is that the case? But um, that's the problem, you know, Lalibella. Rastafari, you, just, you see with Christianity, Christianity say here we go on now. Once you baptize and you accept, quote unquote, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are automatically a Christian. You see with Rastafari now, it is very convoluted that a one, it is very ambiguous because watch this now. Anybody who recognizes the divinity in Haile Selassie, is a rast is is a rasta because it it is a religious ideology so anybody will see selassie 
Kadamari Ailey Selassie as quote unquote um Christ in his kingly character that is a rasta. So my point is having locks, smoking weed, wearing red, gold, and green, practicing Afrocentric cultures, nah. that does not make you a rasta. Nah. Nah. That's just the reality. Nah. And that's why I'm saying there is no concise delineation or definition or structure where you can say these are the criteria. But Rastafari is the recognition of Kadamari Eilis Lassi as Christ um, in his kingly character, as the Lion of Judah, according to the Bible, and which to an extent means uh, him a God upon earth in a real life. I saw, I saw the real Rastaman and the religious Rastaman them see Eilis Lassie as a deity. Even Rastafari at Black College, who was here the other night, um, as a Bobo priest, him see Eilis Lassie as a god. You get well, what I'm saying? Well, 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 the ambiguity lies. Well, I, 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 I hear Selassie as a king, not as a deity. I hear because uh, here what happened now. I, I, I have no proof for earth that any any anything out a human being what would I call a deity then me not a proof for earth that there's a deity that was uh, supposed to be I just know that human being is the ruler of creation and and that's and that and that I would even want to say spirit but that 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 thing that lie within us as humans per earth and that would I call God then or people that say God you understand what I mean? Cause me see myself to you, I and I, which me say I and I, which would I say in a, in a, in other words that we use English term, would I say then me me me, me see me see my tete as myself, me see soldier as myself. You understand what I mean? Me see mankind as myself. Me not see no man higher than none. Me not see no man lower than none. Me see everyone as equal. All right. Well, um, in reality, based on social structures. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Everybody born equal, but we know how the social construct is, right? Yeah. And we know how bloodline work and you know a thing. Um, Ailey Selassie, you know, became emperor because of what? You know, yeah, bloodline. Father, bloodline, yeah, bloodline. Father yeah. Father was cousin yeah. with Menelik. Menelik, right? yeah. Yeah. Um, no, um, yeah, right. His father, father was related to Menelik, right? So the yeah. reality is that um he was he was the as a matter of fact, you know. Um, a 225 or 250. How oh, oh, that go again? 200, eh? A 225 or 250. Um, he, he was the 250 emperor. The 225 of the, of, the, of yes. the Salamanic dynasty. A Salamanic dynasty right. yeah. And the Salamanic dynasty was started by um Yekuno Amlak in um, uh -huh. 1270 AD. And uh -huh. that was when um they actually over to the Zagwe dynasty, yeah. which ruled over Ethiopia for a very Ethiopia, long time, yeah. and that was started by King Ezana. So the Zagwe dynasty ruled until 1270 AD. Yekuno Amlak took over, started the Salomonic dynasty, and AD. that is where we actually have that line is straight down. Um, mm -hmm. you look at evil Emperor Johannes, his son, um, you know, Rasmengisha Makanen. He was the heir to the throne above yeah. Menelik. Yeah. But, yeah. But um, you know, one banger and go on with that because Emperor Johannes was sleeping with his brother's sister. So Ras Mengisha, who was the rightful heir to the throne, nobody never knows said that is not the, the man Pitney. Is when is is when is when Emperor Johannes and on his deathbed, he met the declaration and tell them, say, Ras Mengisha is his son. And it brought a lot of uproar because they must say, wait. You were sleeping with your brother's wife, and you know your quote unquote brother's son is really your biological son. Uh, oh no, this is um serious. So many mm, mm. at the time, he was a part of the royal bloodline too, because he was king of Shiva. You, you, you get what me I say? So at the end of the day, he was the one um that um ascended the the the, the throne instead of Mengisha. And him and Mengisha had a war to you know because Ras Mengisha said him now get the throne so easy. Him and Menelik war, Menelik defeat him, and you know, him pledge him allegiance to Menelik, but from time to time, him rebel. And th that's why the Italians were trying to exploit um, Ras Mengisha to turn him against Menelik because they, they, they knew what was going on between him and Menelik, and they were trying to bribe him with money and other Rasses as well. So even the term Ras was, was, was you have Ras Mengisha, 
you know, your, your man, you have Ras Guxa. Ras was just a title where it means like prince, but yeah, yeah, all the yeah, races yeah. had all the an races, army. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was many provinces. It was right? a royal, it was like a royal arm. Yeah. Um, yes, thing. it was a feudal system. So the races, mm. they were the ones who had their army. So they were like princes. So mm. at the end of the day, um, that was that. So my point because is though, my point is though, um, the lineage, the lineage, um, why Ailey Selassie became quote unquote here was to his father's lineage and Menelik. But had Ras Mengisha become emperor and not Menelik, Ailey Selassie would not have would not. qualified but, to become but, emperor. You but I even I, I even heard through studies that he wasn't even the one who was next to the, oh, to, to the, oh, heel, to the throne, Ailey Selassie. Yeah. But remember, it was Lija Su. Lija Su yeah, was Lija the one. Su, yeah, and, yeah. and them overthrew Lija Su yeah, because yeah. he was linked with the Ottoman Turks, right? And even um even um. Zardito's first husband, right? Um, Ras oh. Kuxa Selassie. Um, he, he was also one of the heirs to the throne, you know. And um, him and Ailey Selassie did war too. And them in prison, him, Ras Kuxa, um Selassie. So long story short, um, you know, the reality is, had Ras Mengisha become emperor, you get what uh -huh. I'm saying? Yeah, uh -huh. um, yeah, Menelik could not have been emperor. So therefore, um, um, Tafari, Walde Mikkel, Mokonen, who is him father? You get what me I say? Yeah. Um, would not have been like you know the the, the next in line to for whatever whatever. So yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. a whole sequence of events. When you understand the history, that is right there. But you see, once but, you romanticize it now, yeah, and I that, say, yeah, that man, part them in uh, life. Yes, in my year to the two and blah blah blah. Then I just saw that ghosty. You get what me I say? But I, it's I, a whole I, complex history. It's a complex right. culture, and I will implore people to study um it study Ethiopia. And and let go the romanticizing. See Rastafari Black College check in as a bubble priest. Eh? Probably let me say this real quick before Rast, Rasta. Let me say this real quick. So with that now said in a in a in a year, in, oh, what you just said to me a while ago, which most of them things let me know. But what me I said to you say reason why I cite Celestia as a as a as a king, uh, uh, the royal king of Ethiopia, and it's just throughout the time as a black man. When was my brought down for my four parents, them um, um ancestors them brought down at Jamaica as 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 slave. But when we go back and look and we see there is no direction, I just pay white things we are get teach every day in a school, white way of life, white wash everything. And then me see when somebody could have come around whether whether Christianity was was whether the man was a Christian or not. But it gives me a different outlook on life when I have to keep on a heal the king of England constantly. Uh, and and, uh, and rather know, say, I go look into somebody else, I go lead me to Africa then. I uh, uh, make me have a, have, a, have a bigger understanding about Africa because knowing about Selassie put me in the Congo, he put me in a South Africa, West Africa, North Africa, it may really matter. So he carry me there so and make me start think about the continent and the people who live there and look on the people who look like me and know say that's the only place me can go and make can accepted not as an a, 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 as a African American or a Jamaican or a, or a, or a English American. You know what I say? But me know so me drop on that the landmass I am an African. Right. And I know um, so I, uh, go ahead. Right, not to cut your wisdom, yeah, man. Um, text 876, yeah, big up my general. Respect for the check-in. Big up to each and every one with the I know you know the thing go. It's a Sunday reasoning, esoteric Sundays. If you're new to the platform, yeah, man, you can just drop a like. If if, if you rate the reasoning, yeah, man, you can feel free to also um, you know, subscribe to the platform. Big up all the ones and ones them where um they are. So what's this now? Um Rastafari Black College check-in. I actually did unmute a Rastafari Black College because you know, yeah, you did. You know, your background is kind of make a little nice, you know, we, you yeah. know, the thing go. Bless so, it now, um, bless it now. Yeah, man, go to me, General. As, as a bubble priest, right? You're a bubble priest, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, all right, no problem, man. Um, go to you, man, and blaze your fire. Yeah, man, give thanks again, you know, for the art of salvation, you know. Give thanks for the black man government and at headquarters at 10 miles Bull Bay, you know. The Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress. I just want to bring some some clarity to to all the good knowledge. You know, sometimes we just need a little understanding with the knowledge. You know, um, 
Haile Selassie and his and his his reign, his monarchy, his development, his works. Um, it'll be in it'll be very unsatisfying to class him as a Christian king. Reason being that if we do the historical account on Christianity, Christianity is a is a very big player in the in, in slavery and the slave trade and a lot of atrocities to humanity from that time even up to this very hour. So what I'm saying is what sets apart Haile Selassie and the Ethiopian monarch coming from Menelik the first, Menelik the second, right down to all, all the different kings. What set them apart is that what sets Haile Selassie apart is that first and foremost, he does not, he does not admire any of the Christian ways, meaning to say. The first thing Haile Selassie did was he, uh, he, he worked within a 10-year period to abolish slavery in Ethiopia. So that was, that, was, that was instituted by law, constitution, within the, within the constitution that's a, that is engraved as slavery abolished. So right there, so that separates him from Europe and Christianity. The like Christianity... Right, um, oh, hold on there. Not because yes, sir. But um i just want to to ask you a question he said 10 years right um yeah. all right so are you talking about 19 from 1930 his coronation until or are you also including the time when he was co-regent with um Empress including Sarah? the time of co-regency all right it was, so it was so co -regency November was, yeah, co -regency was not like 1916 there and about um so right so so my point is no you are saying uh -huh. the first 10 years when was slavery abolished in ethiopia um i can't give you a date right now but it's a fact right. that it's no, on the no constitution hold on, no problem in general we are no, in the constitution on, no problem hold on i'm just saying we all are right. and, we, and we can learn from each other nothing wrong with that you know i'm learning from you as well all right that was 1941 okay. and that's the reason why i ask you because if you said the first 10 years and then he abolished slavery. That's why I'm asked about the time period. So 1941, mm -hmm. that was when um, slavery was officially abolished in Ethiopia. However, right, okay. the, the, okay. the romanticizing is going to say, Ailey Selassie abolished slavery um, officially. Me get that. However, when the Italians invaded in 1936, because part of, listen to me, one of the reasons why the Western world was not supporting um ethiopia at the time you know when when mussolini was posturing and he and he, he he planned to invade and the whole world knew right the problem was mussolini's justification was that ethiopia was actually slavery was still legal in ethiopia at the time so he was justifying invading ethiopia to actually quote unquote get rid of slavery so what they did was when they invaded in 1936 and you know Ailey Selassie fled and they took it over what they did they put King Victor Emmanuel III on the throne as emperor that are one thing then they abolished slavery that is the next thing and then they appointed an Abuna um you know yeah from from Ethiopia to to lead the Coptic church because the next one did flee so my point is that um the italians were the first to official quote unquote officially abolish slavery in ethiopia in 1936 however because they were an you know occupying power that is where people will say all right the laws no really stand like that but Ailey Selassie um you know 1916 and the throne yes slavery was a part of the culture as well many like couldn't get rid of it even though they passed certain laws the, the laws were protective of Christians. You could not um, enslave Christians. You could not sell Christians into slavery. And remember, say, Ethiopia's population of Muslims, there are a lot of Muslims. Even in Idris last time, a lot of Muslims were there. So the slavery was taking place um, even in the Muslim areas, and the government would actually gain taxes from that. But Christians could not be enslaved or sold into slavery. But, but my point is, though, the, the Italians justified their invasion 
by 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 saying that slavery was still legal in in in, in Ethiopia, and that's why the European powers um, who were really in a tricky situation were saying, but Mussolini have a very valid point because slavery is still legal in Ethiopia. So we can go arm them to fight against Mussolini when Mussolini has said, he might fight for free the people. Him. So that, that was where the problem was. So I listen as he was on the throne with Zardito from 2016. You get what I say? So with looking at what? Um, 25 years after, you know? Yeah, and that was that was after the Italians um, said, here go on, get rid of slavery and make it illegal and them something there. So at the end of the day, Ayla Selassie um, only did it because, um, you know, he could not, he could not um, rescind that law that the Italians implemented. The Italians had a slavery for done. You get back your country, you think you can say, oh, we're going to change that back and slavery is still legal. So no, that was a smart move. But it was the Italians that went in and, and declares that slavery um, is abolished and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, that is one of the things that um, is an inconvenient truth um, in the Rastafarian movement. Sometimes it's a bitter pill. A lot of Rastas don't really like the part there. But the reality is slavery was legal in Ethiopia while Haile Selassie was on the throne, even as co-regent and even after Zardito died, and he was crowned in 1930. You get what I say? Slavery was still legal um, in Ethiopia. So that's a bit of pill where, where, where Rastas does have to know that a part of life. So it begs the question now, when you look at Isis Lassi as a god now, you are telling me that you have a god who did have people under slavery or bondage. You know, it it it, it are gonna ask them questions. The critics are going to ask those questions. And Rastafari have to be prepared to accept those realities. You know, yeah, man, a man not to get too emotional. And a man going to say, yo, the man, the man, this, the emperor, and things like that. Yeah, a man just knows our reasoning. And that's just the reality of things. Um, Soji, I, I don't know if you want to say a thing, you know, you can chime in already in my general. Well, you know, sir, what you just tell the Virgin, sir. First of all, Haile Selassie is a Christian. This is not something where we are making up. Right. Haile Selassie is a Christian. No, the second truth where a lot of Rastafari bridges and sisters don't want accept. Haile Selassie was a tyrant. Haile Selassie ruled with tyranny. No. Well, well, um, well, I would love for you to kind of elaborate on that still so, because, you know, yeah, yeah, go through. So, if you look at, which I don't have pull up, I did I try pull it up? Because one of the tyrannical um, rule of Haile Selassie, as you just said, slavery was legal. Right? Slavery was legal. Right. Right? And right. You, could, you could even say he was kind of a dictator because the regions that wasn't supporting Haile Selassie, these people, these people were starving. Me feel say, me feel say, me need. Um, yeah, me, me, me know you are talking about the yeah, you understand wall me, of famine. Me, me know you are talking about the wall of famine. Mm -hmm. Um, um, yeah, 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 man, hardball. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you mentioned that because when um the Baba priest was saying that um about the Christianity, I wanted to show him say he should not conflate um the Coptic Christianity with the Roman Catholicism. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? I say, I remember I say also. There was Greek Orthodox Christianity. I remember said as um the, the also had the Coptic Church in Constantinople. So there were different branches of the church. Yes. You know, you have the Coptics in Alexandria, Egypt, you have the Syriac Aramaic um Pope as well. So and there you have one Pope in a Constantinople for um the, the, the Coptic Christians in Europe, where the, the Russian Orthodox them deal with the same way. Then you have Greek Orthodox too. Where and them have feed them on a pope or whatever, whatever. So the reality is that Christianity was not one structure. So um that type of Christianity that Ethiopia was practicing, that was Coptic Christianity, which came from Alexandria, Egypt, so to speak. That was that has nothing to do, do with the um European version that was being perpetuated. But his argument of Haile Selassie, um, being a Christian as well as Sojia said. That would mean Ayel Selassie 
would have been a practitioner of a religious belief system that was um you know yeah man used and quote unquote evil and stuff stuff like that because remember he was he was educated by jesuit monks and even though rasta will burn out jesuits when it come on to that particular um history when it come on to rastafari um yeah man yeah man um people might not know that history they say yeah jesuit monks um actually educate highly selassie you get what i say yeah man so i i guess that go so at the end of the day um you know ethiopia was a christian nation um they, they, yeah they were practicing the coptic christianity to you know king Ezana type of christianity you get what me i say so it was like no eurocentric thing like that but um jesus was the centerpiece as well you know we go yeah and them deal with them 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 bible and them thing there so you know Eile Selassie did pray to jesus in a real life whether rasta want like it or not or want to find excuse to um try and you know polish it off Eile Selassie prays to god and jesus so that's the reality as a matter of fact Eile Selassie never claimed to be god or any Christ or anything like that. Um, Ayla Selassie actually encouraged even the Rastas. And that's the reason why they actually built um, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawaido Church. So as, um, you know, Rastas can get right with God, so to speak. You get what I say? Um, Soji, yeah, man, you check back in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Me, me think that they kind of lag me out accidentally, but no, I want to say, yeah, they still depend on this. They, um, the stage oh. that you know, me have to remove one and I just add that one. Yeah, still, so. oh, 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 yeah, oh. go to the media where I said, and yeah, so, me so, as well. yeah, big up, big up, Lali Bella. So, what, 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 what me I say still you now, um, for the for the rest of ones and ones, them we say the 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 God thing, me not have a problem with a man. I say, or whoever say what is God or what is God, it's within them own right. See, me not, me not, me not, me not have no problem with that. As me say from from the get go, if it if it if it floats your boat, hey, good. See, but you see me, you know, me not work with the me not work with the God thing either, you know, bro. Me not work with the God thing, cause so when a man say yo, uh, so you know, so you so so you know, believe in a God. I say it depends, you know, because me talk to my God this morning or this evening or last night. Because when, when me talk to my mother, because my old man drop, when me talk to my mother, I'm like, God, me talk to you, know, if, 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 if you're going to put it that way, because there's proof that she bring me, bring I and I forward there. Yeah. See? That, that, that can be proven. See? But the doctrine and the indoctrination where, where, where they them get handed down two generations, where it be Rasta, Christians, whatever, there's no excuse you don't go seek other information you know it don't matter if you disagree with the information if the information is logical or true you can't go around it you cannot go around it so my rasta virgin where i say highly celeste is not christian and him now i don't know christian life it's it's not that's not the fact all, all right and um yeah I, I agree with that you know say that's um you know yeah to say that highly celeste wasn't a christian that is not so but again no that that's a that, that's a way of glassing over um the reality that at the end of the day you know them say Eilis Lassie as a divine being perfect man and you know all that stuff and Eilis Selassie see himself as you know a and fallible that, person just another human being who was crown emperor of Ethiopia but him never call himself no god or him never liken himself to Jesus or nothing like that you get what I mean I say um Big up yourself, no Lali Bella. Yeah, man. Salute, salute. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, you know, when we talk about slavery, I think we should always reference that what we call slavery in the West wasn't necessarily what was practiced in Ethiopia. I want to make that distinction there. Eh? But you know, Imhotep, I have no data we point to the fact that slavery was the impetus that the European used to support Mussolini against Ethiopia. Um, the West. Well, as a matter of fact, even 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 during the time of Menelik, right? Um, during the Battle of Adwa situation, they were they were actually arguing that as reason for, 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 for war as well. Um, even in the Ethiopian parliament, 
Um, if, if you're going to check the history, yeah, man, you will definitely um, see that Mussolini and the Italian government at the time, they were actually arguing that, you know, yeah, man, part of their justification of their hostilities towards Ethiopia. Because remember, you know, there was no justification. There was nothing at all, you know. It's not like, say, um, in Ethiopia, them, them actually try to encroach in Eritrea or, or in a part of Italy, Somaliland. Um, Mussolini justification and his argument was that you know ethiopia was dealing with slavery and as such he saw the need to actually actually get involved because remember at the time it they control italy somaliland and italy eritrea so yes it is there in the history um yep. you know we, we can definitely um touch back on that and next time you get what well, i said but it is there that Mussolini argued um against um the fact that slavery was active in Ethiopia. And if you notice, it just to solidify my point, when the Italians went in, when they invaded in 1936, they actually declare slavery as um as illegal, so to speak, just to so, try to gain some 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 um credibility in their actions. You get me? So so you see, if you look, the Europeans supported the Italians for reasons, national prestige, economic exploitation of host of other reasons. You see when we so see when anyone in this time frame conclude that it was slavery, it's no different than today where they're like, yo, we're going into Iraq because they had weapons of mass destruction. We're going after Iran because of all these kind of things. This is what they always do. They they've always had those tactics, brother. And yeah, but cannot... I, I think the problem here, you know, is that um you know, we knew that it was all about expansion because remember the Italians were late. I remember how Italy got that region was because what Britain did when Britain double crossed um, Emperor Johannes, right? And he lost his life with his war with the Mahdi's when they sacked um, Gandhar, right? That was like 90, um, 1869, 1870, there and about. Long story short. There were no Italians in that region at all. Britain didn't want France to get that area. And Britain promised Ethiopia that region because it, it, ha it had access to the sea. And um, the double cross Ethiopia gave Italy that region. And that is where Italy started their expansion. So long story short, they were late to that region. So they well, saw, what, well, they, they were using, well, and they were using, um, quote unquote, neo-imperialism as a means of expansion into um, East Africa. However, but, I'm saying he was he was using slavery as a justification. I'm saying he was using that to validate his his his, his um neo imperialism um you know yeah approach towards right Ethiopia. right so, so hold on but I'm responding to you saying that the Ethio the Europeans the Europeans supported him for that reason and. No, That's no, no. Not... I didn't say they supported him. I, I am yeah, saying, you're, you're, you're I remember, you know, the, the Europeans were, what, afraid of what, agitating Mussolini out of fear of him joining up with Germany. Yeah, so man, but... it, it, it was a political thing, right? And remember, <laughs> hold on there. I'm going to make my point. Remember the Hore and Laval pack, right? Yeah, man. And you remember that scandal, that forced the British foreign minister to resign, the Hore. Right, because you know why they were negotiating with Mussolini behind Ailey Selassie back to give him Ethiopia, and it was leaked. So I am saying they did not want to agitate Italy out of fear that Italy would ally with Germany, which would have gone against the French and the British interests in Europe at the time. So, so we understand the geopolitical um, chess game that was being played. However, yep. Mussolini. I'm saying Mussolini was the one who, who was put in as one of his justification for, for his, um, you know, yeah, man, conquest of, it, of Ethiopia. That is just right. my point. Right, but well, you probably misspoke earlier then, right? Because you, you mentioned that the Europeans supported him because of the, the, the whole notion of slavery positive. No, I, I said they were afraid to support Ailey Selassie when, because Mussolini was using... Um, the slavery as a pretext of invasion, and they did not want to agitate um, for him to switch and ally with Germany. That is what I said. 
Yeah, um, all right, we're not gonna beat the dance, but you see, the thing is, though, brother, when we are talking to a nascent audience about these things, we kind of can't just regurgitate the European talking points. No, it's not, it's not a regurgitation, Lali Bella, well, because well, the well, reality well, is, well, 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 the history, well, on, Lali Bella, we, yeah, we're not gonna use them words there because it's not justifiable. The reality is that when Italy invaded, they abolished slavery. Me wrong, am I right? No, so hold on, brother, listen, no, is hold on, no, me so, wrong, hold on, brother, right. brother, make, hold on, man. We, we can't do it that way. See, let me talk, man. Give me a time, chance to talk. Yeah, yeah, I am allowing you to talk, but as me I say, when you are from saying even, that we from, from most, taking, we, we, hold on, we, hold we, on, hold on. I'm going to allow you to speak, <laughs> General. I'm saying what I am speaking about is facts, historical facts, right? Whether we like it or not, or whether it might be the inconvenient truth. But to say that we're regurgitating Eurocentric things, that is not so because it is a part of Ethiopian history. No, uh, I'm uh, going to well, give you the mic to say what you uh, ask. All right. The, the, docu the gazetted history is that America liberated the, the, the Libyans from, from, from Gaddafi, from, liberated the Iraqis from Saddam Hussein. That is the documented history, you know? See? But we know that is not the factual reference from a chronological perspective. Ideologically, it is documented that Iraq and Libya were, re were liberated and the people were able to recover from these tyrants. We know that that to be true. So when we are talk about what truly transferred to Ethiopia, we know that there's written references where there were intents and attempts by Menelik II and Kadamawi Ali Slasi to, 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 to get rid of slavery. However, they weren't absolute rulers. There's a process to get rid of slavery. And to, to, to then say the Italians came and slavery was gone in, in that reductive approach would make it seem as if then they were the only ones who were bent and intended to get rid of slavery. Uh, yeah, the, and, the, and, and I think the problem here with um, that conversation is um, that trying to get rid of slavery and officially making it into law is two different things. Of course um, it is. And, and you mentioned Menelika Ailey Selassie, right? Um, the reality is that, right, during Ailey Selassie's reign, Ailey Selassie did not make it law, right, officially a part of the constitution and say what slavery is abolished. My no. point is, when the Italians went in, they made that declaration. That's, that so, is all the point is. So you it think is an you, inconvenient uh, okay, truth. Okay, okay, let's have a conversation here. Do you think when the British got rid of slavery, that they just got up in one fell sloop and got rid of slavery? Got rid of slavery when the British abolished slavery and trans transatlantic slavery. Do you think they just got up one day and like, yo, bam, slavery is done? Um, there was a process and they declared it in 1807, right? E exactly. So, so, so when we're talking about the slavery being abolished in Ethiopia, to not acknowledge what was transpiring before and then to just say the Italians abolished slavery is not a, 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 a proper way to articulate the history. Right, so um, tell us, so, so, so tell us, right, so tell us um, about, well, I know, tell us as to why it was not abolished during the time of many Lika and Selassie You have a feudal society where, as you mentioned, it's an empire, right? Kings and an emperor, and they have to go into negotiation to determine what makes sense for all of them. And many of them objected to getting rid of slavery and that process then gets drawn out now when you have a dictator Mussolini coming to the power he just dictate that we're going to get rid of slavery that's a distinction you know well but, well I, all right i'm going to disagree you know the reason why wow Be because irrespective of the feudal system the emperor was ruler over everybody else right well, he didn't have absolute power brother no but hold on no hold on i'm saying even with Menelik, right? Menelik was so... All right, we understand the history of Ethiopia and the fragmentation of the feudal system. Rastafari, Black College, your device is not connected. So probably you can check out and... Just check out and, and check back in. I don't know. Sort out your device, my general, and let me know where I'm going. All right, so I'm going to just um, kick you from the studio. It's saying your device not connected. So try check back in. My point is, Ethiopia was a feudal system. Various different um, tribes, whole heap of tribes, over 80 had tribes, 80 had different languages, whatever, whatever. So it was more of a feudal system. However, 
there were civil wars from time to time. And we can talk about evil with um, Tewaijos and under Tewaijos, Menelik um, father and him did fight, right? And him defeat Menelik them and evil arrested Menelik. Long story short, when Emperor Johannes was the emperor, Menelik was king of Shiwa. My point is, it was a feudal system where you have the Muslims them and you have um, the the better Israel and you also have, you know, yeah, the, 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 the rest of Ethiopians them. But I am saying during that time, slavery was there. The emperor, especially with Menelik, Menelik garnered the respect of everyone in Ethiopia at the time. Evil, evil when the battle of, Ad, um, battle of Adwa um, ended and they defeated the Italians. Menelik was highly revered and rated in Ethiopia. He had a lot of power in Ethiopia. So the reality is that the emperor had the power to do anything at all no. in terms of in terms of um decreeing that slavery is officially abolished. So I, 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 I don't think you should say that they could not officially declare um that it is abolished. Uh, I, I hope the, you're if, not saying if, that. Even if, if you look at the Fetanagats, right? You you'll you'll find that the emperor doesn't have absolute power. Yeah, but the Fetanagas is not a law book. It, it's a, oh, just okay. like the Kebrenagas. Those are just holy no. books where them. It's not a no, book of no, law. No, the Fetanagas, they were the, the legal code. And it was derived no, no, from no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Kebrenagas, they what? The glory of the kings, right? Yes. And the Fetanagas, they the laws of the kings, right? Yes. Right, and that had nothing to do with the constitution. No, the no, Fetanagas had nothing to do with the Constitution. Who said anything about Constitution? When no, but Allah, we are talking about, we are talking about the law. We are talking about, we are talking about a declaration, right, <laughs> to what to stop slavery. And there's something there. And you Brother. mentioned the Brother. Fetanagas. Law and Constitution are not one and the same analogous. Some no, I am not answer. saying that, so, me general. So, no, but but I am saying hold on, hold on, hold on, the Fetanagas was, 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 was not law. It was just like how the Kebra and the Nagas and the Kebre Nagas and the Feta Nagas, these were not like say boy, um, books that were actually factual. These were just no, no, um, no, the glory of the kings the, brother, and stuff brother. like that. The Feta Nagas was not like a legal code that was it applicable. Is, it is. In, it, but it hold, on, hold on, it's the law of the kings. I get that. But I am saying, as we are talking about slavery and declaring slavery um, unconstitutional or illegal and abolishing it. That may I talk about. The Feta Nagas is. A, is a theocratic legal code. See? It is a, it is a legal code. At that time, Ethiopia didn't have a constitution and the federal mm -hmm. derived from Arabia. Listen. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. All right. So what is now? What is now? All right. So make we stick at the slavery part because it is a conversation that we will definitely need for. So you are saying that, um, you know, Ethiopia was a feudal system. You had many governors. You had many areas where different Rasses run off or wag shoes or whatever. So are you saying that me, neither Menelik nor Eilis Selassie had the power to declare slavery, um, you know, to be illegal? No, they didn't have the absolute power to, to, to just get rid of slavery in one fell swoop like that. They did not. How, but but how, 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 how would you say they don't have absolute power when the emperor has, has, has all the legal powers? But that's what I, uh, you see. You see why you can't make that argument because you don't even subscribe to the fact that the Feta Nagash was a legal code of Ethiopia at that time. No, but remember, said so the Feta Nagash has been around for a very long time. No, so at the end of the day, and it was right. based on evil religious um legal codes and stuff like but that. Just, so what I'm saying say is, that. Theor theor no. brother, you just said the Feta Nagash is a book, you know. No, and but, but, but hold on, no, but hold on, no. of course it is what, what I'm no, saying. But it's, it's more than that, brother. It's no, but hold on, man, hold on, no. it's, 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 it's not like, all right, the Feta Nagas is, 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 is like similar to it and say, boy, um, the, uh, the, the Amurabi, quote unquote, code, moral code, moral code, my general, not legal code. You get what I say? Just like the Amurabi code. Wait a minute, real quick now, just Google yeah. Feta Nagas, please. Hold on, no, all right, so Lali Bella, hold on, man, what I'm saying is, the Feta Nagas has been around for hundreds of years, just like the Kebra Nagas. Not being disputed, correct. All right, fine. So I'm saying, let us stick to the substance of the argument, because I am saying um, <coughs> slavery was not abolished in Ethiopia until 1941. You are saying that Menelik as emperor of Ethiopia, Eilis Selassie as emperor of Ethiopia, 
kings of kings, lords of lords, conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, elect of God, did not have the power to abolish slavery in Ethiopia during um, that time. I'm it, saying that they didn't have... That's what you're saying? I'm, I'm positing that they do not, did not have absolute power. There was a process. Even within a feudal society, there's a process. There's a All right. So, so what was the process to um, get rid of slavery? As they've always done, as with all the wars, they engage and the different stakeholders have to commit one way or the other. But but um but what you're talking about um you know we have to talk about slavery. All right, so what's this now? No, no, so, no, no, no. It, when the Italians hold on, hold on. It's not yeah. slavery, brother, it's the principle of how the society is structured, right? The society is structured, which means that if there are certain things that they were going to implement, right, they, they, there are processes that they had to follow. And if they were gonna get rid of certain things, they had processes they had to follow because like for example, you know what I mean? If 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 Haile Selassie is in Addis Ababa and he elects to get rid of slavery. What does he say to the man in Tigray? You know what I mean? It's like, you've got to ensure that they follow through us, all right? You know what I mean? So, so there's a process you have to follow. It's yeah, not, but, but, but I, remember I that, um, but remember that, um, emperors. yeah, but, but remember that it was true, like even royal decrees and them something there, you know, right? But, um, but, Weird but, though, but hold on, I, I was Europe gonna and, ask, and our, huh? You can't make sure what our Ethiopian you know, when, when it comes to royal decree, you know, I mean, it's like you have what the Europeans might have done, what folks elsewhere might have done, but we're focused on Ethiopia. In no, yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about yeah, um, Ethiopia because remember them have royal seal too. Ethiopia no, had no, a royal no, no, seal. No, having a royal seal and royal decree. A royal decree. Right? I'm saying, but my point is, with let us not major in the minor, right? I am saying, right? You are saying that they did not um have absolute power as emperor. To actually say um declare slavery to be um you know quote unquote illegal. You get what me I say? And um I am gonna say that as emperor, the emperor had um you know absolute power. Um no, the Italians, no, no. Well, I know, well, I know, in terms of say here we go on, all the other races, wag shoes, evil kings, right, had to do what pledge allegiance to the emperor. At the end of the day, yes, them have them civil war and infighting for whatever reason, but ultimately the emperor is really at the pinnacle. But um, I, I was gonna ask a question, right? And you can answer it real quick, and then we can make King say a thing because um, yeah, we soon close this off in the next about five minutes or so. Um, when the Italians went in, when well, I make a statement, when the Italians went in, they did not consult with anyone. They they, they just um make it, you know, yeah, they make it official based on them being an occupying power that slavery um was actually you know illegal in ethiopia um king you can just unmute your mic me general and make me hear where i said it as it pertains to the reasoning your mic is muted just unmute your mic all right so it, it, it looked like um king already yet so as i was saying lali bella real quick you are saying that there has to be a process of consultation with the various tribes and things like that. But when the Italians went in and installed King Victor Emmanuel III, they didn't consult anybody. They just declared that um, slavery is illegal and no more in the country, you know? Because, because they were occupying the country. They were subjugating the people. They were occupying the country. Yeah, For but I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about their declaration. You get what I mean? No, I say I of slavery being I, I illegal. And, and, and you cannot them for those five years had a different protocol, different process than what transpired before them and subsequently. So of course, when they when they encroached upon Ethiopia, they implemented what was in their interest. They weren't going there to negotiate. They're going there yeah, to negotiate. Yeah, then, then that's why I may sure you say um that's that's why I may sure you say part of their reasoning or justification. You get what I mean I say? No. Just like, oh, you, you know, a bush pull off a craft and say, um, excuse, those are excuses. Those are you know, excuses, yes, Saddam Hussein of double MD, blah, blah, those, blah. The, the, yeah. Those are, the, those are excuses. Europeans have never had many meaningful conscientious issues. When well, it well, to well, well, and there, I'm saying, I'm saying justification, though. You get what I'm no, saying? I'm saying their justification, justification no, not no, excuse they did not have a justification. in this case. Huh? They did not. No, if you, you see, when you use the word justification, right? It, it, that, that, that is misguided. They, the, no, which country have I just kissed in Vietnam? No, I am saying, but Lali Bella, I'm not saying it was right. I'm saying they're, they are arguing that their justification was that, yeah, they're going with slavery. I mean, I say it was right. I mean, I yeah. speak as if it was so. 
I'm right. saying their justification was a part of their justification, even though we know it was a neo-imperialist expansion. They were related to Africa. They realized that Britain, France, you know, even Germany, they have the little piece of the cake as European powers. Then they control Libya. You get what I mean? And then, then the British go put them over Eritrea side and give them peace of Somaliland. And never want to give France um, the part. They bring them in. And the rest of history, they want to expand. So I'm just saying, their pretext for invasion was, was based on the facts that they are saying, well, Ethiopia go on with slavery now, and it is inhumane. And all of a sudden, them click that them care about black people in Ethiopia. People say, What's oh, it? yeah, man, we need to go over there to free the people. So I'm just saying that was their um, well, pretext, you know? Even the League of Nations, they weren't making that point, you know? Even the League of Nations, they weren't making that point. You know what I mean? I, I, I think that narrative is somewhat new. I'm not too sure where it's coming from. Oh, hold on. Even who wasn't making that point at the League of Nations? That, that wasn't in me across the... Listen, no, I'm man. saying who wasn't making that the point Itali at the League of Nations? Of course, Italians, of course. Who? I'm talking Italians. The Italians? Yes. yes. I've, I've, hold on. So, hold on. Hold on. Um, what was the... There was no argument in the League of Nations about that. It was Ailey Selassie who went to the League of Nations appealing for assistance, right? Right, and they and and, and when and, and Italy was a part of the League of Nations, and they engaged, right? And they slapped Italian on his hands, right? Uh, um, the, the the Italians made it clear as part of their declaration about slavery, they did mention that in the League of Nations, and even when the quote unquote League of Nations put quote unquote sanctions on on Italy, it, it the sanctions were like nothing at all. It's just like them say, oh, sanction this and sanction that. And that's, there were no genuine sanctions, but that's the Italians on, did speak about it in the League of Nations. They did. That's, that's why I said they got sat on their hand. That wasn't their argument, brother. And, 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 no, and I'm not I saying mean, that was the only argument, though, but they no, no, did. That, they did. They did. The, they did speak about it. That was not their argument. And, and as you mentioned earlier, they were imperialistic. That's just what it was at the time. The, no different than how uh, the Middle East were carved up. The Italians and the Germans were pointing toward Africa. And that's just pretty much what was going on then and there. They didn't have, I mean, we have to really be careful or we have to say them something. Yeah. And, and, and there's enough data out there to, to contradict what you're saying. No, no, no. Hold on. There. Hold on. No. Um, all right. What's this now? Um, present the data. I'm very happy for you yeah, to man, present that course, data. And we can have a conversation there because what's this now? Hold on. No. Um, the, 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 the Italians, this is history and this is documented. Whether we want to say Ethiopian history, because even in Ethiopian history, it's documented that um, the, the Italians argued that their, one of their pretexts for the invasion of Ethiopia justification was the fact that slavery was still going on down there. We, we, right. we can't go around that. You no, get what no, right. Or, but, or mess, you know, but slavery, this idea of slavery being the impetus is what I refute. No, well, I'm, I, I, I didn't say it was the impetus. I said one of their justifications. Yeah, man, but... Uh, but but, but we, we, we all know, as I said before, I made it very clear. It was a neo-imperialist expansion. I made it very clear. And I'm saying one of their justification was, um, you know, the fact that slavery was in Ethiopia. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, so man, but... There's uh, nothing misguided or misleading about that. But I, but I think we're reason about that, right? We should point to the, their bullet points, the, the, the main reasons why they went there. And, and, and yeah, far somewhere down, they're going to talk about slavery. And again, the slavery that transpired in Ethiopia is not chattel slavery. And folks ought to understand that. And we also know, that, again, when we look at the modern lens, we understand how they, are, they, have, how they have always operated. They find these excuses to go to Iraq and all these countries. You know what I mean? So it's like we've got to be careful when we are even reasonable for them thing. No, no but what I'm saying is that that was their excuse. So what is wrong in me saying their excuse for invading Ethiopia was slavery? So reason I mean, everyone even said that was their excuse because that was far down on the list. No, but it was still one. That's all I'm saying. And um, the shuttle slavery thing. There. No, hold on. The shuttle slavery thing. Um, the, 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 that was only in the West. There was no shuttle slavery like in a. In a in a Ethiopia them something them I understand yeah, man, that... no I, I understand the need for clarification but saying slavery and chattel slavery you know yeah man both of them kind of different you get so, what me so, I say yeah I, I do it, agree with that so it, 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 when it, it, people it, it, hear slavery they might say oh damn them did a, a beat people with whip of them from plantation over Ethiopia really no it wasn't like that it's a different system um right, right. the type of slavery 
right? And, was and the slavery was predominant in Islamic areas as well. Um, right. Christians could not be enslaved. You get what I say? So, okay. so I do understand that Islamic part of slavery. So, right. yeah, I mean, nothing yeah. wrong with clarification for real, Alibella, because at least people can understand the nature of, 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 of the um, slavery still. Yeah, um, man, I mean, it was, it, it was largely indentured servitude. Uh, and, right, and right, 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 right. This is in a spectrum uh, and so forth. It's just like even when I was listening to Steve Golden the other day, you know what I mean? And people like to say that Africans enslave other Africans. And we check the levels, indentured servitude did take place. And to the extent that there was anything that remotely resembled slavery, right. the context was totally different. What transpired with the Portuguese going into Africa and, and, and subsequently bringing our brothers and sisters here is a totally different ballgame that no one in Africa was cognizant of, nor were they ready for. Right. And, and, um, and um, I, I think when people say, you know, you, you have Africans... Um, enslaving africans you, you know you know how the muslim slave chase went you know zanzibar you know zanzibar and the barbary coast them region there you get what i say right. yeah so that's why even the term barbarian came into because at that time the islamic slave trade was even enslaving europeans so them call them barbarians because they were from the barbary coast but when you look at places like zanzibar and stuff like that um a lot of blacks who converted to islam they were actually complicit um, you know, in the, the slave trade, so to speak. Um, even a part of West Africa, you have different tribes, have them differences. Britain, fine out, so the Ashanti and 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 um, the Igbo, they might have them differences. Britain just turn the Ashanti. Um, all on the all on Rastafari. Right? Yeah, hold on there. So Britain just turn one against the other. And it's the same chess game, them do everywhere still. Um, Rastafari Black College, go to let me hear what I say because me, me so I close off and you know, almost five hours me there. Yeah, that's basically what I was saying when I was saying earlier that, you know, right. the emperor the emperor eliminated the stuff that foundated Christ Western Christianity, you know, and you find that the miscons, the mis, the mis, the mis, the disingenuous thoughts about the emperor concerning his spirituality and religion is misconstrued from the, from the, from the, the, the level of being him a dictator to even dealing with communism. So you find that when you're dealing with the people and you're dealing with a theocratic government, there is more deliberation, there is more reasoning, there is more, you know, like, you know, like they would say, there is more um, communal effort. And one thing the emperor bases whole monarchy on was the international community taking part in the in the deliberation of african liberation he never he never excommunicated the europeans or any other nation from african liberation so that's the difference between the emperor and the roman monarch he chose to use the international community to levy or or to have the leverage within what you call collective security you know the Europeans, they use dictatorship and communism to secure commonwealth. It's a whole different practical theory. So now, what I'm saying to you is, the story of Christ, that's the topic, the Lent and all these stuff, came out of Ethiopia. And everybody else who took it to this modern day have a twist that is not likely the, the root of Ethiopians' teachings. So all I'm right, saying so to you, yes, yes so I'm no, saying to you, I'm within that question. light group. Hold huh? it out there. Hold it out for a second. I've got your wisdom. Okay. I'm going to give you back the mic. Lala okay. Bella, do you agree with Rastafari Black College that um, Lent started out of Ethiopia? Lent started out of... Well, um, not from my knowledge. I, I mean, Christianity didn't necessarily start from Ethiopia, so... Right. Uh, I'm not too sure why... Right. right. And um, Rastafari started. Black College, just uh -huh. um, tell us about the Lent, you know, um, what it entails. Well, the Lent entails a, a, a period of, okay, if you want to talk, okay, it's, it's a period where Christ was leading up to his crucifixion. So his awareness, it was a time of, of him teaching his disciples them the awareness of the sufferation that you will bear for the coming season. And also it's like Lent was a, Lent is a practice that gives us the awareness and the strength to go through the long suffering and the, and the, and the, and the tribulation, right? And, and, and it was so, forty days, right? 
Huh? And it was 40 days, right? Well, this year was 46, actually. No, all right, no problem. So, all right, so oh. so if, if it started in Ethiopia, so where does the rabbit and the egg forward from? Ethiopia too? No, okay, well, you see, that's what I to tell you. Within the constructs of Christianity, they have a twist. But if you deal with Ethiopia, with there is nothing about Easter. When no, you're talking about listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no. listen, 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 good. Yes. When you're talking about the Federation of Ethiopia, you know, we're talking about the original Orthodox Christianity of Ethiopia, you know. That's yeah, what we're yeah, talking we, about. We, you know. we are we, we are very clear about that. That's the reason why even um Lali Bella make you know say that's um you know Christianity was around before it went into Ethiopia. So at the end of the day, um to say it and remember Lent was fully active and observed even before Christianity went into Ethiopia. As a matter of fact, um, Lent not have nothing to do with Christianity. Lent was adapted or incorporated. Lent was a pagan thing. Will you call Lent it wasn't, um, Lent not have nothing will to do with Christianity. Christianity? Huh? What will you call Christianity? I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking even Coptic. You're talking about Coptic Christianity. That's what you're talking about in Ethiopia. No, 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 no. You see what happened to you, right? Um, which you, hold on, hold on, hold on. you can't tell me what I think. That could tell you what you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What type of Christianity is in Ethiopia? Isn't it Orthodox Christianity? It's uh, it's Christ, not Christianity. No, hold on, in general. Let's not get too technical. No, right. we have to. No, no, no. But if I get That's technical, then all right. Well, I know if I get technical, then I have to go push back with you, right? From a scholarly perspective, and say, here we go on. Um, Orthodox Christianity is in Ethiopia and it came from um, you know, Yemen, MD with the church in Alexandria. You get what I mean? But, yeah, yeah, but, 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 but the knowledge of the Christ they didn't come from Rome, it came from the Ethiopian monks. No, but but hold on, but hold on, no, but hold on, no, my, my general. No, I that's day, all I'm saying to you. Not a hard thing, and a big brother, no, not but, a hard but, thing. But, but, but that's a Greek word in the first place. So, what, what was the name? No, 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 oh, everybody language right. to describe hold our on, truth. No. Let's take away um the Greek word. What was the name in Ethiopia? For what? The Christ. What's the name for, 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 for the Ethiopian Christ? Yes, well, yeah. Well, what's the name to replace that Greek word? Since you say it's indigenous to Ethiopia. Um, I don't have the right term at this moment, but I know the Ethiopians always had a mediator between them and the creator. They always had a go-to man, like well, an elder. Well, well, a go-to man between them and the creator. Yes, like well, an elder. Um, well, well, at the end of the day, you know that's our next whole big conversation, but. Me Africa close it off now. A five hour in a Sunday night. You know what the thing. Uh, but, um, five hours with a reasoning. Next time, all right, probably next Sunday. Check in early. Yes, we start this from three o'clock. We five all hours right. in. Let me just hear the last words. The please, are we just close it out? Is it? All right. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Big up. Big up, my general. Yes, um, yes. Lali Bella. Yeah, I, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Again, yeah, got you. Let me hear the last words still. You know, it is sorry. It's a pity. You know, you know, you kind of check in a little late, so to speak. Uh, you know, you know, I think a lot of people are five hours in and thing, so yeah, man. You know that, is it? I'm a forward in late and so it go on next time, you know, as, as always, you know, as long as those in the chat and others who are paying attention are right. appreciative and are gaining from it, that's all that matter, yeah, man. Definitely, and, and, and I think I'm gonna um, definitely um, continue. As a matter of fact, I think I'm, I'm gonna discuss next next week, yeah, me, 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 I'm going to put um, yeah, the Italian invasion of Ethiopia. And the, the whole the whole history about it, um, in our topic next week Sunday as well. Oh. And we can now we can go call on the rest of our your, your background. Sorry, about that. my fault. Yeah, man. All right. So as me I say, yeah, man. So we can at least continue the dialogue, and you know, yeah, man. We can definitely, you know, ha highlight um whatever needs to be highlighted and clarified and things like that. Still, so ones and ones them can, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, Rastafari man. Black College, salute here, sir. Rastafari Black College. Oh, I mean, the mute him, he kind of background, he kind of nice. Let me just unmute him, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, Rastafari Black College, yeah, man. Lali Bella, big up. You know what I think? Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm probably here with still. Yeah, man. All right, Lali Bella. So, you know, yeah, you man. Go, man. next Sunday, um, yeah, you yeah, definitely know how it goes. Uh, them little reason is, is good and it, it's refreshing and it's healthy. You get what I say? And it's good when, you know, we, we can have. Differences in, in opinion too, and we just reason it out and share with perspective still. And you know, ones and ones, I will 
implore you all to also check out the Hori Laval Pack. You get what I'm saying? That will give you some context as well as to the attempts by the British Foreign Minister and the French Foreign Minister to, to stab Eilis Lassina in back. Meaning, say, if he agree, if he allow Italy to take over Ethiopia. And when they found out it was a big um, controversy and people all get fire and stuff like that. So, 111 people there. We are close out here now, people. Respect to each and every one. You know, esoteric Sundays. You know the thing go. Um, if you say, Jatorius. Jatorius. Yeah, man. Big up Jatorius. Next time, Jatorius. Check in early, man. You know. Yeah, man. Make sure you subscribe, Jatorius. So, at least, when we go live and we are reasonable, Rastafari and them thing there. Um, you can check in. Because, Lali Bella. Brilliant mind when they come on to Ethiopia, Rastafari. And you know, so when they come on to my head and Ethiopia as well, you know, yeah, man, it's not normal. So some alien brain reasoning go on more time still. So the ones and ones them can check in and give their perspective as well, like Rastafari Black College does. So big up to the ones and ones them. More time are reasoning. I will present, um, you know, ideas and things like that. Nikki Willie, thank you very much for the super sticker. Greatly appreciated. And I greatly appreciate all the ones and ones who made a donation. You know the thing go. Big up Soji. You get what me I say? Nikki Willie. Big up yourself. Canon God. Yeah, man. Respect for donating a membership. Right? Yeah, man. And you notice again, as me say, people, the person that got that membership. Right? I don't even see them type one thing in the chat. <laughs> Yo, that is funny as hell. You know, yeah, you're a member and you're just not type, nothing at all. Big up yourself, man. You don't know a thing, though, man. You know, as time progresses, I might check in still. But, yeah, the membership thing kind of inclusive. So, once you're a member of the channel, man, you must check in and type in the chat, too, man. You get what I say? Yeah, man. So, big up to each and every one, you know, who support the platform day in, day out. Black Light, you're not ready for the Freemason conversation. You, you, you're focused on too much conspiracy theory. You get what I say? Yeah. Um. Yeah, man, you, 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 mix, you mix and muddy up the waters based on the little YouTube video them on the sip and Freemasonry and them something there. So, black light, as a matter of fact, too, certain aspects of Freemasonry, you, 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 you can't even, um, you, you're not going to overstand the thing. You have to, brother, I hear you have to take and study the thing, man. You get what I say? So, you are looking on the Euro, European part of Masonry. So, some man co op some things and, you know, insert some things and, you call it Scottish right, York right, and blue lights and knights of Columbus, blah, 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 and them something there. So at the end of the day, black light, you're not ready for this conversation. You are still a neophyte. You're not even an entered apprentice, nor a fellow craft to become a grandmaster. So you have to go, go and deal with the conspiracy with that still, my general. But, um, you know, maybe a curiosity might lead you down a path where you might really look at the principles of it and what it represents. You know, yeah, it's really the religious people, them, because they don't understand it, them say it's um, evil. Not knowing, say, even in the Bible, it's replete with Freemasonry. The building of Solomon's temple by Hiram a beef and all them sitting there. Fifteen workers, three ruffians, that's eighteen, one and eight and nine. If you look at the measurements in the book of Kings and Chronicles, yeah, it equates to nine. You get what I say? It was built without the sounds of tools. All them something there, man. The reality is, my general, masonry is all about... You see, a masonic temple... A masonic temple is a replica of the quote-unquote all of truth. In the Kemetic spiritual system, it is called the all of ma'at, or the all of truth. That is what the masonic temple represents. You know, them throwing the J and the B as the two columns, jacking and boas and stuff like that. The checkered floor and things like that. The checkered floor, black and white, represents polarity and things like that. But I'm just saying, um, when it comes down to masonry, yeah, it's, it's the same replica of the Egyptian um, the spiritual system, you know. But as me say, me general, um, you know, yeah, man, you have to kind of overstand um, the, the, the science. You get what I say? So it's a process still. Yeah, you know it goes still. But big up on yourself, people. Um, Black light, respect, Lali Bella, respect me general. Greatly appreciate the support as always. My heart root, yeah, big up, respect for the support. Private figure, big up, you know, Sweet P, yeah, man, big up, Nikki Willie, big up, I, I, well, uh, me, well, uh, me say, I, I say, one love family, big up, me general, um, joy, leisure, yeah, man, big up, I think Rick Storm, Rick Storm might even 
touch out on the road night night that's still so ones and ones make sure you go check out our rig live stream you know and see if he might touch out live on him something now remember i'm earth strong so you don't know the thing we can big him up if him touch out on the road kirk shirley yeah big up my general respect every time for the support you know the thing go um let me see who else me, who else there so we can big them up you know chang yeah man big up yourself you know clifford cameron sweet p big up sweet p yeah man jatorius respect for the check-in as me say just make sure say that's um you're subscribed so once we go live on next sunday again you can check in and deal with some ethiopian reasoning you know yeah man so you don't know it go um you know jatorius tena is still in and then you know then anna you get what i say yeah man big up yourself oh then on in exactly here you must go so you know it go um Jack Torres, once a Rasta man here, exactly here, he must gone. Yeah, man, you know the thing. Even Buja Bands have a song where he say, exactly here, negos, negas. Yeah, man. So big up to the ones and ones who, you know, who overstand um, the Amharic language and them thing they still. Self made, big up yourself, my general. Respect every time. RJR, big up, you know. Yeah, man, respect. Richard Patriots, my general, big up. Royalty goddess. Cheryl Purit, big up, you know, Kaya David, yeah, man, big up yourself, you know, yeah, man, respect to all the ones and ones that will check in esoteric Sunday settings, yeah, man, it was a great little five hour of reasoning, yeah, man, so big up to the ones and ones that will tune in, you know, the thing of people, that's how we do it, you know, and big up to Soji, you know, big up to Rastafari Black College, big up to Real um, Man, big up to Lion Man, you get what I say, you know, how the thing goes, so Rockstar. All the ones and ones, I'm gonna big up on yourself, man. You know what I think of Osh Seven, Bridget, um, Sean Hines, you know, big up Pagan, Topic Man, you know, all the ones and ones, I'm gonna big up on yourself. Remember, just drop a like on your way out as well. You don't know it, go, you know, once you appreciate the reasoning, you can definitely drop a like on your way out as a sign of your appreciation and say respect him or tech because so we do it in you know, our people with us reason and share perspectives and things like that. So, you know the thing go. Um, Wayne Huggins, yeah, man, respect. You don't know the thing go. Clifford Cameron, yeah, man, up. Rastafari Black College, as me say, next time check in early so we can have a good two hour reasoning because Rastafari Black College, when we don't want the ones them do, I underestimate a lollipop and them, man, they still. You get what I say? Yeah, man, we overstand to the Rasta, them know the thing too, you know. But we don't have to overstand say we don't out here too. And yeah, man, we overstand certain things. We don't know everything. But you know what the thing go. Um, we overstand the thing. You get what I say? So big up on yourself, people. Catch you know, tomorrow night. Yeah, man, time and space permit. We deal with some musical reasoning, some political reasoning, and some social commentary and them things there still because you know what's it go. So big up on yourself, people and the play forward. Big up on yourself, respect, and you can drop a like as well. And also, um, you can also timestamp a comment if you want to. Just like how oh, Sweet Pea do it more times. So big up. Big up all the ones and ones. Everyone noble them and jamu on them. You know, big up to Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie say she had some road trip with her friends them. And the friends them asked me if me some teacher or nothing like that. No, man, you know. You know what the thing go. Anne-Marie, just tell them for just subscribe, man. So they can check in like you too. And, you know, ask them questions and engage. So people... Big up on yourself. Catch on up on the next one.